Final Fantasy Tactics Special. We're going to be having Final Fantasy Tactics A2 Grimoire of the Rift and Final Fantasy Tactics on today. Before we get into the first run, though, just a few quick reminders. SGU 2023 is coming up May 20. If you're interested in attending the event, registration is now open until May 3rd. You can go to gamesdonequick.com for more information. Uh, with that said, we're here uh, for Final Fantasy Tactics A2 Grimoire of the Rift. I'll hand it over and uh, let the uh, runner and commentary introduce themselves. Hello, everyone. I'm Kaguya Nikki. Hi, everybody. I am the commentator, Demarine. Phew. And today, it is my pleasure to show to you one of my most favorite speedruns. So, yeah, let's let. I'll just count down. Three. I'll just count down, and then the game decides to give me thanks. Your rock game. Tactics advanced to <laughs> It's got a demo. It's got I hit new game and it still didn't care. All right. I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. But now. Three, two, one. Let's go. Yeah, this is um, Final Fantasy Tactics I2. Um, the name says Tactics Advance, but it is actually a DS game. Um, very early season of the Nintendo DS. Um also, oh my god, we have to take a test. Demi! I'm bad at tests. And the test is important. Can you believe it? It's even worse. Got, gotta get those stats. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, most of this game uh, mechanics is very similar to Tactics Advance, but many things that like people actually complain about it didn't like in the first one actually got fixed. Um, obviously, quite some new content as well, and lots of references, which we'll get to see later, or very soon. But yeah, first off, um, yeah, the test was kind of important. I want to talk about that now, but realize maybe we should wait a bit. Um, but yeah, um, depending on which answers you give for the test, you will get a different bonus. And obviously, as speedrunners are, yeah, we want a very specific one. At least we can match two out of three. So, yeah, so here we are in the library because, you know, all good games, we're not in Ivalis yet. Why are we in the library, though? Well, because we, our main character was a bad boy, as it is usual. And the teacher, Mr. Randall, decided, hey, we need to we need to work a bit. We were bad, so we are gonna get punished. Uh, yeah. We we but see the teddy. But... Very important. But it's summer vacation. Why won't they let me out? Because that's how we deal with people. With non behaving people. We just punish them over and over. But yes, he finds this library book that says, you know, hey, you should write your name in this book. And he's like, heck yeah, I like writing in books. Breaking the rules is cool and all. And this book is actually the eponymous uh, Grimoire of the Rift that is in the title of the game. Um, now we're in a forest. Well, not yet, but there are people in the forest. Weird looking people, partially. There's a calcitrus in the forest. A very They're big, bound big, and adorable. Burp. Bigger than any burp ever seen before. I just want to give it a hug. Look how fluffy and cute it is. I love it. Isn't it right? Oh my god. Isn't that the perfect place to land? Immediately you can give it a hug. Oh, I didn't want a hug. Well. Oh no. <laughs> that might be a problem. <laughs> Why should I trust you? Because you're about to get eaten by a giant bird. <laughs> Well, yeah, welcome to Final Fantasy Isekai Part 2. But yeah, don't you worry. These three friendly people have a judge, and the judge makes it that, well, if you're one of them, then he will protect you from dying. Sounds pretty neat, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, you know, they're there to make sure you can do the combat and you get a cool hat. Look at the cool hat, right? What a hat. 
I mean, we can't be a main character without any hat or goggles. That's just impossible. Especially Nivellis. Especially. So yeah, now we get introduced to some mechanics, but yeah, also we get completely gaslighted into the clan. I mean, we kind of have to. It's not even like they need to do any convincing arguments except, hey, if you join us, you're not going to die. Which sounds pretty convincing in my book. Mm -hmm. So you'll notice that for every fight, something is forbidden. Um, we'll talk about breaking the law later, because we will be breaking the law some in this run. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> It's not the worst thing. It's 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 bad, but it's not the worst. It's so you got to see in Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, you might remember that you had like a lot of laws that just cycled around with the days. And as the game progressed, you had more laws to take care of and they got worse. Um, Final Fantasy Tactics I2 took a step back. So they were like, well, for every mission, you have the same law every time. So, for this mission, the law is always, you are not allowed to use ranged weapons, which is pretty neat because we do not have anyone that uses ranged weapons. Yep. Uh, so yeah, uh, first we got the white mage just introduced us to move, the black mage now about attacking with some nice black magic. Now there is Sid, because every game, every Final Fantasy needs a Sid. So there's a guest character, so we can't do anything except pray. That he does what we want him to do, which is smack the bird. Well, so Danny, the, as a tutorial yeah. fight, how much time do you say think the gold split saves compared to World Record? I don't know, maybe like 12 seconds, 15 seconds? Yeah, that's what you think. How about 40? Oof. Uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be having a good time flirting with the R with the RNG this this fine day, aren't we? Oh yeah. So yeah, if you get really lucky, um, you might get a quick kill. And if I mean really lucky, I mean I have seen it once. Um, yep. So Sid usually in this fight uh, always uses attack or body slam. Basically, what you need is you need an attack, which I think is even rarer than a body slam. It needs to crit. And you need high damage rolls on top. Like, I have gotten the crit twice, but one of those two times I've still not gotten the quick kill. But yeah, so... The big thing with, with the casual playthrough of this is that the... The idea behind the fact that the... The laws are fairly fixed is just like, it... it it rewards you for diversifying your party, using different job classes, using different race characters... Also, really screwing uh, you if they want to, but we'll get to that later. When would this game do that to you? Uh, like, this game is friendly and nice and... Yes. I mean, look, we didn't even need to, need to bop the bird. The bird at some point was just, yeah, I don't want to play with you anymore. Get me out of here. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can also see we got 60 HP, XP, which if you are... Like, not overleveled is the base, and then like one, two, three plus, which is like what you actually got for the actions you get. Like, if you are especially active or dealing damage, especially, then you might get more. But as you can see, it really isn't much, especially when you need like 100 um, extra, like 100 for a level. Um, and then we got um, a reward for upholding the law, which was a longbow. Mm hmm. Um, yeah. Upholding the law gives other... us some rewards, which is also really important early on, which means I should not screw it up. <laughs> yep. The other big thing is that it gives us materials, which is what we received at the end of the fight. And there are certain materials that Nikki is going to be very excited to see because we'll need them later. Uh, because materials can be sold and then converted or converted into items and or the ability to buy specific pieces of equipment. Uh, we like buying equipment. Equipment is sort of our route to success in this game. Yeah, we'll get to that tr shortly after this when we have a tutorial for that as well. Lots of tutorials, but it's fine because we'll mm -hmm. be done with them pretty soon. But yeah, now that we are, we are finally home in a safe town, um, as it is tradition, just like in Tactics Advance, we are the members that finally makes it makes us big enough to name our clan and be like an official clan, which I don't know how you can 
have a judge without without even being an official clan, but you know, important. We are the main character. We play the main character. We have to name the clan. Um, because yeah, a and introduce ourselves to the clan because obviously not everyone was in the fight we were in right now. Uh, we got two more characters, but nothing too big. Yep. It also takes a moment to briefly explain quests in the flow of time. Uh, both of which are very important. Yeah. He helps us now. Hey. Yeah, quests. Make do quests. They are great. And they give you money. And everything. Yep. You can also see on screen that there are clan talents. Um, as the game progresses, especially uh, casually, if you're playing through casually and you're trying to 100% this game, which is a probably a 100-hour affair, honestly, um, you need clan talents to do specific quests later on in the game as well. Yeah, they will be relevant. Like, for the speedrun, they will be relevant because we need them to reach a certain level. Um, and in casual, at some point, they might even be relevant that you, like, are completely overshooting and then you just decrease them. Decrease them. Uh, but yeah, we'll get to that later. Uh, all right, but before we take on the mission... Uh, we want two rods and three leather clothings. And yay, we got hit by another tutorial. Uh, so in Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, you got new items in the shop after every 10 fights. In this game, they were like, yeah, we don't like that anymore. So then they took the bazaar from Final Fantasy XII, just ripped it over because everything is in Ivalice anyways, and were like, here, there you go. Which, I mean, it's a cool thing, not gonna lie. I like it a lot. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of what they teach you here. Make a broadsword, we don't need it because we already have one. Now we take our great party and just make sure that they have classes that we actually want to see. And just increase the damage that we'll have. Um, white mage. Black mage. Okay, so for ability is very important. You can have a second, like the abilities of a second class. Or you just pick the strongest class for, that you can get for free, which is just items. Because items are very overpowered. Just imagine... Yeah, we're gonna... A high potion healing for 100. And healing We're 100 damage. A lot of items. <laughs> Good. Gonna use a lot of items in the run. Um, like, can't yeah, yeah. compete with that. Yep, as Nikki was flickering through the menus as well, you'll see that some of the some of the equipment has skills on the left side. Uh, those are the skills that are attached to the weapon and that you can use them. And if you've played like Final Fantasy IX, it's the same concept. If you fight enough with a given weapon, you master the skill. And when the skill is mastered, you can use it even without that piece of equipment anymore. Yeah. Well, looking at the classes, Zephyr is basically not to save. Like, Fencer, White Mage, and Archer are just all bad classes. Vera has good, like, secondary classes, but we'll never get there. Um, we'll have some usage for the Archer. But that's about it. Uh, Black Mages, AoE damage just deals the most DPS. Um, and they are very preferred, especially for Numu and uh, Moogle, but also for the last human. And ironically, for the Banger, the big, most damage you can deal right now is to take a White Monk and not even equip anything. You could get a, uh, what, a what is it called? Like a weapon, but that actually decreases our damage. And the Whirlwind ability doesn't do anything. So black, ma black magic is pretty great in the early game. The thing is, is that how the magic system works in this game is everybody starts the fight on zero MP and gains 10 per turn. Um, rank one spells cost eight, so you can cast one every turn. And in the early game, they do pretty significant damage. And if you can AoE enemies, obviously it does even more significant damage. This, of course, problematically drops off when spells cost more than 10 because you can't cast one every single turn. So... You can either chug ethers, or you can turn to other classes later on in the run. Or you could use clan privileges. Uh, if you were to play it casually, there are two clan privileges, which, which either half the MP cost or double the MP you get. Um, 
But yeah, at the moment, so as you can see, we have power, speed, agility, and luck. Um, the test that we were doing was also very important for that. Also, let's not use fire, please. Because the test actually gave us one um, bonus privilege. Which in our case is speed 2, because we are speedrunners. We want to go fast, so we want to get extra speed. Unironically. Um, but also, as this is the first mission and we are still kind of overpowered. We actually don't want speed for this mission because it just gives us basically the first turn, which... So they are supposed to come towards us and not be moving towards them. It just isn't worth it. Yeah, a lot of it comes down to enemy manipulation and whether enemies will come to you or whether they'll stand still until you're in a certain distance. Yeah, so basically, when it comes to enemy manipulation, uh, what I tried to do was, or, or actually did, was put putting the, the Moogle exactly into that position there, just... To, in order to bait the, the wolf to actually move forward, else it would just move to the side if I hadn't done anything. Um, in some missions, it works pretty well. In some missions, it's just sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We hope for the best. Can't do anything else anyways. All right. Well, this is pretty fluent. Also, thanks to the crit, I guess. And yep. a wolf pelt. Welp. Oh well. They can't all be winners. Yeah. But... I is it time to, to tell chat what they really should be looking for? Yeah, maybe it's time to let chat know if how excited you'll get based on certain drops. Yeah, so as you might imagine, at some point we need some better items and weapons, which we'll have to craft. Um, most, of the, most of the crafting material is pretty quick to get. One of them is not, um, which is called the Marlboro Vine. Um, the Marlboro Vine, well, we will have a backup which we will try to steal, but the Marlboro Vine can basically drop from, I want to say eight and a half, but the half is probably never going to happen. So from eight enemies during the course of until we get there. If not, we just have to pray that RNG is very friendly very soon. Um, yeah, one of those eight was actually in this fight already. And just to give a perspective Wait. of how drop, like I'm not even sure how drops work, but there is a table for drops. Every enemy has... So there are four different loot levels, loot level 1, 2, 3, and 4. And on every level, an enemy has four different drops, four different loots. So you have a table of 16 loots in total. And one of those is um, the Marlboro Vine. So yeah, I would guess them at, I don't know, 30% that we get it early? We'll have to see. I mean, I mean, 30% isn't the worst. No? And so in the quest list, we're always taking the quest that has no time limit on it. Uh, those particular quests are the main storyline quests. They are what let the game progress. Other quests are optional. Uh, most of them get skipped in the speed run, of course, because, you know, go fast, do story. Go. Yeah. Uh, we'll get to see some side quests, as I said, later on. Mostly. Specific side quests for specific drops. Yeah. So for the, some of you might, might be interested, this is actually the third time this game has been on the GDQ channel. Which is actually a lot more than you might expect, <laughs> personally. Uh, but yeah, I have run it at the very first Frame Fatal ma Fatal's Marathon during a night shift. Back when it was still 24 hours. 
was... No, this is... This. And then there was a blind race of Kizaron and J-Hops. Um, who thought that it would be a good idea to do that? Turns out they got walled quite a lot. We'll get to where later, but everyone who's played the game can already imagine where. Also encounter in a book, Benny. Nice. Uh, is there a specific reason why you turn your back to the enemies at that point rather yeah. than facing forward? I try to bait them. Basically, yeah, enemies like attacking you in the back. Enemies like it. <laughs> Basically, everything that might have the, ch the chance to, to make them not do what they want to do, I'll go for it. So that Animist has an attack called 100% Wool, which gives them Protect and Shell. We would like to not see that because then it takes longer to get it down. To take it down. And yeah, the only chance we have to even try it, try not having... making the Moogle do that is to put out a bait. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, back attacks, of course, uh, end up dealing more damage because you can't evade them. So the game prefers... The game prefers attacking targets that are facing away a lot of the time. Obviously, there's a ton of randomness, and that is, is is being explained. But, you know, again, by running the Viera up and turning the back, we're trying to draw enemies in and make them actually, like, want to fight us. Yeah, that's probably the only change from FFT, from the first Tactics Advance games that I didn't understand, because in the first Tactics Advance games, um, attacking from behind over the side of the front influences the accuracy, while in this game it influences the damage. But hey, I'm not going to complain to my moves basically hitting almost always. Uh, sure, let's put some damage onto the Black Mage, as mages usually have high magical defense, but not so much physical. But yeah, at this point, the game is still pretty straightforward. You just barely fight, do everything I want to say as a normal casual player would do even. Just trying to optimize it as much as possible, because you can't really do more than just, hey, I have my black mage magic and hopefully I can heal you multiple targets. Yeah, there you go. Walks away and casts 100% wool. So any damage that we put on, though, is of course very good because... It's before the having effect now. Heard of a tapper 33% in this game. I always assumed it was just half, but uh, also. Uh, camera, we actually can't target from here. The other thing is, is that if the option exists for us to not move, we'd like we'd prefer to not move on a turn, uh, much like other Final Fantasy Tactics games. Uh, not moving on your turn does save you uh, ATP. Yeah, you can actually on the second screen, like, and it sees a turn order. You can also like scroll through it, but yeah, it goes forward all the way until uh, twenty, the next twenty. Actions. Yeah, there's that magic resist kicking in. Um, as the Numu takes only nine damage from that uh, that oh, lightning spell. All right, so it's another one down. So yeah, we will be looking out for various other drops as well, but the Marlboro Vine is definitely the big one. The others are That's, like, yay, you don't need to do, like, a mission that produces a fetch quest or something. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, is nice. Saving, like, 30 seconds or not. But it isn't, like, minutes and many minutes. Uh, what? Yeah. Take a bonk. No, definitely 30%. You wouldn't deal 19 damage mm -hmm. if it was 50%. Yeah. Or estimated 19. The white, the white monk is nice, but not that nice. It's 
what we've got right now, though. Yeah. I will we'll switch around. We will switch around. Uh-huh. And no one wants to group up anymore. Sad. Yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, unfortunate. Lots of RNG. All the RNG. Uh, oh, whoops. All right, I guess we'll not attack the archer because <laughs> she is not in range. Uh, you know what? Yeah, focus. All right, this should be, hopefully. Hit hard enough. Yeah. Uh, uh, low roll. Low roll. Good low roll. Now I would take a normal shot with my archer. Like, I don't know, it's a five yeah. damage or whatever she would deal. Yep, thankfully Sid keeps using body slam, which does more damage than regular attacks, so he does some work here. Yeah, and the only fight that still is very... Very good at just doing the damage attacks. Ah, there we go. Finally, we got the, the number exactly that we were promised. Fairy wings. Yeah. Oh, 24 out of 24. We hit exactly. Yeah, fairy wings. I mean, fairy wings are nice casually. Like, also, I just hit myself. Nice. Archers, could you not all look the same, please? Yeah, units in the same class, uh, even on opposite sides of the fight, don't differentiate as well in this game as they did in uh, the original Tactics, so... Also yay. good crits. I think Arch Assault, such as... You did focus last turn, so... Yeah, focus and crits. Uh, sure. Let's go a bit to try and increase the damage, so... Doesn't matter. Yeah, wow. One off. Wow. Even giving us a high roll to rub it in. Um, this should work on here, right? Yeah. <gasps> Early yeah. in the game, enemies don't have a ton of evasion because evasion is tied up to equipment progress through the game. So for us, it's on equipment. For the enemies, mostly it's, you know, the, the progress through the game. All right. We got a first MVP and a Barong. But yeah, these early rewards are actually important and helpful. <laughs> As we have nothing, every little bit helps. All right, and with that, we finally open up to the world map. Because, yes, yeah, you can see, we are now, we're only in a very, very small area, and obviously, this is not all this game has to offer. Moving on to the next town. Which is Kamo, ain't ya? Basically what we're doing here, um, we want to earn money. Because we're poor. You know, capitalism. There's a lot of capitalism in this game. As in every good game, good speedrun, at some point you will never have money problems, but especially story-wise, like, if you can't save a cat, then you just have to earn money. Um, also I should not forget to just menu. But yeah, and they tell us about an uh, all-round stock, which sells for a bunch. Oh yes, all right. Let's go for it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Small thing. Uh, you gets lots of good stuff, and you. So now that we have learned cure on Lenso, on our on our human, we we can turn we can turn him into a black mage. More black mages. More black mages. Here's also where you start unlocking clan trials, um, which I did not want to click, thanks. 
Um, clan trials help us to improve clan talents and get some rewards. Also, where are we? Where are you? There. Mm -hmm. We'll already start with accepting another mission. Yep, so we're, we're, we're taking a fetch quest. Yeah, so the fetch quest has... It is very, very important. We basically do it now because we have to do it at some point and we're already here. And the whole purpose of this, fe this fetch quest is to unlock other mission slaters that we need. <laughs> it is as minimal as you could expect it. Um, we are delivering We are delivering lunch, though, and someone's real into that. So yeah. we did a good deed. We get a little bit of extra money. And, and it is also a very, very short mission. Like, all we really do is go to point A, get something to eat, go to point B, and deliver it. Like, this is what the in-between missions mostly are. Very, very short. And yeah, with that, we'll just le leave the bonus missions for, well, actually only a short while. My best to put as many in as possible, as early as possible. All right. Now we continue on. We're going to fight tomatoes. Yay. You say tomato. And we... I do, in fact, say tomato. I do, in fact. Yeah. And we need to meet a new character. Because... Well, I would say that, like, gen equality and so much was not that big when that game came out. Gosh, every game feels... Why does every game feel like 20 years old at this point? This is not okay. But welcome in the devil, I mean, our female main character. I mean, I'd hate to tell you how old this game is. Ah. <laughs> uh. I realized, uh, I realized today that Final Fantasy XI is over 20 years old, but FF14 is not yet. Hey, FF14 is about to hit 10. Uh, this game is this game is a solid 17 years old, so... And it is great. Don't let anyone tell you anything different. But yeah, it's time to go with our Black Mage army. Yep, we're going to make sure to not cast lightning magic this fight, so we can continue getting rewards. What is... I, I feel like I have not... whatever. We, we ain't questioning it. I'm also going to defend here and not actually attack, because that's what I usually do. And black mages are supposed to take care of something else. Phew, love to see that. So yeah, the general approach to this mission is we have two guest characters, which is great, because that means that a lot of stuff just does not go as usual. Um, and we have four melees, so basically two melees go after the purple all around. And we'll just go with as many, with Luso and the Banger, depending on what Sid and Adele do. Bell is going to taunt you because, you know, yeah. she takes great pride in her ability to taunt you throughout the entire game. I mean, right now she is just a seething little kitten. Uh, okay, we are not using lightning. I have never tried a frame count of which animation is the shortest, but usually it is a lightning spell, so we don't want to accidentally use that. Uh, yeah, sure. Go over there. We'll just pretend that Adele is going to attack the all round, which she probably will not. We're going to hope. We're going to hope, but we're not going to believe. We are going to take advantage of the fact that these two tomatoes are lined up really neatly, though, to try and... Yeah, if it goes really well, they're actually all three lined up, but 
as Sid decided to use Aaron, which is usually a good thing, he didn't completely approach, so suddenly one of the tomatoes got closer than he usually ever do. Um, no, 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 no. I can't just not, like, give those two potentially both turns, we can't just take them down. Uh, not what I wanted. Nope. Oh. Yeah, in this fight, also, Sid, that Sid starts to like using attacks that don't deal damage. It anyways likes to just steal. Um, so they both have counter. Wait, silence on the targets that actually uses magic? No, that would have been. That ironically basically never happened. Hey, Adelin's attacking. Nope, not attacking. Trying to steal. Yep. Ah. Uh. Um, see. <laughs> not sure what it calculates by. The air and attack is definitely very strong, and usually stronger than your weapon, that normal weapon attack, even though it is ranged. But it has also been nerfed since Tactics Advance. Like, so that is one of the many things where the devs realize in Tactics Advance knows this is broken. Uh, we need to balance that. Okay, yeah, you just go here. But that still doesn't mean that we won't see Air Render in action. Yep. Right now, though, we are, you know, you know, Lusso has giant two-handed sword, which is, you know, it's pretty a, good. It's a good upgrade. More, more wood. More wood. Not the right wood. There's but like, hey. there's like eighteen kinds of wood in this game. <laughs> yeah, you know, wood like is its you, own. Like they are. Several categories just off drops, and wood is its own category, so. Yeah. Okay, so the tomato apparently wanted to kill itself so that we can't AoE kill it. Yo, Soul Shuffle. That, on the other hand, is. Heck yeah, let's go. Like a 30 second time safer, so. That's one small mission less. Yo, Adele actually delivering the final blow. Ah. So Gigit Lead is in the same four item up like four item set as the Marlboro Vine. Because the four always together. Is it single pearl shell and I forgot the force right now. Uh I have a picture and now I don't know what it's called. <laughs> uh whatever. Doesn't matter too much. But yeah, Adele shows us that, well, she she has stolen our reward. And it's like, well, bye-bye. Oh. Also, takes our stuff, taunts us, and teleports off. What a good character. We love her. <laughs> yeah. I wish we had that amazing teleport spell. Looks pretty OP. Not gonna lie. But yeah, main loop of the story, right? Finish quest, go back to town to tell everybody, hey, I did the thing. And we got robbed, so give us another thing. <laughs> I'm like, hey, she is the one that's so from us. He's like, yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Sucks to be you, I guess. Sucks to be Yep. The seek basically the seek basically gives you the sucks to suck and then makes you walk away.
All right, and with that, time to do another one. Time for Ugor. And the next area, because at this point we still slowly unlock the areas. So yeah, it is also introducing another new little challenge to us. So usually, in most cases, we have to defeat every enemy. And this fight we don't. Yeah, mini bosses and bosses generally have the mechanic where if you if you defeat the main target, that's the objective, rather than defeating all enemies. Yeah. But at the same time, like, some of the enemies are just so in the way, like, just killing them off means that they will get a lot less chance. So... Mm -hmm. So not even placing the archer because it's not worth it. Of course, the other thing, of course, is that the off chance that they can actually, like, kill your party members. <laughs> yeah, not, shouldn't be that relevant right now, but... Later on. I have to play it by the ear, but yeah, the first wolf here. Sid! This is not how you use air in there. Push the button, Sid. Unbelievable. He's just so sloppy. Yeah, but the big thing is, is that... Casually, the game does honestly expect you to take a bunch of side quests. Like, it expects you to do... To progress through this game normally, it expects you to do a lot of side quests. Um, I actually kind of like that it's side quests and not like the Final Fantasy tactics walk back and forth until you find the fight you want situation. But we are we are keeping it to the minimum and that we're still powerful right now because you're gaining one level every two fights basically. Yeah, well, we're still okay. Like, since we are doing the best out of it, like what's, what are these here? Level 5 to level 8. Um, also, yep. the wolf down there can drop a Malboro vine, so there's no way we're not gonna bop it. Yep. Uh, no matter how fast Ugor is gonna come close to us. Uh, no. I mean, Ugor, Ugor is approaching with with uh, alacrity here. Yeah. I mean, if the wolf wouldn't be dropping the Malboro vine, it would actually have started to be a consideration of ignoring it, but... Nah, it's gotta die. It's gotta... Also, one fun fact is still um, okay. It's gone now. It now he uses air in there. <laughs> Good job, Sid. Useless. I mean, it killed. That was neat. It did. Got H linen thread. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so as you might see, if you are fast enough, um, Ugor absorbs earth damage. This is actually relevant. Ouch. Counter critical. Why? Because our good friend Sid has a Samson sword, which is an Earth elemental weapon. Now, fortunately, so Sid is smart enough to not attack. Guess a butt, Demi. What's that? Guess a butt. <laughs> Sid is gonna hopefully be occupied with all the other enemies that take good Earth damage instead. Yeah, Sid has counter. So sometimes Sid, just, Sid is like, yeah, I'm going to counter you with my weapon. And then Uber just gets healed by the counter. It's great. The pencils? No, I don't think we really needed that either. Nope. And the good thing about counters is obviously that the target will always turn around, which means that it is way easier to just attack from the side or so. Because the front is always occupied, because it's where he countered to. Also, your, your main character just had a 1% dodge there. Did I just say Sid is never stupid? Sid, what are you doing? 
gosh. So sleep and so rare, I can't even recall that this ever happened. They just, just walked up and instead of like killing the Cossetress, just decided to be a pain and make this fight longer. Thanks, Sid. I just thought it was impossible to happen, but apparently he just dislikes attacking so much. Like usually he will use moves like rent power or something useless. So I guess, yeah, the reason why I've never seen it is just that he doesn't like attacking in the first place. Yeah, just stop attacking, Sid. Jeez. May you never get a turn again. I mean, that's the hope. We've got two black mages coming up next, so... Yeah, you know, Uger is gonna go down. Also, friendly fire up to this point is not a problem. That will change with the next fight, but hey. There we go. With a with minimum of fuss, except for that one Sid's wink. Thanks, Sid. Traitorous. <laughs> Wretched. Uh, and now we get a Samson sword of our own. Too bad the next fight is enemies at half earth damage. Anyways, we'll leave behind the treasure because we are noobs, apparently. And Alice like, hey! Certainly look at, what look worked. At <laughs> what worked once worked again, right? Yep. That except this time we left we left a leg trap behind because you know we're very smart. Yeah. And she didn't even see it coming. Like how many leg traps would you actually have to put down in order for this to work? Clearly the answer was one. <laughs> I mean, in reality, not if Adeldris blindly runs into it. It's not like we are hiding we this leave... trap in a cave. We are putting it in the open field. It, it's in the tall grass. It's fine. <laughs> and we leave her there. Look, we left her there. Yeah. So what do you think is the logical consequence now? Now that we have left her there. What do you think will happen Abs with her next? Absolutely nothing. We'll never see her again. Yeah, almost. She dies in the forest. Almost. The answer is obviously she's not going to join us because I don't know. D do you know these things where it's like start something, question mark, question mark, question mark, profit? I feel like we've just jumped over the question marks. Yeah, we really did. <laughs> The question marks are clearly leave, leave woman in the woods, but hey. <laughs> leave woman in the woods to woman joins us. Like, you wouldn't expect that there is nothing in between, but whatever is in between is omitted. Also, she's level nine and way higher level than any one of us. Uh... Now it's time to go to the next town. The port of Graston. Yeah. So yeah, basically, I mean, we have fallen out of Sin Air and Sid is going to help us find, like, find how we can move on, like, find out what's happening, how he can help us. And yeah, now Sid is going to meet an old friend. Who is super amazing and so versatile. My favorite. Do you know the ninja was a gun? Yeah, that was in that was in the original tactics. There were the two assassins that are just ninjas with guns that instantly kill you. It's like you will never use a gun again. But welcome to the ninja with a gun. Because yeah. I guess it would be too dramatic if the, if you actually use the sword. Or a knife, you know, or Remember like an FF4 with Rosa. Yeah. Was I turn the guillotine into a ball because Yeah, that's less horrific apparently. Apparently. Guns are a weapon in this game, um, but they're primarily the the vein of Mughals.
So yeah, on the good also, side, Sid is now in bed and can't disturb us anymore. He's not dead, at least. Well... This is a game for children, you can't just kill characters. Like FFTA speedrunners last week. I've seen plenty of children's media that all exist to just kill your parents off because it's part of the beginning of the storyline. <laughs> Whatever happens in the first episode stays in the first episode, alright? You know what? Fair. I'm gonna grab a couple quests here. Alright, let's see that we get this to work. So, we get the first quest, which which we need, and we are starting with dispatching. Okay. Um, let's see and hope that this works. Um, uh, wait a second. You? Fewer VIP, right? Guys, I need some race. Oh, this is, this is not what I want to see. Ah. Uh, uh, no. Alright, let's try you. Uh, so we are doing this mission as a sent out to get mo to get quick experience, hopefully. Which is a relatively new strat, which I have not done many runs with. Um, hence I'm gonna save now, because our left should be fine. Y usually the characters signal by their state, like raising their arms or not, if they are happy or not. Um, what we can also do, unit info. What also usually increases your chances, uh, yeah, Bex got a VIP, uh, an MVP. Uh, putting MVPs as the party leader. Um, uh, and it is very important that we get this experience. We are doing it already as basically late as possible. Okay, let's just see what happens. I've not... I mean, I'll just reload the save, not do it, and try to do it later. I haven't done that, but hey. I guess that's the option I have. Yeah. There's the Galeria Deep, which uh, right. there's a bunch of subquests there. We still Did get we it. succeed? Not as fast Yay. as I hope to, but... Yeah. One of the big differences... So we've never talked about hard mode, but one of the big differences is that like these dispatches in hard mode are basically impossible. Like, you need to be so much higher level. It's... <laughs> I want to say not even worth it, but you will probably not get experience at this point. All right. Demi, can you see the difference between this fight and the others when you just look at the notes? Uh, We're not going to use fire this time. <laughs> True. Because fire is forbidden by the law. <laughs> um, but also, now things get more serious. So this fight uh, can be very, 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 very brutal. Yep. Wolves have decent crit rates. The Thunderflan can AoE you. Yeah, and like the Thunderflan absorbs lightning damage and like does big lightning damage and everything deals lightning damage and can heal and so basically the target of this mission is to kill the big dragon and the actual target is kill the thunder flam <laughs> the thunder flam yeah. has to die <laughs> and it's we're gonna we're gonna throw a pile of blizzards at it mostly um So yeah, we were gonna do a very specific setup to make the flan exactly move the way we want to, and then it will hopefully die. Mm -hmm. Of course, since Adele has joined the clan, she is not a guest character, so we do have control of that as well. Yeah, I like you couldn't do any manipulation if you had a random moving guest character. <laughs> Just the thought of it sounds frightening. She also comes with pretty good equipment as well as level 9, so... Yeah, I mean, compared to what we have, which is... I'm not sure if that is an accomplishment, but... 
<laughs> it is better than the worst equipment. Yep. But yeah, we're putting ourselves in position that the flan will now move exactly three tiles toward this. And now we are going to offload a pile of damage into it. <laughs> and now we'll do whatever we can. Ah, uh, you hate to see it. That's that's bad. So yeah, Dragon Force actually does increase the damage by by a bit, and the dragon already deals decent damage. So I mean, it's not like we suddenly lose this fight or anything, but yeah. yeah but. But our main character is still level four. <laughs> it means that it just hurts more. Like, if you deal 60 instead of 50, that is a significant increase of damage. I mean, the big thing is if it brings a brings a unit into two shot range, that can be really problematic. We also see the ability to absorb damage for the first time, which basically just heals by 10%. Uh, rounded down of the damage they have taken. Uh, yep. It is 10% of non-lethal damage, at least, so if the shot kills, they still just die. For sure. Also, yeah, I do not want to take friendly fire anymore. Especially because we will not kill Mini Sunderland ever anyways. All right, and the final hit. Oh no! Uh, I think you. I think you took it to one. Oh, screw this! Why? We even got the attack from the side. Why were my damage rolls so heckin' low? I took it to four. Took it to yeah. Took it to two before. Well, the, the now reveal. you get to see well. why this is gonna be painful and why. So now we might lose... So this is a fight I had on Tuesday. We lost five minutes. Yep. And there I still killed oh, yeah, the Sunder Flan turn too. But also basically all of my... Oh gosh. Saying so missing the Sunder Flan at least. I mean, that's something. Yeah, it's interesting. Even though the effect heals, it can miss. <laughs> did I, man did I mention how bad this is? Why? Uh. Sure. So you. Uh. The problem was that we could do so much better stuff, like killing the wolves or healing ourselves, but we have to go all out murdering this flan somehow. Well, oh, this wolf is going to continue trying to cut down our, our party members. And at this point, we are glad that we are not playing hard mode. Hard mode is brutal. Yeah. Hard mode would have a good chance for us to die now. Normal mode, we should... St I, I, it's looking pretty okay right now still. So, yeah. Gunmunto also halves all elemental damage, so it's not like our black mages. Another soul shuffle. Um Kill Bex, you wanted to come back? Yep. We're gonna get more healing items later, but we do start with a handful of Phoenix Downs, which just resurrect a dead party member to a spot adjacent to you. Did I mention how uh. good healing items are? Like they don't deal hundred damage with one attack. No matter how hard they try. <laughs> yeah, it does use up the turn, but hey, it's better to live than die. It's obviously like for speed purposes, not the best, but for safety purposes, like... Can't come close. Also, let's wake up Adele, shall we? I said let's no, wake up Adele. Nah, you're gonna miss. <laughs> uh, so she is confused? Okay, let's wake up Adele again. She is confused and addled. Yep. 
mean, what confusion does Adol everyone does? Those? Do you know what Adol does? It removes the ability to use physical abilities. It's silence for physicals. Yeah, so basically she can only attack right now, which... <laughs> it's fine. Decreases we prefer the, that, actually. Yeah, it decreases the impact of what Confuse can do by a lot. Yeah. And we also were too lazy to actually do an extra menu to give her item. Uh, oh, Moogle is dead again. I guess that's fine at this point. I mean, I would, the position right now is great for black mages, but... But yeah. As I said, in the long term, it's not like they actually do much. Uh, should have probably attacked those doggos. As I said, the Sunder Flan doesn't... get healed if it gets ever low anyways. Uh, nice, 52 and 51. Yeah. I would have at least killed it now, but hey. And in this position, the Thunder Drake will not Thunder Press three of us. No, I'm just gonna bite the Black Mage here. Um, no, the Drake afterwards. Oh, the Drake afterwards? Yeah, the Drake I, I afterwards. I was looking at the possible breath. AoE damage yep. possibilities. Looks like gonna breath. Nope, just gonna attack the Black Mage, so. All right, well, I'll just smack him a bit. <laughs> Cannot reach wherever I want to reach. <laughs> yeah, but you're going to take this square away from, uh, from the boss. Like, I don't want to take the sun that Drake, the small one, and this is all we can attack. Thanks. Yeah. But yeah, for safety purposes, just getting rid of the wolves is helpful. <laughs> You'll have to see it, don't you? Yeah, that's fine. This is acceptable because that, that wolf's life is about to be uh, ended. An absolute waste of turn. Alright, well, now we're making headway at least. Iron Carapace. Uh, yeah, talking about Thunderbreast, I don't want to go into the back of that dragon because then Thunderbreast can attack all three. Let's not do that. Yeah, oops. That doesn't even kill. <laughs> Dark Bolts can just to confuse oh, effects, great. so... What are you up to now? Gonna melee? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a Numu melee. <laughs> it's very powerful. And now that is a dead black mage. Well, only only ninety damage. I mean, you know, uh, flex harder next time. Jeez. <laughs> you said that no enemy does like a hundred damage. And that was that was pretty close. Yeah, yeah. But this is also like physical attack from a buffed strong dra boss dragon against. Inumu. Tiny unarmored mage. Like, <laughs> the mageiest of mage in all mage classes. Like, uh, that's even... a good thunder breath. That's a good thunder breath for us because it doesn't heal the boss. <laughs> the boss halves electric uh, thunder type damage, ironically. It does not absorb it. It absorbs it doesn't absorb dark it. damage and is weak to holy. Not that we could use holy damage. Oh. I mean, maybe there's a world if you did all other missions and got perfect drops that you you would at some point find it, but... Um... I'm trying to remember what, like, the first holy weapon is, and it's pretty deep in the game. Yeah, I mean, holy is never anywhere. <laughs> but yeah, as I said, drop pulls up. Nice. Did you see that crit? Oh, and we yep. got the drop. Oh, and a bottle of fine. Let's right. go. All right. Estimate is safe. Unless major run things is, happen. Run is, run is good. Good crit, Adele. I approve. Good drop, too. Good. Yeah. And now we meet a very important non-playable character. 
His first action is to warn us that, well, the dragon is gonna self is gonna self destruct because, well, it only was that strong because it got it infused all the mist. Mist, you remember FF12, Elias Cave? Yeah, that thing. That's also flying here a lot in the atmosphere. But yeah, he is actually also the reason we ever went here, or wanted to go here. He's like, yeah, the old wise man who knows everything, or most of it. He's basically telling us, yeah, so we have this book that you can see on the... I don't know how small the screen is, I don't have it open right now. Um, yeah, well, as you can see, we have five entries. And it makes basically a quarter, so yeah, we need to basically fill the book with the stories we've made on the way. And then when our story is over, we'll be able to go home. What we need to do in order to, like, what, what actually qualifies for it to be filled in the one notes. He just basically tells us, just keep doing stuff. Yeah. Great, isn't it? All right. I was that. Um, I was supposed to make some breaks. So now would be, I think, a good part. The first first half mission, a good part uh, time where we could take a short break. Yeah. So during these longer uh, GQ uh, hotfix runs, we like to take breaks every now and then. So uh, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, just before that, just a quick reminder, your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, and bits cheered on the GDQ Twitch channel do help support games from quick. If you like any of the content we uh, put on, any special showcases of games, any of our weekly content, it really does help us. Uh, so uh, please make sure that. Uh, with that said, we'll be back in just a few minutes here after the break. Hello everybody and welcome back to the game of the Hotfix. Today we are showcasing two Final Fantasy Tactics games. Uh, we are in the middle of a Final Fantasy Tactics A2 Grimoire of the Rift run. And we'll hand it right back over and we can get right back into it. Yo, welcome back y'all. So, after we've done the first, I want to say, semi-difficult game. Uh, semi-difficult fight. Time to continue on. This will actually be the segment in which we will do by far the lowest amount of um, main missions. Because we will have basically all the grinding to do as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, first things first, go going back to Graston, telling Sid what's up. He's like, hey, you children, do you want to gamble? Don't gamble at home. Um, we have an auction house here. Where you can win lots of great prizes. So you, do you all remember an FFTA? Like, conquering areas? Do you remember that, Demi? Yeah, I do. We used to have to, like, go and take over areas because we needed to expand our clan territory and it gave us access to cool stuff and money and side quests. And then you had to defend them all the time because someone was attacking they were them. They were constantly under attack. It was terrible, but it was great, but it was terrible. Yeah. So instead of that, we now have the fabulous, fabulous um, auction house system. But yeah, because before we can do auction house stuff, we first got to do one more mission. Which name is, well, now that's a fire. Whatever shall that mean, I wonder. I bet there's a fire. Probably, right? You think that our black mages are going to be good for that mission? Uh, as long as we're not casting fire magic. Yeah, so... All the missions... <laughs> like, we had an increase in difficulty and now we're just going a bit down again. Um, this fight is, I don't want to call it a meme, 
But so this fight has five or six enemies here do self-destruct if they aren't critical. And that hurts. Ironically, if you really, really, really tried, you could have also turned Lucio um, or the white, uh, well, we bang her first, or the human, I think, into a blue mage at this point, and then you would be able to learn self-destruct here. It is not worth it. We're not going to blow ourselves up. That's that's just silly. It, it just doesn't deal damage. Like, the, the damage is so negligible. Um, I mean, it would probably save some time just not having to waste Deuce's turn on some of the missions, but it's just too much effort. Also, I mean, Lucio being a white mage in the first fights, which is... Uh, really, uh, really bad for early damage. Yeah. Humans are really only really good at black magic if you, like, train them up early and give them time to train. Like, our black, our human black mage is not that great, but it's still better than anything else it could be. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we also did some menuing. We get, got the Samson sword onto our banger, finally. Which is great, because these floating eyes are weak to earth damage. If you ever want to see, like, a bat getting new, be ready for it. Uh, let's go over here. No, 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 no. I want to maximize damage. Even though we won't kill, sadly. Oh yeah, but it will, it will blow up and put our... Well, but yeah, hey, how about, oh, come on, <laughs> this is not what I wanted to show off right now. <laughs> nice. Up. Wait, no, this is, this is a text pose. but yeah, I oh, know it is too high up. That's good. A um, minor inconvenience when enemies self-destruct, you won't get a drop. Uh, which is ah. uh, yeah, which is ironic because so we don't need it anymore. But there are two enemies here for the Malboro fine. One is the bat. <laughs> That's okay. And the other that one can't. Yeah, that one can't blow itself up at least. Yeah, and the other is the bomb with critical quicken. Just so everyone's aware, Quicken is the status effect. Critical Quicken in particular says uh, when you are placed into HP critical status, uh, you immediately act. <laughs> yep, and then it will immediately self-destruct. So you would have to, like, make sure that it doesn't end. Uh, yeah, no. Especially with the fact that, of course, these fire enemies also heal each other. Like. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Just no. I actually had it, like, last run, I believe, but the amount of times that I've actually gotten a drop off of that, uh, no. <laughs> Don't even bother trying. Can't be that desperate. Like, if I knew it would drop it, maybe. If I mean, then yes, but else. There are no guarantees in this game, though, so. We do not know any, any reliable minute. I say we when I could also just say me, but, you know... There might always be new speedrunners. Actually, there is a new speedrunner, hopefully. Finally. Yay! You love to see new speedrunners. But yeah, laying down the AoE ice damage here. Just trying to get through this fight as fast as is possible. Uh, Alright, from the side. Still enough. Recall grass. That one could be useful if you were to get velvet on top, but velvet only drops from one or two enemies, so it basically never happens. Mm -hmm.
ไปยังเอาเกิดเซตว่าเอวีไอส์ดัมเมจวีไมท์เดียลมอร์ดัมเมจซึ่งโอ้ฮะมีมอร์ดันเซเวนตี้วีวูดพรอบลีนิดสี่ทาร์เก็ตส์ฟอร์เซตอาเชื่อโอ้ไม่ดีฟรีนดี้ไฟร์ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเมื่อไหร่ไอส์ไซเซตเม
Where are my old notes? Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, nice. Remember, I wanted to do something, but it didn't work. So I marked it mm -hmm. in yellow, but didn't put it in the right spot. <laughs> <laughs> Good shot, me. Um, anyways, we'll just make it do. So now we'll just... Hey, everyone ready for a world trip? One, two, three. But yeah, thanks to us not winning, we can't just pay these people. Here, take my 500, 5,000 bucks and we done. And we got one negotiation. Yay. You think we need more negotiation, Demi? Eh. Yeah. Heck yeah, we need definitely more negotiation. For the next mission we want to do. Uh, da, 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 da. So yeah, we'll just unlock okay. all the areas because we have nothing better to do. Peek in here yep. just because. Um, double dip best Baptiste because yeah, um, overworld movement is not exactly correct when things are blinking. And now in Mistleaf, we'll get this very nice spot. Um, hello. You also want money. Here, take my money. We got some. And we get Windstones and another two negotiation. Negotiation is just is just paying people off, isn't it? You're not really negotiating. Well, f honestly, I don't really care too much. All I know is I need it for my next mission that I want to do, so... Yep. Um, here and the is thing this. is, is that when you pay... Go ahead. No, good, good. The big thing is, at least when you pay them off, it, since it finishes a mission, you get some of the money back. See, I can't do it, you know, but... Hey, alright, so yeah, we are gonna do an extra mission. A level 23 mission. Can you imagine how tough it's gonna be? We're gonna die, aren't we? Ah, uh, almost. I have no clue. I mean, it's probably just level 23 because I don't want us to send out anyone. Ah. Because, I mean, so the enemies are level 13, but that's not even what matters. Because our objective is just to destroy all traps. Um, so yeah. Abilities that Do you see target all, all units traps? are not available? Huh? Nice. So abilities that target all units are unavailable here. Not, not that that matters. It's only on most second tier classes. Yeah, and we don't even want to attack anyone. Which is the best part. So in this mission we can actually see the traps. Um, in any other missions, there is a privilege that... Uh, Mock just goes here. That allows you to see traps that you were able to unlock by... Having the GBA game FFTA in your GBA slot. But yeah, this mission shows you all of them because you have to, well, destroy them by stepping onto them. So how much RNG do you think this mission has? Probably none. This is probably very deterministic and nothing you have to worry about. Of course, right? Did you see where this, this enemy could have stepped onto? <laughs> yes, enemies do not trigger the traps in this mission. Even though the, te the flavor text of this mission is you have to destroy the traps so that the, that the, the wild enemies, uh, wild beings don't get hurt, they cannot activate the traps. <laughs> uh, there's a needle trap. Um, but yeah, we got the good pattern, which we try to manipulate by the way we are moving, but as it always is, so it doesn't mean that it actually happens. Free experience points. Yeah, and we get free experience points. But yeah. Most importantly, we get... So we got the windstones, and now we get worm carapace and syncotite, which we both need. Before that... Yo, Demi, let's nap, around, nap a bit. What do you think? Good idea. 
So yeah. Gonna break into this old gonna break into this old man's house. <laughs> yeah. And realize that he is not there. So what are we gonna do? Of course. We just kidnap his bedroom. <laughs> um so yeah, so this is one of the two places in this game where you can nap for 20, 60, or 200 days. The year has 240, ju just for comparison. Uh, and this is what we're gonna use to recruit new clan members. So yeah, we are going to manipulate specific clan members now. That's what we wish we would do. We're gonna get lucky and get a bunch of Seek in the party. Um, so actually, you always get Seeks here in two of uh, two of the months, which are close to each other. You can just do 220, 260. Mm -hmm. um, we also always do the 200 last, because else we might run into the Auction House months, and then we just get extra prompts. Um, so yeah, we get Berserk as our Ranger, so of course we have RNG. Um, but at this point, we don't get too much yet which one we actually get. Like, rangers would be nicer, but we also take berserkers. We definitely want one ranger class, so... Uh, we have Plum Frost, so uh, we 20. Yeah, this is um, so yeah. Final Fantasy Tactics A2 also came with two new races, being the Seeks and the Grias. How well do you think those were balanced, Danny? Um, I'm sure that there is nothing unbalanced about a a character race that has wings and can fly. I'm sure that's fine and good and nice. Um. And I'm sure Seek are fine too, because they're just, you know, they're just, they're worse Bonga, right? That's how this works? Yeah, absolutely. So while obviously they, uh, what am I even doing? No, I don't want to do this. Uh, obviously, like, the balancing around the classes I already had in FFTA was pretty good. Uh, yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, uh. <sighs> we'll get to that later. Um, but first, we have to get ready for a very, very evil boss. So, we'll pick up the most important and crucial weapons that no one would ever have thought would be OP, but welcome silver bows. Yep, and now you can see that they're in the shop and we can buy them. Yep. Uh, Grab half a dozen. Can we just a few of those? Because we can. A few of those. Stocking up on a few of those. potions. Just a bit of healing, equips. All the good stuff. Now it's time to have lots of archers. The reason why a bow Every... turned into a soldier. Everybody's gonna learn how to use a bow. Yeah. Ever heard of not of low damage bows? Yeah. Welcome to our life. Cookery card card nice. Uh. All right. Give everybody items. Yep. And now we're heading to a very, 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 very broken, broken, broken. I don't know. I don't know who who in the balancing department thought that this was a good idea. But hey, ain't gonna judge them. So yeah, welcome to the Lord of the Flow Sands. Um, Antlion the Dream Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, there's what is one enemy. We only need to kill the enemy if we kill this, one of the small antlions. Like, we, there are new ones coming back anyway, so there will always be two. And I mean, with both, it's not like we ever want to kill them. Um, yeah. So this boss has three abilities. Spoilers, all of them are banned. <laughs> um, and of course, this is a fight that New Moon Magic would be fantastic on. Uh, not allowed. Yeah. 
Do you, do you know this boss, Danny? I know this boss. Normally in this boss, normally in this boss fight, what you end up having to do is like fan your party out, like attempt to spread out along the arena. You know, get your mailers down there as fast as possible. Um, your support classes are doing a lot of work. Items are doing a lot of work. Yeah. So this boss has three three attacks. One is an AOE attack, just around the six spots in that uh, 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 indirect neighborhood. We're never gonna see this one. So that is actually probably the best attack you can get, and it still hurts. Mm -hmm. Um. Then you have this attack, Gravity Flux. Casual AOE around 50 damage. So, 300 damage for one turn. Also not really what you want to see. Um, and the third attack is also not much better. What the third attack does, it's called draw in. And draw in, well, basically sucks one of our characters and deals around 80 damage and heals itself for the amount of damage it deals. So if you like go casually and heal, have your party healed up, it means like it likes to use draw in and it will pro it will heal itself for 80 HP every turn. It's like oh we are only 647 today, not 660. We got hey. a low roll. Um, so yeah. yeah, grabs grabs the Viera, spits her back out. <laughs> so this is she's gonna die. Probably <laughs> the hot, like rooting. If you thought of speedrunning this back when no speedrun existed yet, this was the hurdle. This was what was supposed to be overcome. And it was very accidental that I found what I found. Um, the way why I found it was that, well, if we go like two missions higher uh, later, then you would get a silver bow via like rewards for keeping the law. And as it turns out, draw in has a range. And that range exactly goes onto where the Viera is. So mm -hmm. the boss can only draw in the Viera. So welcome to just baiting. Yeah, but if we take another gravity flux like we're about to take, we do need to start patching the party up. Yep. Uh, it sadly happens every once in a while, but there is only so much we can do about it. And yeah, also note, like, the silver bow has an additional range. Like, <laughs> it is so good that we do have access to that. Um... If we wouldn't, like, this would be a lot tougher. Like, that additional range just means that we actually have, like, five attacking, five and a half attacking characters. So, so at the end of the day, we probably are doing, what, about 20 damage a shot with the regular party members here? Yeah, like, both of us go more around 25, Adele, 22, 23, Ranger St. Luso, like, 18, 19. Okay. Um, so we're expecting to to deal out 100 damage, and then the Viera, when it gets sucked in, is going to reduce the amount of damage that we do per turn cycle by, like, 26 or so? Yeah, I mean, more like 80, I guess, because... Yeah. I mean, one of them has to rest, which is also a good right. point. Um, so we talked about keeping the law. Um, I guess then we can talk about... So if you break the law... Following things happen. You lose your privilege. You will not. Your um, rewards at the end of battle will get reset. You will get none for that, and then you go back one, two, three, and you cannot revive anymore. So yes, but as long as we do not take actions by new moves, chances are we will not this fight. Um, we can rest her over and over and over. <laughs> yep. And otherwise, we're just going to let the Seek Army do some work here and just spray arrows down onto the Flowstone Lord, the Flow Sand Lord. What a good fight. <laughs> it's, it, it is cheese at its best. It is badly, but I mean, it is slowish, 
But compared to all the other options you have... Yep. Uh, there are a couple people in chat who are just going, yeah, this, this is the fight that ruined my casual playthrough. And it's yep. like, yeah, that makes all the sense. It really does. And this is also... So when I said, like, between Ranger and Berserker when we recruited... So, rangers have increased defense and speed, which is really nice. But berserkers have higher attack, which for this fight is probably slightly better because, like, your animations hit harder. So, for the mid, for, for the part two, like, we will recruit later on more, uh, it probably evens out. Basically because he has this fight. Yeah. This fight is otherwise not very exciting in the speedrun, thankfully. You don't need excitement when the boss is this strong. Yeah, no, no. We Excitement is bad. We don't... We're not... There's very little RNG involved. There is just... It's just go through, take the shots, heal your party if you get gravity fluxed. I mean, Gravity Flex wastes a whole turn, which is quite a lot of time, but yeah. It's... Mm -hmm. Also the fact that, like, two to three Gravity Flex just wipe your whole party? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Thankfully, Seek, Seek have the hit point count to take two, I believe. Like, they're they're good on hit point count, usually. Yeah. Like, Berserk is, as I said, a bit weak on defense, but which is also why we put the one original Berserk far in the back. Where he he, he pro hopefully won't be bothered by the small ant lions, who at some point yeah, they will they will eventually find their way up the hill here. Yeah, or oh, sometimes more they crits. also stick more. in front of Adele. Yeah, more crits, please. Yeah. Also, you have like RNG with crits, misses, and opportunity commands. We saw one earlier that we didn't use, so. But Unity commands are great. Because they are absolutely random. They are very dependent upon the class and location that you're in. And so they do different things based upon uh, what class you are and how many uh, enemies or allies you have surrounding you. Now the class actually doesn't matter, but yeah, enemies and allies, which is also the reason why we didn't use it the one time we got it. So, basically, the opportunity command we are looking for, I mean, okay, it's in certain cases, early on, you could do double strike. Like, if you only have one enemy next to you, then it will get attacked twice. But what we would usually look out is having exactly two friendly characters around you, because then all three get hasted. Which... Ah. Yeah. Is real good. Is real good. Sadly, the one that got the opportunity command was the one above Saviera, the so there were three around, and yeah. Yeah, then you get you get shield, which I believe is what pro shell. Yeah, not anything I ever care about. Like some status. Yo, is this is third crit already. Hey, let's go. Who takes those? But yeah, we're just throwing arrows into this pit here. Yeah. So yeah. It's still like so surprising like how much minimal setup you need in order to like be set up for this fight. Like we did we ran around in order to like talk to one random NPC spot and we did one very short mission. And that immediately gave us all we need. Casual players will probably end up doing most of the available on-level quests before they get here and be probably around level 18 or so. Uh, I mean, you can go far, honestly. Yeah. And as I said, especially like if you explore everything, once once you know that the auction house gives you OP items, you might also just do that as well. <laughs> it's real hard to do the auction house early, then, fortunately. Like, it's it's hard to to win enough of the, the world that way. Yeah, it was safe scamming. It's tough. Yeah. It was a few attempts. It depends on the playstyle, I would say. But especially in like comparable with the things that you can like craft 
in the shop. And like yep. most of the late game items also, like at the moment, like what you will see, the items that you craft, um, you can't buy infinite times. But with the high level uh, weapons and armor and such, you can only buy one and then you have to recraft them. Yep. Like if you are like, hey, Ninja the Tabai are great. I like items that give me plus two movement. Yeah, you will have to do that every time. Yeah, and they're not common drops either, because a lot of the time we're getting into uh, like A and B tier drops for some of that gear. So, yeah, I mean they they are still A tier like items which need very rare loot. Does not always equivalent a certain like rarity, mm -hmm. but like some very rare items can suddenly need a rather common drop, or the other way around, but. Yeah. Mostly it is pretty stable. The oh, other nice does. thing is that a lot a lot of the rare drops come from doing specific subquests to get the items to unlock them, so there is that. Yeah. Alright. We don't need to revive anymore. 60 health, almost there. Heck yeah. All right, last turn. Got a good number of crits in there. It was about like six of them. Yeah, it was... Crits were pretty good. We only had one gravity flux at the beginning. Like, get getting a fight without a second gravity flux is... I don't know if I've ever... Like, if it happens, it is yeah. super rare. I think we only got the two, like, yeah. during the whole fight. Like, the so. first one you always get, because no one is in range yeah. for the other it two attacks. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. So, yeah. Flux. And then the second one, it's probably not wounded enough to want to use draw in yet, so it just fluxes you again. I don't know. Sometimes it, sometimes it also likes using it when it can defeat multiple. Yeah. Also, two MVPs. I thought there was always only one, but hey. Won't say no to that. Nope, definitely. We need our MVPs. Well, Mo Moogle was MVP. As long as I remember that, we should be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is one one of the hardest boss one of the hardest fights cheesed by speedrunners. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like if this if this fight is blocking your ability to get through the fight, I would highly recommend just using the strat anyway. Yeah. Uh, I mean, maybe you can find some stronger bow for like the, for like the positions where Lucer and Adele were. Um, I haven't found anything speedrun viable yet, but yeah, th this fight, th this strat makes this fight so much more consistent. <laughs> All right, and now we'll never see the Archer class again. Um, oh yeah, Sam. Yeah. White Mom. Thief. Oops. Optimize. And look, we got Kaiser Knuckles. So you know what Kaiser Knuckles teach? They teach, um, Earth Wave? Air render. Ah, right. The air renders range three. Uh, uses your physical stat. I think Earth was Tiger Claws or something. Okay, yeah. Trying to remember FFTA knowledge. Yeah, because the, the Earth one is a linear is a is a six hitting is a six square line. At least straightforward. I wouldn't even have known how long it is, but it's pretty far. It's it's eight in the original tactics uh, for monks, and it's six in TA. Yeah, I mean. All right, making our way back. 
Tschüss. All right, and now it's one more mission. Um, Yay. This way I can finally do what I want to do. So yes, yeah, this is my main mission. Let's try and find out. Hello, I still want to dispatch. No, this is day four. What? When can I dispatch this? Ah. <laughs> uh. New route. New problems. Yeah, I kinda... Alright, so yes, this is the last fight which we'll do absolutely... Absolutely fair. Cause story and one of the, one of the drops we want actually is a reward from this fight. So yeah, remember our, our friend, the ninja with a gun? He's back. And he wants to buy our judge. Demi, how much do you want to sell our judge for? So yeah, obviously we don't want to die, so we ain't gonna sell our judge. No judge selling today. So he'll just put the judge into a cage and well, so we'll start this fight um, after we've chosen the privilege, well, without a judge. We still choose privilege speed too because you can see the turn order down there. It does not change. So for the first few turn, for the first turn or so, our privilege still gets applied. Okay, so we're trying again to just bait you in a bit. You one has ninja tabai. I wish we could steal those. They are rad. Um, cause yeah, this is really really tough. The enemies are hugely out leveling us. Really well equipped. They have like they murder us if we are not careful. And on top, there's a time mage with haste, cure, and reflect. Also, what the heck? Slow and blind on my Moogle? Uh, I do not appreciate that. Um, I guess we'll just remedy... Can we remedy all of that? Let's just remedy that. Um, so yeah, I will still stay in position. Simply because, yeah, we get more turns if we don't move. Like shot. Um, do we have to heal that as well? If we need remedies, basically only in this fight, so we can just spam all of them. Should... Nope, no, 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 no. Um, remedy. And now we wait. And we wait. Okay. What are you... Yo, nice. Don't haste. Reflect. Uh, at least he ran away. And as you might be able to imagine, if the Time Age casts Reflect on you, this fight goes very weird. It's very wonky. I'm not even sure to say how much worse it actually gets, but because suddenly the Black Mage just can't use Black Magic on it, but the, white, the Time Mage also can't heal him. Gosh, 
What is going on? This feels weird, but we'll just see what happens. Ouch. High roll crit. You hate to see it. You could you not? Hello! Not okay! I repeat, not okay! Could you not keep your distance, Ewan? Um. No! I'm not gonna move from this plate. I, I could have healed the time, Black Mage, whatever. Or the Moogle, or anyone. Ouch! Whoa! Are you kidding me? Oh. Ooh. The crit? Uh, can't even heal. Yeah, in normal mode, this fight should still be okay, but it can turn really weird, and this looks really weird. Like, Everyone else is just charging at our party, except for you and you. Okay, and the time mage, I guess. The time mage is also just. But yeah, we need so we need to surround you at some point because the time mage is not gonna use cure on you or in general is not gonna use cure if the cure could heal one of our party members. Ah, uh, to. No, we'll wait. Come closer, Ewan. Stop using your ninja. Oh, goodness. Shh. This is ridiculous. Is Ewan being problematic? Ewan just doesn't want to hack. He's just us using his low damage ninjutsu while everyone else is just murdering my black mages. Who are going to jail. Yeah. You should have seen the mark getting... Double sword crit crit and just <laughs> obliterated for 112 damage. Okay. Barbara Vine? Guess we need to move. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can we not? Okay, fire veil. Confuse. That was exactly what we needed right now. Oh, goodness. Don't do anything stupid. It'd be worse, I guess. Not really. I mean, he unconfuses himself, and it's Ewan. I'm not saying it's great, but could have targeted the Sun on Adele. True. He did at least progress the fight, the the desired fight outcome, which is, which is kill you in before uh, you lose your entire party. And here we are. This is why I wanted to wait until you and us close because, yeah, he was never in range that we could actually even halfway surround him. Great. Ah, uh, this is gonna be such a spicy fight. I hate it. Yo, how yeah, about... Yeah, now we can't... We just... Now we can't get this around either because the Numu is in the spot next to you and... Uh... Yeah. That's... All... There's a bang gets immobilized. Oh, goodness. Has anything gone right in this fight at this point? Nope. I mean, I know. It's like the, you could always imagine worse outcomes, but I can clearly see the, the way when we will not win this fight. Oh yeah, also the move dies now. Oh, already to the first Is attack. Ro really high rolling. Um. Lambert is a monster. You, Adele, have you considered critting? Chiral crit or something? <laughs> how about how about she how about she miss from behind? Yeah, I mean, we have oh. to remedy here first.
Yeah, chances are we're gonna have to redo this fight. You die Bravo. really rarely to this. I mean, look at this. She's also leg shotting all the time. Which does not help and the stick. cause. And she stuck it twice at this point, I think. Oh, this is the third time. Oh, even better. Luso right at the beginning, then the banger, then Luso again now. It's. Also, you are reflected. You should not be able to cast haste on yourself. Okay, could you just deal the, 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 the deciding damage so that I can just give up all hopes and dreams and reload? <laughs> um, okay, let's find out if this heals status effects. I don't think it does. I don't think it does. I, I somehow never use it, even though it's more the way than anything. But, yeah, no. Well, this fight's gone completely wrong. Yep. Need to show off what happens when it goes wrong, right? Yeah, there's no way. There's just no mm -hmm. way. Um, so yeah, and if you lose a uh, main mission, then you game over. Instead of just failing. Hmm. So yeah, I knew exactly what I wanted to do, and it's the opposite. Oh well. I call Hex. Sometimes fight go bad. Um... Which mission do I, did I need? Ah, this is fine. Still wondering how to do the thingy. <sighs> All right, defeat you in part two. So Demi, do you want to sell our judge this time? No, I... we don't need the money that badly. But yeah, the hope realistically is that we get four party members around Ewan. Yeah. And then... It, we get like two solid turns of beatdown on him. It doesn't even need to be directly or anything. Like, cures and AoE, we just need to make sure that he runs into us and not we into him. Because, yeah, we are way lower leveled, so we just don't have the speed. Especially without our privilege. Just, just not happening. So yeah, they curse your judge. They take him away again. You would think, like, small speed increase doesn't do anything, but... Oh, there we go. Now he's now he's exactly where you want him. Yep. Now time to show off the good, the good fight? I hope so. Gold Veil. I never remember Using which, which status effects these Veil attacks do, but apparently Gold Veil just just nothing right now. Yeah, we'll take it. Ain't complaining about that one. So yeah, I guess while we're at it, since we have some Marlboro Vine, and we have seen this fight, we can talk about why the, what, what is about the Marlboro Vine. So... The Marlboro Vine, um, we basically would have two approaches to get the Marlboro Vine, um, if not for a drop. The usual mm -hmm. approach that we are planning to do is to use one of the missions that we want to do as a dispatch mission now, Fight Z instead, which was the original strat, 
And there it can be dropped by two Lamias. One is level one and one at level three. Um, which is in that case, in, in that way important that um, Adele has level one seal. So we get two additional chances basically for f at, at a 50 and 25% um, steal. So we have basically five att uh, four attempts. And if not, we reload. That's the marathon life for that strat. The other is, so there is a mission that gives a Marlboro Vine, but for that you have to win a mission that we will just quickly dip into next. Um, you will see it, and that unlocks a mission that we have to win. Which is really annoying to fight, so probably what you can do is just dispatch instead. Does everything lag shot me right now? I mean, thankfully, Lake Shot doesn't do damage, and... Yeah, I guess. Oh, and this is... Um, See, now, everything, now everything's going the way it's supposed to. But yeah, it's a dispatch mission at level 13. So you basically need to bring all your characters to, like, average level of 13 or so. Which is just... That takes a while. Mm-hmm. Because it's not like you natively have all these missions ready, but what you can do is one of the level 8 missions... Like, can be repeated, which just means you also have to, like, sleep for 220 days or something. Which, yeah, it, it's it's not fast. It's probably better than yielding, but I'm not sure, like, how much time it costs in general. Uh... Hey, what am I thinking about? Hey, we have a... Uh. Uh, of course, missing you and it's also always a thing that can happen. Yep. He is He is a... I believe he's assassin? Ninja. Ninja? So female is an assassin. Yeah, both... Assassin is a Viera role. But... Okay, got it. There, There's the assassin. Um, But yeah, they have That's innately higher... <laughs> it... Ah! <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> Been a minute. Whatever, stab this man. Are you serious? We only deal. Oh, great. Well, at least he shouldn't be able to heal him now, right? Yeah, I don't think he. Get, I don't think he can get close enough. No. No, not without. No, not even with healing. It's not. I think you also right. Yeah, should have range four. Yeah, four HP left. Come on, Lanzo, you can do it. Burn this man. Finally. And then he's all like, I still want your judge, I'm leaving. And then leaves. Yep. Now we're finally done with this I'm mission. I can hang. I'm sure we'll never see I'm sure we'll never see him again. Oh, for sure. He will never he, he will he have he has completely lost his relevance. Yep. But yeah. And we find a neat little rock, which he dropped. So hey. We just take it. Now it's ours. Judge shows up and goes, yeah, I'm vibing. How are you? Yep. You show him the rock and the judge is like, yeah, I'm vibing. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> judge vibing with us. Everything is good. <laughs> All right. And now it's grinding time. Um... I forgot to check the magazine. magazines, right? Well, it's okay. Okay, time to rest a bit, shall we? So how long do you think we... Do, you, do we want to nap a bit? Yeah, sleepy bedtime, sure. Yeah, sleepy bedtime. How about 400 days? Wait, what? Yeah. That's a long time. Yeah. But, you know, why sleep for 160 days when you can just quicker sleep for 400? All right, and to talk about... Okay, so if 
I correctly, we can now... Uh... Okay, yeah, Bongo Bagel, very important. Hmm? Uh... We'll just snoop out. We should have looked at this earlier. We could have also... In theory, you would also need the rivalry of the rupees, but since we got a soul shuffle, we don't need that. We got two of them, in fact. Um, voice from the well we'll do later. Usually I want to do that now. You are red tail, right? Yes. Okay. Thought so. Um, yep. So what we want is Bonga Bago, Silver Sun. Yep. And... Where are you? I lost you. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh, uh. We're missing something. Yeah. Remember when I said I wanted to do this earlier? And this is also just yeah. there in order to unlock missions that we really, really want? Dang it. Ah. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's okay. Ah, uh, I just got to improv. Wait, when I was talking about the Melboro Vine, oh. Why is this now first? Whatever. That's it. Chill in bed. It's all good. Are you sure we didn't get the Magicite Zone Seek? He says we have Magicite now. Alright, now, now we got this done. So yeah, the mission that we would have to win is this one. Bonga Bagel Silver Sun. Um, a fight full of undeads. Um, if we were to now go to Murabella, the next city, we would be able to buy X-Potions and then we could one-shot them. Um, so it isn't the worst mission. So one after that is the actual problem. But you know what? I think this is all we need for this mission. H how do you mm -hmm. see that? You've got you've got uh, high potions. I'm going all in with my party here. All all two of them. All two of them. I ain't scared of ghosts. I am. What can they even do to me? Uh, probably cast ice magic. <laughs> What an opportunity, Command. Good job, Adele. <laughs> what is happening? This is not where I need my RNG. Uh, I can't even can't, fathom how rare that is. This, this speedrun, everyone. This is ridiculous. Welcome to RNG. If I promised RNG, like... Uh, we said there'd be RNG. Yeah. All right, ghost teleport. <laughs> yep. Um, but yeah, what we have not talked about, you see two types of chests here. So the other one that we don't use is very common, just antidotes and stuff. Oh, I meshed quickly. Um, but the gray ones have the actual good stuff. Uh, most often it is high tier healing items that are kind of random. So sadly, we can't get them or can't reliably get them. But this one in this mission always has fairy shoes. And these fairy shoes are really, really important. Um, okay, so we do shipping out, I guess. And then we do voice from the well. Yep. So yeah, we run from the fight. We actually don't need to do it. We're just, we're just there for the shoes. Wait a second. Why is this? Uh, uh, my bad. What's up? Well, I wanted to go into the mission thingy, but I think I can't now. Because shipping out is also just a fetch quest, but it goes from Darkwood to Graston. So, ah. I'm not exactly sure if I trigger a cutscene that just says, hey, go to the other place if I now... hit that thingy. But yeah. Um, fairy shoes give you the ability to do what those ghosts just did. They allow you to teleport. Ignoring enemies in the way or height differences. Which, yeah. It is pretty good. It is pretty good. It has an animation with it. 
But it is really indispensable for some of these fights. Okay, let's just do this now. Right, please. Um, you were good. Oh, come on. This is not what I need right now. Everyone's not, everyone is sad. Why is everyone sad? Um, I'm not sure how this works, but I really want more. Okay, let's, let's do Roald. Roald, Roald has more friends here, okay? See, I don't know why, but definitely everyone is happy I was rolled around, right? I guess. At least they're at least they're mostly neutral. Like I said, I, I'm not oh, no, sure how good. it works, but somehow there are like clicks in your party. Yeah, there are people the who like each other it. more. And yeah, it's okay. Um. Yes, the MVP status helps in being a better team leader, according to Vicky Sources and the minor amounts of tests I've done. But yes, ha having an MVP as a party leader was, yeah. Something about being good at combat or something. Yeah, but I've, it's also regularly been that at least with the arms up, I have seen like clicks building and all that. It's... It, it is the newest addition to the roots that I have, even though it has been years by now. But yeah, when you get world, a, a pretty strong world record pretty quickly, then it is what it is. Okay, so we are still missing Silla as a Gladness, which is a level 5 yep. version, so we really don't care what we dispatch here. And we don't need Numa Nobles. Yep, we have two Soul Shuffles. Yep. But now it's time for... Hey, let's sleep again. Problem is, we might have to How sleep for three. Yeah, we have to sleep for three hundred eighty days now, or one hundred sixty. Because a year is two hundred forty days long. Or six hundred. Right? No, this is six twenty. So just nothing makes sense here. This is just. So usually it would I'm be four hundred. Usually four hundred would be fine, but since we had to do some extra steps because new strats did not work out the way I wanted them to. Um, 400 are not gonna work the way I want them to. Because, yeah, we want to be in Bloodfire, but we will not be in Bloodfire if we make it to, to Tarkwood. So, yep. I guess we'll basically, get another 220 in. We'll, basically, what we're doing is we're manipulating time because certain quests only show up at certain times of the year. So we are getting to the proper month at this point to go pick up another quest that will give us items that we need. Yeah, most easily the Bunga Buggle missions, because they have one mission for every month. We had the Silver Sun earlier and we need one more, which is the Blood Fire. Because if I say this is a very versatile speedrun with lots of neat things, then this is one of them. Um, is there a way to make, like, to not having to do that? Maybe, but honestly, I'm also really happy that it is here. Welcome to Bunga Black, Bunga Buggle Bloodfire. Jeez. That, that's a hard one to say. <laughs> so that's a good one, yeah. Uh, let's save. Um, this, this, what we get here is for the final boss, so we could do that at any later point as well. Time for Final Fantasy Tactics A2 Trivia Quiz. I'm I'm really bad at this. Why why am I here? <laughs> yes, you you get actually like basically yeah. If you want to go really really fast, you need to know your trivia and your meme questions because some of these questions, if we hopefully see them, uh yeah, talking chocobo yes. is not easy. But fortunately, um, there's a cheat sheet. 
Shout out to the game, thanks. Uh, critical haste. Oh yeah, golden armor. I'm not even looks that up. Alright, something that packs a punch. Yakushiki Masamune. Oh god. Uh, a yummy cake. Did I mention meme questions? Some of them are obvious. <laughs> Turbo MP, white rope. If you ever want to spend twice as much MP, to do not quite twice as much damage. Uh, I still believe the counter might be multiple, even though it is just a chainmail. Yep. Pick out some glass. Uh, oh gosh. I think it's a place, but you know, the stage star, I mean. I could have maybe done it by knowing that the other two are something else, but critical haste, it's still golden armor. Yeah, sometimes you also have repeating questions, but hey, I'm not gonna judge. Critical haste, it's still golden armor. Mm -hmm. A weapon that can handle your moves. Looks like a katana. Even though I have heard that guns also work with every class. All right, and this gives us the Eureka Crystal. Um, also 10 out of 10. Yeah, also to be found in one of those great chests. But as I said, I haven't found a mission in which that one is consistent. So we can't do the threat that we have done with the fairy shoes. Uh, we're about uh, two hours and uh, a good time to break coming up. Yeah, I mean... Oh, they couldn't see it, but um, actually after uh, this cutscene, we have one more mission. And once we are set up for the next main mission, I'm planning to have the next break. So, And then everyone gets to see what these new items are going to do in action. It's time for shopping percent. Because every good RPG speedrun has a part where you've got to go in and, and buy or obtain a bunch of equipment through illicit means. And in this game, there's a lot of capitalism. We, we, we're going to buy it. I mean, there's only one, uh, re really one game that allows you to go through the game without leveling at any uh, and starting equipment. That is Final Fantasy VIII. Because so there, yeah, everything in Final Fantasy with VIII. your level. Yeah, in Final Fantasy VIII, you don't level at all. So yeah, one last mission uh, for my laugh, which also only uh, gets unlocked once we're up here. Level 16, but yeah, we'll just have a short dialogue and get the last item we want, uh, we need. And yeah, trade in the red tail for... More wood. I thought we need more wood. We need. We got more Gurnat. <laughs> All right, it's shopping time. Sell. We don't need high potions anymore. Um, bazaar. Ornamented bow. Spiral incisor. Marlboro vine. Gurnat. Gurnat. And faded cap. Faded. Full shackle, tan tied, well, velvet. Mm -hmm. This gives us access to wizard hats. And now we need money, right? Look, we don't need our loot anymore. <laughs> it's just. Oops. We need a lot of money. We, we just sell all of them because it's pretty quick. Uh, yeah, I think usually we would have soul, soul shackles, but whatever. Um, so we buy some nail bows, we buy some wizard sets, and then we just buy X potions. Because, I mean, gimme. Full heals. The fullest of heals. Yeah, 200. Then we say bye-bye to our normal party. 
they've done well, but at this point they're just holding down, they're just in the lane holding down the, um, the average level. So they're just being, they're being ejected, huh? Yep. Release from their duties. And yeah, then we give everyone item law and yeah, what's that weapon and the hat do? We'll get to see after another short break. Try? Yep, so a drink. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I had something caught in my throat as soon as you queued it. I was oh, like, yeah. oh god, no, I need to talk and I can't. <laughs> um, timing. <laughs> <laughs> so during these long breaks, or er, long. During these long runs, we like to take uh, breaks every now and then, just so we can get up, stretch, get some water, and stuff like that. Uh, just before we go to the break, just a quick reminder, the SGDQ 2023 schedule is now out. You can go to gamesdonequick.com or use exclamation SGDQ in chat for more information. With that said, we'll be right back after a quick break. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hot Fix. Today we are showing off two different Final Fantasy Tactics games. Final Fantasy Tactics E2 Grimmer of the Rift is up right now. We are in the middle of a run and I will just hand it right back over. Right back into it. Alright, welcome back. So yeah, we have successfully given our Seeks now everything that we want. Now, now, now it's time to crush the game. And for more throwbacks. Demi, which mm. continent are we playing in? Uh, Ivelisse? Yes, do you know which game also plays in Ivelisse? Final Fantasy XII. Correct. Are we gonna be Sky Pirates? No, but we are gonna meet a Sky Pirate. It's the boy! He's here! Oh yeah. Yay! It's the best part of the game. <laughs> so yeah, while FFTA and FF12 really didn't have much together, FFTA2 is like, heck yeah, come on. We just bring the references in. Time to meet Vaughn. Yeah, harming the weak can also be a pretty troublesome law, unless you are super, I mean... Basically, you normally expect to not uh, to not be able to resurrect characters in this fight. <laughs> yeah. If, if you play casually, trying to not break this law is troublesome, but in the speedrun, it's not a problem. Um, also, I have not paid attention which, see which, which of my ranger seeks is actually faster. If you wanted to go fast, you could just only deploy the fastest, go for the 90% chance. Um, but yeah, so we, we got two, two items. One is a nail bow and one is a um, wizard set. The wizard set gave us an item law, which doubles the effect of all healing items. And the nail bow teaches us mirror items, which reverses the effect of every item you are using. Ha! Ah, good that, I, good that we are in a marathon and I played the safe strat. <laughs> Play. Yay! Uh, yeah. 90%. So yeah, we take 90... X potions, we double their effect from 200 to 400, and then we reverse the effect and just deal 400 damage flat. Completely, completely ignoring any equipment, stats. Anything. Anything. Just 400 flat damage. So yeah, um, if anyone is wondering, yes, the new classes are, uh, it's a new, yeah, races are not properly balanced. Um, ironically, yeah, no, if the AI were to use ranges, they only reverse, like, status effects. But Mirror yeah. X Potion... Um, Grias are also very strong, and if we were to not do, do Seeks, we would be doing Grias. But... Um, yeah. I mean, Grias are, like... Grias have like base move five. Like, no, why? I think 
Oh, wait, what am I doing? Um, they, they have these move four, but they can fly. I mean, it depends on the job, of they, course. Um, yeah. But they have fly, and they have the first job hunter, so they can just get ultima shot right off the bat, if you give them the right weapon. Yep. Which, they're they're sure, great. It needs 32 MP, but after they have that, as I said, you can half that um, to mm -hmm. 16. So every second turn, you can just dish out huge damage. This time we stick the landing and deal 400 damage, ending the fight on the spot. Here's the girl. She's here too. Yep. She's got to. She's got to yell at the boy for doing stupid boy stuff, as per usual. Yeah, pretty much. And for him being actually not where he's supposed to be, he was supposed to be one airship further on. Bond still not the still not the sharpest knife. I mean, he's nice. He's wonderful. We love the boy. He's he, he good boy. But yeah. And now we can finally fly airships. Cause yeah. To adapt the FF12 airships, we have a whole to total of well, two continents which we can fly back and forth. Yay. All right, one, two, and pay. And of course, this is the same Sky Fairy port that's in Final Fantasy XII, so. Yeah. It's time to get another, get another character to the party. Sid is finally back on his feet. Let's go, Sid. Because uh, we really need him now. Obviously. We'll take him. He increases our, uh, our average level, which is always nice. He does make us more powerful. Okay. Da, 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 da. Heck of music. But yeah, obviously, like, his strength is not really relevant anymore when you have Seek Satyr 400 a hit. <laughs> yep. Also, obviously, attack from Berserkers just doesn't matter anymore. We just deal flat damage. Uh, and in the off chance that we, in the off chance that we need to heal ourselves, we heal ourselves for four hundred as well. Yes. I mean, not that we would ever have that much HP, but yes. All right, and now that we are so OP, I mean, it's obviously what kind of mission we get, missions we get, right? Sure. But yeah, let's first. Um, so you get items because, as we have discussed, items are OP. Um. They have the same speed. How am I supposed to pick a slower one? I think you were slower. Uh -huh. Here, get fairy shoes. Having fairy shoes on last position is also neat. Uh, so yeah, now that we are really, really strong and just murder can murder basically everything for now, obviously we get to, to fight undeads, which we could just fight, just murder easily anyway. <laughs> <laughs> We're very not afraid of ghosts in this run. Yeah, I mean... E even if we wouldn't have, like, these equipments, we would still deal 200 damage a turn. <laughs> Which, to be fair, one or two ghosts, uh, ghosts will have more than 200 now. We'll see how many, but... And there are two floating eyes, which sure, reverse items are nice. But, yeah. Ah, also, it's time for everyone's favorite law. Is it? Ah, uh, copycat. Yeah. 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 
So you want to do this powerful thing every turn that does 400 damage. Are we going to ignore the law? Probably. I mean, the fun part is also that, like, sometimes your opponent's stuff matters, sometimes it does. Like, who can even keep up? Um, I usually can't, but, you know, here we are. Yeah, so, so ge the general approach for this fight is just... We try to keep it on as long as possible because speed, having the speed boost is nice. We don't care if it is lost because um, in mission, I think it's 14. Like if we break the law in this or two, yeah, or two missions later, um, by not, this is amazing. Um, I can't reach any of them. Um, but by breaking the law, we'll not get the reward of a high potion, which just clocks our inventory. It's just garbage. Why do we want this garbage? We could use it at some point and all, and it's probably faster to just get it instead of getting through the animation of breaking the law, but... Also, yeah, yellow, yellow ghost says 202. Nah. <laughs> nah. What a meanie head. All right, first one down. Also float, uh, also undead, as per usual. I sat down. <laughs> I'm so happy we got some Alboro vine. We shouldn't go much over this a bit unless major things happen. Even more major <laughs> things than have happened until now. Uh, yeah. It's just... Um, but yeah, um, enemies can respawn after three turns or so. Mm -hmm. Just come back to life, which we would really like to not see. Which is also why our speed privilege is pretty nice. Um... Hmm. Wait a second. We just used an item. So here. Yeah, do something else. Let's do something else. Now that we've done something else... Let's do something else again. Mm -hmm. Also, is, is using an item on a ghost and using mirror items two different effects? Yep. Using mirror item is like throw. It's a complete whole ability, a uh, new ability. Um, I kind of don't want to break the law yet. So, bye-bye, ghosty. Okay, back round four, but not Arts. on the zombies that already took chip damage. <laughs> yep, fine with me. Oh, now, now that ghost also took chip damage. Sure. Perfect. See, everything's, everything's working wonderfully. Now Luso can actually do something useful. I love it when my characters can do something useful. See, every, every once in a while, the plan comes together. All according to Keikaku. Um, talking about Keikaku, this is not Keikaku. No. Alright, just don't miss, and we're fine. We've already missed enough 90% today. Mm-hmm. Good, good. We didn't miss that one. Also nice Malboro Vine. Just... Another one? Yeah, yeah, now that you don't need it. Right, now that there's definitely no need for them anymore.
But yeah, we, we don't really need clan rewards anymore. Because, I mean, we, we are now OP enough. Yeah, I mean... We may need money for more items for more items later, but that's really it. <laughs> yeah, and time to eat a soul wisp. <laughs> Rip. Um. Right on the last turn, I think in TA, just like in TA2, uh, the law does not get enforced anymore. Yeah, it checks for it checks for end of fight first, and then it and then it determines if you've broken the law. I, I have, I know. Now that I think about it, no, not even the last two was this time reverse reverse item and item. So, but even if it was double item or anything like. Once you once you're close to the end, like I wouldn't even care. But I feel like the copycat law is also the easiest to just mess up. Mm -hmm. Um, because I think missing also like count if you miss an action, it counts as you have done the action. If no action is taken, then like no action gets overwritten. Enemy action also counts. It's yeah. I I'm very positive that in FFTA back then, copycat was the law I most often hacked up. Um, so yeah. Do you know why I also like this, this, this speedrun? And I think it has everything. And now you're in Sid's bed, having a bad day. Because now, right, about like half, a bit later than halfway through the run, we get a nice, a, a nice cutscene which you could use like as a pee break or whatever, and you wouldn't need to sit through the whole run without being able to get up. <laughs> that is important for a speed run, I'm telling you. No, I, I, I agree. This game even offers that. So yeah, we're seeing some pictures from the past, present. Well, present doesn't usually well. have that much to show except being in bed. And future, or at least things that we have never seen before. Yep. Needless to say, this game certainly has a plot. The problem with the plot is that usually if you're doing all the side quests, you it gets a little disjointed from time, but mostly you're just trying to find a way home. So I would say in like FFTA, Lusu, like March, Lusu is like not that I have to go home at all costs or anything. Yeah, because home for him kind of kind of sucks. Yeah, he... way less interested in it. He's... It's like he's not opposed to like filling out the story, but he is also like, yeah, because it feels like it, like it sounds like an inevitability. Uh, in Jeez, English. There's giant dark portal. Yep, evil giant dark portal. Time to find out what it is. That's gonna it's, be it's an evil giant. It's an evil giant dark portal. Yeah, but we are kind of scared of evil giant dark portal, so we need to do something. I mean, I would be, I would be too. So the question is, would you try to fight it or would you try to run away? Uh, the cowardice, definite cowardice. I agree. Alright, next mission. So yeah, we've already peeked in here, so we can now directly go over to yep. the shortest mission of them all. 
the shortest fighting mission of them all. Who is it? One of them. Yeah. I'm unable to say which one is shorter between this one and mission 18. Uh, when this one is 12. I look at my notes when I could just look at the grimoire, but you can easily see that we are at 12. <laughs> yep, one line permission. Uh, yep. 10 on the left side and the 11's on the right. So yeah. So here's Nightmare Guy. Yep. Here's Nightmare. He's Oversoul. And two things are special. Not debuffs are forbidden. No, no one cares about that. We don't have green mages. Um, so yeah, we could do fast threat and only deploy one, or we just deploy everyone, because, hey, we don't want the same to happen as, as the listeners want. Um, so we had power in the first mission. Usually we use speed, but if you use speed here, we just outspeed and we want them to come forward first. Yep. Um, so what luck does is increases crit rate and chance for opportunity commands. And agility just increases slightly our hit rate. And since we don't want to be faster and we just want to hit our mirror X potion. Not even mirror. My bad. Yeah, this one's going to be a standard X potion. X soul is. Also, over, uh, Oversoul's very undead. Jeez, my range is as slow this my time. What is happening? But yeah, it is kind of important that we have the fairy shoes seek here for the first time because there might be an enemy in the way. And we really don't want that. And well, we boop over. over we boop over soul on the head with potion and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably second fastest fight. But yeah. You see, Oversoul is a bro, because before only we were able to see Evil Dark Portal. Now everyone can see Evil Dark Portal. Oversoul helps us get that wisp out of our body again. And now everyone gets to see it. Yay! Everyone gets to relive their terrible memories. <laughs> So for some reason here it is, uh, yeah, a female character that shoots it with a gun. Who also doesn't use guns, but I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, and burp. Burp. Big burp. And then you show up. But yeah, now everyone has seen it and everyone has the opinion, hey, we got to do something about it. And everyone believes it probably, because they've all seen it. Probably a good idea. Probably. Yeah. Just more difficult to run away when you when everyone has seen it, right? Can't just be like, yeah, and everyone, ah, just my imagination. And everyone, and while you're like, maybe I can go home now, everyone else is like, uh, we probably should save the world. But it's not my world. But yeah. Time for far-fetched ideas. Don't you all love far-fetched ideas? So yeah. 
Who do you think has seen a lot of the world? Because we don't know where the place is, but maybe someone else does. Uh, not Sid. No. Oh, how about that musician over here? Do you think he has mool. seen the world? I don't know if he's. I don't know if he's seen the outside of a bar this month. <laughs> But he is going from bar to bar and playing everywhere. Seems to have seen more, right? Probably. So yeah, welcome everyone, Hurdy. Everyone's favorite Moogle. Mont Blanc demoted to number two. <laughs> I mean, Mont Blanc is dead. Didn't you see the FFTA run last week? The speedrunners just murdered Mont Blanc cru cruelly in the yacht. You can see it uh, in the YouTube video of ten to uh, top 10 anime betrayals. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yes. <laughs> but yes, Hurdy rules. And Hurdy would like to get uh, would like to have a new uh, instrument, but he he is lacking the materials. And has uh, opened up a mission for that. And so we're we're gonna hook him up. <laughs> so here we go. And because just getting the material would be too easy, here you have an evil alchemist. How do you know he's evil? Uh, we have declared him evil. We we are the end, we are the main character, so he's evil. You know what? I guess I guess that's fine. Ah, uh, you know what? This is a marathon. Let's just employ these two. Would do absolutely nothing except getting experience at maybe giving me one more level on the seeks. I don't think that levels really matter, but, you yeah. know. So the law, the law here is a bit of a nuisance, but not really. But you are not, you are not allowed to, by the law, you're not allowed to kill the Gria. Yeah, but at the same time, like, we don't really care because then we don't get a high potion. So we do whatever we want. I can't believe we tell our judge. I can't believe we tell our judge that we don't we don't care about his laws. Yeah. I mean, now that the enemies are not level 5, level eighteen like you and but level twenty four, we just don't care about the level anymore. Uh. Oh yeah, Astra. Protection from status effects. Is dead a status effect? I mean, maybe, but we just inflict that through poison, so... Who cares? Who knows? So yeah, that Gria definitely wants to die. You know what? Fair. Like... Unless, like, all her teammates, like, come over here very quickly... I don't have much hope for her. But we... but... but she's adorable. She is. But, yeah, she's but, like, n no but one she... is... N no one is gonna argue that. Uh, wait. Yeah, I can't make it, so... I'm sorry, Gria. She gets absolutely destroyed. Yep. Oh, don't worry. One of our Seeks is also going to get absolutely destroyed. I can see it already. Unless... Yo, Golem, how about you just 
Oh. Now the golem doesn't even use his own turn. That was not what I wanted to do. <laughs> uh, he was bait, but not like that. <laughs> yeah, he got he got shoulder checked. Mm. Ah, but the buff still got got, got removed by it. Uh, and the alchemist is hiding in a corner. Rip. Nobody liked that. All right, where are you going to put your trap? Down there. I mean, I don't care about that. Where you can't see exactly where, but you have a rough, like, guesstimate. But yeah, d don't don't worry. We we'll see, like... Oh. I mean, it's okay. If well, I ever had to choose a target to miss my mirror explosion on, that would be very high up. Like, yeah, no, that this the ones that matter absolutely not at all will take it, right? Like, yeah, it like, uses up an extra explosion. This is not more than a time loss of one animation. Like, I couldn't care less. This one is not going to ruin the fight or anything. Okay, so just for fun, like maybe, if the alchemist maybe. manages to run away even further. Ah, oh, no. Nope, he's coming in. I have no clue what is in that great chest, but it's probably a random healing item, so it might just be an elixir or something like that. Might be an eureka crystal, but chances are rare. Uh, Aslan. So instead, we're gonna just ruin the alchemist. Yeah. With the power of alchemy. I feel like if I had a timer, we had just lost at least two minutes on this fight, but... <laughs> yeah. Especially compared to a good run where the alchemist actually moves towards us and we don't need to kill everyone and, you know... Mm -hmm. Plus RNG. What's an RPG speedrun without a little RNG? Yeah. Alright, so yeah, now we got the material Hurdy wants. Um... You could get a second one for an even better weapon. Or you could, like, for an A-type weapon, or you could just not do that fight and go for, and just stay with the B. And, I mean, we are speedrunners. We definitely stay with the B. Alright. Oh, yeah. Bizarre, Hurdy's request. Um, sell some loot again. Uh, yeah, that's right. We get, like, a pile of money from the items we get from that quest, too. Uh, where are we? Is this... Oh, I should also be careful. Why is that? Uh, I still need money for the mission. And yeah, we can't the, be completely. And for the airship, <laughs> but I think 2K should be fine. Yep, can't be completely destitute. We should now have enough healing for the rest of the game. Not that I'm sure why I'm ever buying more Phoenix Downs, but when most of the important fights, the judge is gone, anyways. And not always because I ban it. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be fair, usually as a speedrunner, you only ban the judge if you don't want to Phoenix sound someone. <laughs> if you feel that it is dangerous enough, then you definitely want to have your privileges if you can. But yeah, cute little Moogle is joining us. We have a Moodle, a, a Moogle in the party again. Yay! Yeah, we cannot other than recruit him. All right, aerodrome. Time to move over to the other side again. Uh, 
and a Moogle. Small difference. Moodle is work. Moogle is cute. Uh. All right, cutscene time. Hey, you remember that th that girl there on the left? Back in Sid's yeah. past, the cutie? Mm hmm. With a gun? She I mean, you know, she has a love for violence. Yeah. Which is bad, but, you know, firearms are only tools of death. Yeah. She's powerful. She's interested in powerful people. Adele is powerfully gifted. We get to that later in the story. Or not, because... That, that's a side story track that we don't need to go in. But we will start it, basically. But yeah. We will meet her soonish. Sadly, that cutie is never a playable character. Mm-hmm. But yeah, and else not much going on. So time to get the next main mission. And time for recruitment. Is it back to sleepy bedtime? It's back to sleepy bedtime. Love sleepy bedtime. Alright, um, what was that? Yeah, you were the berserker. Bye-bye. can't believe we just sent him off. Yep. Where are we even right now? Uh... Hundred twenty. No. Hundred twenty is what my notes... Oh, yeah. Well, whatever. At worst, we'll just have to, fl to, to sleep 300 on top. Yeah. At 200. All right, but yeah, as we have discussed, we really, really, really do not care about Berserkers anymore. Now it's time to get some rangers. There we go, number one. Yay! We will only recruit you if you have a cool hat. Exactly. Uh, Amber leaves, that means 260. So yeah, we just nap them every year. Magical sleep time. Until we have five ranges. And we save every time because reloading is faster than sleeping for another year. Mm -hmm. In case they don't have a cool hat, we can reload and see if they show up with a cool hat the next time around. Mm -hmm. Looks, this one also has a cool hat. Heck yeah, cool hats. And time to sleep another year. Isn't that a mood? <laughs> Look, I just had bronchitis. I, I, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Get it on Monday. On Monday, I went to bed early, and then all of a sudden it was one in the afternoon. Oh, goodness. Oh, I hope your buddy used that time properly. Yeah, it did. That's why I'm doing commentary right now and not not coughing all the time. Yo, look at that. Three, we oh, were really lucky. Three, three out of three. Three cool hats in a row. Um, alright. Hey, you all. You wanted to get equipped, right? One, two... Yep. Elbow. Three. And then... Items, item lore. The same procedures always. Yep. So 
So yeah, I was wondering about like waiting a bit because going really fast in practice, I just always got all the bursts, I guess, was what I needed to do. But the last time I just completely meshed immediately. <laughs> Uh, I mean, Lucy also has a hat. Yeah, see? That doesn't and have Sid a doesn't hat. Need... Yeah, but Sid is Sid. True. Where's his airship? This Sid does not have an airship. He seems to be an impo imposter. How about we are talking hey, to Elsa Margrave about that? Who's also in post game. Ah, multi SIDs. Post games, though. Yeah, it's the same multi SID as in FF12. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, whatever. Yeah. One, three, four, eight, nine, and nine. It doesn't really matter too much. But what matters more is that we kind of get a feel for the turn order. Well, that, so that, the end one we'll write down later, but... See, I hate that I looked at your notes and I would have flipped the top and bottom rows because my mind would jump to numpad notation rather than to uh, <laughs> dial pad notation. Yeah, but the thing is that the cursor was already there, right? So. Yeah, so it's a logical one spot, yes. Yes. Like, you... you, you you, you would start with the one there with the cursor immediately it's in the, at the beginning. But obviously oh yeah, definitely. I, what, I get what you mean. Dragoon using Thunder Breath. That's a rare one. Usually the Dragoon jumps all the time. Mm. But hey. Mm. I appreciate the Dragoon not dealing tons of damage. And just using a fairly weak attack, all things considered. I have never seen Vital Shot hit. Like, the question mark and all is great. Nice. And as I say that, it hits. <laughs> this run is amazing. And frightening. And all. And I'm just glad that we got the Marlboro Vine so that I'm just not scared of anything going majorly wrong. Because uh, the amount of that has never happened before, or I can at least not remember that ever happening before, is way too high. But Aged to turtle shell. I laugh to jinx myself. That's the best part about speedrunning. The best part of speedrunning is is uh, is toying with the RNG and giving it the opportunity to ruin your day. Yep, I'm like RNG, give me your worst, and then I can show you what I will do with it. What's so nice? I completely forgot to write down the order afterwards. Ah, so good. It was just... The third one was the fastest, and I was like, hmm. I'll hmm. just blame the time and time zones. Heck, time zones. I mean, yeah, you've been, you've been up at better times, certainly, for runs. That's fine. I'm glad that I can be here and show this amazing game off, and... It's such... Such a cool run. Such a silly run, though. Like, th there is no better hotfix time for me than Saturday, 7 p.m. local or 1 p.m. EST. <laughs> really? We can't reach here? Oh, great. <laughs> All right. Um, this doesn't help, but hey. Let's give our fairy shoes the opportunity to do a long movement animation. Oh, the next fight's annoying. The I, next fight is uh, great. So I would say it's up to this point. Our laws have been pretty nice, right? Like, 
if yeah. they wanted to, to 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 uphold laws, then there was always the opportunity. Yeah, the good times are over. <laughs> I mean, of course, casually like humming the week would have been probably impossible, because. Uh, you, it usually is. Unless yeah. you one shot, and it immediately ends the fight. Like, but yeah. Before that, so first the cutscene. First, we need to hear that Van and Pinello are in trouble. These little troublemakers, unbelievable. Why are, why are they in trouble again? Can't they stop? I thought uh, Pinello had a good head on her shoulders and doesn't get into trouble. Unbelievable, right? Apparently she got infected by... Bond's brain. And ideas. But yeah, whatever. Time to help them. Yay! We can get paid. Somehow. I don't know why this is a mission, but, you know, everything has to be a mission. Mm hmm So here, take our money. Time to go back to Rupee's Mountain. Rupee Mountains. And watch the fairy shoes on action. Because this is a tall, tall mountain. Notably, the Bonga in particular have the ability to uh, displace the units. Ah, uh, yeah. The Seek is as well, I think. It's great. Yep. Um, it is possible for Vaughn or Pinello to get uh, displaced off a ledge. I have no, uh, ironically, it also depends if someone stays below it. I, I think I have yep. lost this fight once. I, do, uh, I don't know how I did it, but if Vano Pinello die, you have lost. Uh, oh so, yeah. So the law, the law is moving exactly one tile. You are, you are required by law to move only one tile a turn. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and to put it very kindly, to heck with that. <laughs> like <laughs> that's not fast. E even putting a setup. For, to casually make this possible is a pain. Because, like, if you had, like, a seek in between there, turn one, and you couldn't be able to move, that would not be moving one tile. Yep. Um, in a speedrun, so, obviously, it is just not an option at all. Like, here is... Yeah, basically... Where... Basically, we're just gonna... We're gonna say to heck with the law. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, here is where it all ends. Hex it, we're out. Uh. We might be law abiding, but we choose our laws for ourselves. And this law is unacceptable. Because we're sky pirates. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think Sikhs really look like they prefer to be on land. But that's just. Probably. Me. Um, yo, could you not die, Ow. Pinello? Please. That would be bad. Um. Really? So yeah, and here you see why I like fairy shoes. Yeah, we're just going to ignore all of the heights, all of the things. I will fight this one. Pinello, don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything Vaughn would do. Like, the bishop is always here. And Pinello is... A, like, Pinello has Kira. Pinello, go in a corner and heal yourself. Uh... 
There is no space down there. You cannot push him off because there is a plant. Good job, Seek. Thank goodness for that plant. What a good plant. We love it. Okay, what are you doing now? Poisoning somebody or laying a poison trap? Mm, this is like half damage trap. Okay, so we'll just now do this. Maybe the gladiator really likes to attack my seek now and not Pinello. Okay, so now we <laughs> nice. Now the seek is safe over there because left of this left of that ranger is a trap. Uh sure. Yo, a velvet. Okay. Hey, right on time. Pinello hides oh, in a corner. Right. Step one. And cures Step herself. Step past Kira. Yeah, there you go. Good job, Pinello. I'm proud of you. You're, you you did the right thing. Ow? Yeah, Good it's fine. Good lord. I mean, yes, but it is what it is. Not a one-shot. That's all that matters. Sadly, there's also no viable way to get better armor. We're just chilling with our leather clothing. Well, we destroy him this time. Yeah, it's a bit annoying. Like, the other thing is just safe. Gosh, and it takes forever until he gets a turn. What? Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe we can trigger the trap with Luso. I think it's even a charm trap, which makes it even worse. Okay, our Van just moves away. Thanks, Vaughn. Now, let me show you how it's done, friend. Yeah. <laughs> A girl pelt. Yeah, I have not checked how many, like, drops. Like, uh, yeah. There are, but they are yeah. not. Like, the bizarre system is really big. But yeah, Penelo and Vaughn tell us that they got tricked. Thank us for helping them. And so, we all go our own ways again. Oh yeah, and they tell us that Kamja is the evil one, and so they're like, yay, great. <laughs> I've heard of those. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. He is not gonna he is not gonna tell us he in the wild. Gotta go back first before he tells us that he was part of Kamja. Like, oh great. But yeah, we, we've already met people of, the, of that clan. Like Ilua and the ninja with a gun, Hewan. They're all terrible and mean. Yeah, they're all doing that for their own purpose. Birdie's back. Yep. How do you see Adele support? For more diversity. Also, he's our favorite mogul.
Because, yeah. So, let's do also like to go shopping together. Mm -hmm. Alright. And since we are talking with him, time for a request. A simple request. N nothing ominous about it. Nothing at all. Yeah. Time to go to the ruins of Dalgantua. Which also always spawns this question mark encounter, but as I figured out, it's actually faster to just do this. And unspawn it. Instead of pay it. Like, it's like 4 versus 10 seconds. Right. Mm hmm. A request. Time for music. Good old mysterious ominous music. Mm hmm I believe Ilua's request is that we die? No, she what actually wants our grimoire. We're not giving her the book. She wants a book. She wants our book. She she can't have our book. Because book equals powerful. It writes in itself. That must mean it's magical. And magical items are powerful. I mean, and it brought us here, but... Well, you know, okay, maybe it's a little cursed. That's a good type of cursed. <sighs> oh yeah, also being robbed is, is forbidden. <laughs> what? <laughs> Isn't that a great Nikki, we law? have no we have no control over the law here. Like <laughs> short of kill them before they before they pick our pockets. Uh, yeah, don't worry. There's a solution to that problem. Is it is it murder? No. It's just sealing our church. Oh. Right. I forgot. Illu has got the evil power as well. Yeah. They are good with their evil power. It's apparently one uh, seek is faster than everyone else. Great. Also, also here's Ewan again. Yeah. Back with him too. So they can get the judge and the book all at the same time. So yeah, Spellblade doesn't do anything. Like, many of these classes need more than 10 MP. Oh, Elua decides for buff turn one. Uh, we wanted her to move forward, turn one. Well, if she moves forward, she does a huge freak, a huge heck in AoE, though. Yeah, well, you know. And we have to heal that. I mean, otherwise, next turn she will come forward and do a huge heck in AoE, so... We have found out that apparently you can, if the other NPCs are fine with it. Uh... Uh, I've lost my train of thought because... Turn order. Uh... Was it 4 2, two 4 or 4 2? Doesn't matter. I'll have to write it down later anyways. Uh, but yeah, then you can immediately defeat her after that turn when she did her AoE, but... The, the nice, the sad meme about Ilua is that she has 412 HP. So Ooh. you would think that you can maybe use a bow, right? To do the last 12 damage? She has, uh, she has uh, the ability that evades all uh, ranged attacks. She has reflects. I think it even, like, evades all, like, normal attacks or something. I think physical as well. But, yeah. <laughs> Ouch. You and please. I just healed him. I'm gonna heal him again. Ew, and then we all get hit by the heckin' attack. Nice. Whatever. This fight's also not exactly going according to plan, but... Yeah, but no one is dead yet. Like, fortunately, we are still very powerful. Oh, it's, also, it's actually 424. And she doesn't even move that far forward because we went forward. Uh, two misses, three hits. I mean, that's good, I guess. 
Well, so if I have the, cha the choice between mur b between taking down and healing. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take this guy and shove him in a locker. I say bye bye enemies. You know what they say: pace don't fight back. Uh, I mean, sure. Oh yeah, whatever. We'll just hit. Why? When would we ever miss? So yeah. Ewan gets a nice extra cutscene. He's like, well, she's like, yeah, sorry. You're just a chess piece and you couldn't fulfill your role. Get hacked. <laughs> she's like, yeah, on second thought, nah, I don't actually give a damn about you. Because she's evil. I mean, look, she has all the girls around her. I, no. I would like that. True. I realize this is not even... Wow. I actually got Sandara off. Mm -hmm. Alright. So fortunately, usually she does not do Dimensional Rift twice in a row. <laughs> Else I might have a problem. Yeah. But yeah, Time Blade is just 100% accurate. I mean, and still decent damage because she is level 33 and we are level 15. But... Potion one. And potion two. So we've definitely stopped Illua forever, right? Yeah, obviously. Nothing bad can happen after we after we fight somebody who could seal a judge. A away. Absolutely not. We can go home now. Yeah. Like, 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 not, 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 no, now, now that we have beaten her, we obviously just talk some nice words, and then are like, everything is fine. Oh no, wait, she's got the evil aura. Um, wait, does this fight have second phase? Oh no, our, 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 don't worry, our big powerful book comes out. Oh no, she has destroyed our big powerful book. No, our big powerful book has a barrier. No, it's dead. Didn't you see? It crashed into two. And it's not there anymore. Mm -hmm. Grimoire gone. What can we do? Uh, I guess I guess we're in this place. We've seen this place before, right? Yeah, we were looking for this place. So, and now we have found it. It's full of the mist. That that's not ominous. Oh look, wise old man is also here and tells us what to do. Basically, telling us we have the to stop this thing. Look, Dark Evil Portal gives Dark Evil Hand, or... Grabber. But yeah. Being another boss fight, this is a fight where if you kill the, the minor enemies, uh, things respawn. Yep. Your notes say don't kill them, because what shows up is really bad. Yep. It shows like uh, I don't remember correctly, but you get like a fairy enemy, and that fairy enemy does like some I don't even remember like he's he's slow meteorite like mm -hmm. like you can't even believe that some I only remember it happened <laughs> that is bad enough. Uh, Uh, but yeah, in theory, like casually, what they tell you to do is you see these switches, like these gems, these purple ones, 
Like, there are basically mm -hmm. four switches of which some of them you should be activate. Like, some of which are on, like purple instead of gray. And if you, like, hit those switches, then all of them, then you have, like, a big AoE cannon that shoots and deals, like, 160 damage to everything. That's not a lot of damage. It is, just not for us. It, it is in a casual playthrough. It's actually quite good in the casual playthrough, in fact. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, not for us. So yeah, this is a kind of annoying part of this fight. Welcome to Confusion. Nukia is really good in Confusion. Yep. Also here, take a hit. I don't like my units to be confused. Yeah, how, how do you know to throw potions at the enemy if you're confused? Okay, which is why you just don't do anything. Oop. Um, whoops, that's a trap. Hello, MP trap. Completely irrelevant, but still. Here's Catastrophe again. I mean, again. it basically decreases my ATP bundle because it is it as if I had taken an action. Also, Catastrophe on your own party members? Jeez, Nukia, step up your game. A am I next to it? No, 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 no. We ain't doing that. I had trouble identifying where exactly I was. You've got to be, like, in, in the grasp. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of okay to see that I'm not where I would need to be to hit the Nukia, but I also couldn't really see where I truly am. Where you were. So. Yep. It's annoying. Also, I have way too many people lined up here. I'm basically asking for white hole, which, I mean, it's just huge AoE damage, which doesn't really matter, because all we need is two reverse explosions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it also has oh, consumption. I mean, basically the same. Just that it's AoE and not the area right in front of it. Yeah. Enjoy the fireworks show, everybody. Yeah. Why couldn't it just do that in blue? It's Siphonja uh, or something? Basically just the MP one. But yeah, we roll up. <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> There's not that much to do. Except ignore the plagues and use your potions. We are still very OP. Will not always be OP, but at the moment, for a single hand, we can manage. So we sealed the hand portal. We did it. Yeah. So yeah. And now that Nuki is not there anymore to cut our connection with Letzer Ford. You better help us get out of this place. Old man, be useful. Old man knows teleport, right? Yeah, more or less. He doesn't know it directly. Unlike Adele no, earlier, remember when he first met her and she just teleported away? Yeah. Oh, here we are, Zalea the Zalea the Forbidden Land. But hey, do you remember teleport crystals from FF12? Yeah. Are they back? Yep. I mean, they, they have one one function of this game. They connect between the Forbidden Land and... Let's have lost basement. Wait, really? Yep. He's got, he's got a dark portal in his basement? <laughs> I mean, I would more expect that he found 
he found this and built his hut on top of it. But yep. So yeah, now we are like, hey, our Grimora is dead. And he's like, yeah, no, the Grimora is in your heart. As long as you exist, the Grimora exists within you. And everything is fine again. But yeah. Oh yeah, and first I guess we need to tell him to not be so down. But Yeah. Yeah. Alright, and as we move out... You see a short foreshadowing of Adele asking him, Hey, what's wrong with me? Oops, but more about that and the rest of this amazing game after the next break. Yes? Yep. All right, my mic's <laughs> muted. That would be great. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. It's, it's such a great day for me today. Um... <laughs> First, I'm choking. My mic's muted. I I I said the entire rant already. I was just muted. Um, during these longer runs, we like to take quick breaks every now and then, just so everybody can get up, stretch their legs, drink some water, or anything like that. Uh, just before we go to a break, a quick reminder: if you're ever on or on YouTube watching, be sure to press the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, you can go to Twitch.tv/GamesDoneQuick if you're interested in watching any of our content live. On weeknights, it starts around 7 p.m. Eastern, and on weekends, it's usually all that's up, we'll be back in a few minutes after the break. Hello everybody, welcome back to the game song Quick Hotfix. We are doing a showcase of Final Fantasy Tactics, E2 Grimoire of the Rift, and Final Fantasy Tactics. We are right now doing the first game, Final Fantasy Tactics E2. We're in the middle of a run, I will hand it right over, we'll uh, finish the run off. Yeah, welcome back. Um, so we've just fought Elua and Nukia back to back, foreshadowing evil things. But I mean, we 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 have booped them away. They are nowhere to be seen. So it's time to chill a bit. So basically, now all of our team members get like their own time to shine, more or less, mm -hmm. or friends. Um, so it's, like Sid's background story is Camja, so. That's kind of his thing. Lucy doesn't have much to do. Which means the first one we're going to look at is Herdy. Herdy tells... Herdy's just like, I like like I like hanging out in bars? Yeah, but Herdy is also like, you know, there's huge trouble in my hometown. The town of Gok. Um, we haven't been yet. It's the town where all the Moogles reside. We're going to help him, right? Of course we are. Heck yeah. Time for the dig. Rank 37. Plus. So this is basically what our level is. But yeah, before that, we'll get rudely interrupted by more... Yo, do you know that this game and FFTA are connected? Did it. it is time to meet a good old friend who, I mean, according to what people have seen last week, as I said, he shouldn't be here. But, you know, it's time for some lizards. What? You just call bangers lizards? 
I know I did not. But he still lost a thing and says it's our fault. Of course, who has to come to the rescue? Demi. It's our second favorite Moogle. It's Mont Blanc. He's, he's rocking the vest today. I appreciate it. Well, Style we didn't his hand. give Mont Blanc a hug. Saving the day. Yay. And then just nope and out. Well, you know. He has already helped one other worldly guy. Doesn't need to help another one. Pretty much. Yeah. As I heard, he tells us, Yo, Blanc is my cousin. So, there we go. Ah. Yeah. So they're belated. Okay. So yeah, the Moogles get attacked, no, the town of Moogles get attacked by their most, by their biggest enemy, the most frightening of all beings. So yeah. Evil hand, evil hand coming out of the wall? No, do, 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 you, do you remember how, what could possibly be the most frightening thing for Moogles? Such cute I mean, they're, beings. They're, they're literally called Moogle Banes. <laughs> they're literally called Moogle Banes. And they are basically as cute as Moogles. Or at least very cute fluff balls, but yeah. The Moogles are completely in panic. The heavy machinery, just for this purpose, immediately breaks. Pretty spectacularly, I should say. GG's technology. Yeah, trained with the wrong AI. <laughs> Ouch. So yeah. But yeah, we should save the Moogles. We like them. Yeah. But yeah, here they are. Cute, cute little fluff balls. Why is there a red chocobo in the back? That thing is evil. <laughs> yeah, there's also black chocobo in the back. That one's not as evil. Fair. Alright. Oops. No, 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 no. We ain't gonna use Hardy and Adele. We, we are gonna use all our Seek army. I mean, family. We're gonna stick to the plan, right? Always. So yeah. The thing about this fight is that the Moogle Banes have a move, they have a move called Elude, which has a 65% chance to hit and charm a character. And apparently sometimes they don't even use it. I can't believe no one got hit by it. But that's pretty rare. Yeah. Hey, sometimes good things happen. I'm not sure if or where these guys appear in FF12. Um, I believe one of them is a hunt mark. Yeah, I, I think I remember some, but those are not green. Those are just white. White, so yeah. Like woods. I mean, it's not that huge. As Van is here, this game plays like a few years into the future of 12. Very few years. Yeah, the, I mean, the big, big timeline break is FF is the original FF Tactics, a game in which the Moogles are extinct. Oh gosh, yeah, that sounds far into the future from everything. <laughs> I 
I'm sure that one weird text box is going to get retconned. I'm sure. That Yay! Look at that. Uh, I should have gone to to the town. We get to fleet and food. Uh, food, not food. I mean, food is also always good, but haste for everyone, or at least three characters. Got to show that off. I mean, after the Bonga Bago Silverson dilemma, where we had like two characters who both got it. Also, what is that one Moogle hiding down there? Like, what? Hey, that, <laughs> she saw what you were doing. She's like, I want no part of this. It's like, shouldn't you have gotten a second turn by now? Why are you still down there? She's afraid. Okay, so apparently, as I have just read in chat, everything is just, the timeline is just all over. If Lucio is also in tech, uh, in the original FF Tactics remake, but Van is in Her this game, so I guess Lucio revisits the world afterwards a second time, and timelines completely don't mean anything. I don't know. Yeah, the, it, it, the timelines are wild, because in the remake, Balthair and Lusso are both in the original FFT. Because also consider that um, Newt is like a teacher now, so let's just assume that he is like maybe 30 years older. Like FFTA 2 plays 30 years after FFTA, but I mean, I don't know how age Moogles look like, but... You know? I'll say it. It's weird. Wait a second. Brain. We're not that sleepy yet. <laughs> we can reach until the Google Bane. I also really ne don't so remember ever seeing an, an enemy just hide here, down here. This was something. But yeah, this is Hardy's little mission. Less Hardy. And the Moogles lived happily ever after. Yay, we saved the Moogles, we love them. Pet the Moogles. So yeah, I guess the tactics timeline has kind of confused itself by putting too much ref too much back and forth characters moving. Yeah. Which can be fun, but apparently it has shifted so canonically. Mutable timelines. So yeah. It's a big mess. And, yeah. And it and it doesn't even consider the storyline of Vagrant Story. <laughs> which is also part of Ivelisse. Jeez, that was also thing. So yeah, now that we've done Hardy, it's time to go to Adele. We get to see what happened after Adele came back in. She's like, am I like cursed or something? And Lester is like, no, you are very, very gifted. You, you, you have spe special talent latent within you. She's got very powerful. And she is still very upset. But yeah. So she questions herself all the time. Uh, which leads her to the decision. Well, as per always, she just leaves us. Why would she do that? Cause thoughts in the in her head, you know? And you're feeling down, you don't always think reasonable. What even what even reasonable is, right? I mean we all, we didn't understand how she got into why she wanted to join our party in the first place after 
stealing our stuff, trying to steal our stuff again, and then getting left behind inside a trap. <laughs> It'll be funny one day. We'll tell the story and laugh. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, she she she, she just went up and by, left a left a letter. I was like, yep, see ya. So yeah, how, how do you think her, her travel to finding herself was gonna go? Uh, probably fine. No one ever has, you know, great revelations of the power inside of them turning them evil or anything. Right? So yeah, let's just move on. Next main story. Monsters in Kisali Sands. I mean, we haven't been to that area right yet, right? So... I don't think so. There has to be a nice mission. Look, we get to see what Adele is doing right after she left us. She's on a path. Yeah. Oh, look. First thing she, thing she does. Runs into a lure. And... That can't be... And then, then it fades to black. What happens? you got to tell me what happens. Well, she gets heavily shafted. And mind controlled. It's a good things, you know? Ah... Uh. So yeah, here she is. Supposed to get our grimoire. And some little monsters, but I mean... I mean... Yeah. So the goal of this fight is very great. We need to wake Elua up. Which by canon, you can talk to her when you are standing next to her. And you need to talk to her like five times or so to wake her up. But... Uh... Obviously, there's always a plan B, right? Is plan B throw potions at it? Of course. What else would our plan B ever be? You know what? Fair. But yeah, sh she has apparently also unlocked a new hidden class. Laser cannon? Yep. Laser cannon is just the, the first skill of a new class. So yeah, you could, once again, fast threat would be to just put in one. Um... 96% chance, actually. But, you know... You don't really want to risk those 4%. So, yeah. And now she just takes a nap. <laughs> Bless potions. You healed the power of evil out of her. Good job. Yeah, but we still get all 60 experience, even though no one has done anything. <laughs> uh, Everyone is vibing. Just vibing. Yeah. And now we get a cutscene with Lucio and Adele. Vibing. Lots of vibing. I mean, she's finally learned how to vibe. It's great. Yeah. Like, she's she's gone out on this quest, and after her run-in with, you know... Ilua and a healing item. You know, she has obtained she has obtained the chill. Yeah. And also a laser beam. What the heck? <laughs> and also these two treat each other as like the best siblings. At this point. Talking about everything, not holding back at all. And all the little fights. See? 
And it's a bitch slapping. Back and forth. They are. They are just having it out. Yep. Yep. Living the best lives of of, uh, of openly communicating. No holds barred. No hold ba uh, holds barred. Yeah. Also, she's got a laser beam. Also, she's got a laser beam. Yeah. So if you wanted to, you could now go to Laser Fort and unlock a chain of quests, which one by one unlock new abilities for her new class. And in the casual playthrough, it's pretty powerful, actually. Yeah, some of them are. Some of them are. For sure. Alright, so now that we have done Hurdy and Adele, it is obviously not time to not forget about the honorary, soon-to-be, casually at least, team members, Van and Pinello. Because they've just gotten into trouble again. Or, in this case, they have made a lot of trouble. Apparently. Again? And we are like, we can't believe that. We, 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 we have to meet them and like make, make sure what's going on here. But first, Adele and, Lu Adele and Hurdy have to go shopping. Because shopping is also important. Pirate problems. But yeah. Time to move away from this from here again. Nothing left to do. Everything is gonna be on the other side. Okay. Who would ever? Bon, why do you? Hmm? Why do you? Go ahead. No, I was just. Why would he ever want to steal a black cat? We all know that cats are too powerful. Why would he announce that he's doing it? Why does he have to tell everybody? Yeah, sounds so unlike Bon. Ah, there he is, and Penelo. And they look basically as we remember them. Yeah, no, exactly the same. Yeah. Wait a sec, Vaughn's got a nose. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> and look! All his, all his FF12 friends are here as well. So yeah, how much time do you think we can say, how much time difference do you think there is between a fast fight and a not so fast fight? Uh, well, the last time you asked me this question, it was like 40 seconds. So I'm going to say a solid minute. Yeah, double that. What? <sighs> Why? <laughs> because late game RNG is great, isn't it? So basically, you have two ways this fight can go. Either you have, like, I don't know, 30% chance or so for Vaan to directly go at Lusu, attack him, you smack him a potion and you are done. Or he runs yep. away and you have, like, to slowly go towards him, take everyone else down. Um, he will, like, use flee, maybe even an ability that increases his evasion, and, like, the so fast fight takes, like, a minute and the so slow fight takes, like, three. Um, yeah, welcome to the slow fight, which means we can look at all the names that the party members had that I even didn't even talk about. So the first one, of course, is the fighter Rosenbach. <laughs> Not to mistake for Rosenberg. 
Mm hmm. Captain Bosch, as we all know. Um, then we have Balti. Famously known leading man. Yeah. And he's just, he's definitely he's definitely got a gun. He is quite the gun. Pretty powerful gun. Not gonna lie. And then we have uh, Plum, just not pronouncing the U because Japanese. Also ripped my first Seek apparently, unless I revive him. Yeah. And then we have Arsh, which I guess is just the British Ash. Ash, but with wings and a tail. Um... I guess. Do, do I revive the... Um, maybe as bait? Well, the thing is all the turn order. Like, I I if the thief gets immediately a turn off, the problem is you don't see how the turn order evolves with stat characters. But that was a yeah. thief that got their turn first, so... Also, to note, um, the two spaces behind that pot here, those two, those are traps. You don't want to run into those. Alright, I guess we heal so that Penelo cannot damage and then... Well, not taken down again. Oh, yes, Penelo also has a ranged attack. Not just slow dance and Cura and all that. Yeah. But yeah. So this fight, I just think this fight is pretty neat. Like against the whole FF12, well, fake party, but hey. Who even cares at this point? Yep, you got up next you got up next to fake Vaughn and threw a very real potion at him before he could start buffing his agility and dodging. I mean, he was still already at 65%. Like this is by far the lowest accuracy you will see in this game run. So yeah, we wreck, we wreck this imposter. Yep. Push them to the wall and then finish them off with the real ones. Now it's time for Vaughn to flex on him. Yep. So yeah, and both are happy. And if we were to fly to the other continent again, Penelo would join our party together with a cutscene, but not really helpful for us. <laughs> and the speedrun purposes of any percent. Yeah, Van would join after like another few f mission fights after Penelo joining. Yep. I think it's actually just fights, but yeah. yeah. All right, and with that, there's only one so one line left in our grimoire. It's kind of obvious who that's about, right? It's gotta be a We're almost there. We're in the home stretch now. And as well timed well timed as she always is, she is inviting us to her home. Or whatever she has planned with us. I 
But yeah, small setup's yeah. gonna do, and then we are getting to very serious fights. It's level forty-seven. We have almost. We, we almost have that level. We're yeah. We're only a few fights away from level forty-seven ourselves. Yeah, that's. that's <laughs> <laughs> We have been Just getting 68, 60 XP every fight, right? Yeah, so what are we at? Like level 18? So <laughs> we're getting 60 a fight. That's uh, three levels every five fights. So we're going from 18 to 47. That's uh, 29 levels. So 29 yeah. times... 29 is basically 30. 30 divided by 5 is 6. We're coping some silver bows because more range and less damage is great to get rid of confusion and... One other purpose that we'll get to see in this fight, which said, I please don't do what you did in my practice today. <laughs> yep. Actually, I got that backwards. It's 30, 30 divided by 3 is 10 times 5. We'd have to fight 50 fights to get on level for this. <laughs> yeah, 50 fights that are our level or higher. Yep. Because if they are lower, then yeah, we, we, we get experience abstracted. It's great. And yeah, if you're ever wondering, because we weren't talk talking about it, with the test at the beginning, you could have also gotten an XP bonus, but that gives you like 6 XP more per fight. Like, plus 10%. It is so irrelevant, but it's just not an option for a speedrun ever. Alright. Let's go. Hey, Lua. We might, we might have been OP, but... Time for the time to start the serious business. Let's see what she got for us. Cause yeah, level forty-four double casting red mage. <laughs> that goes onto one seek. The seek is dead. Mhm. Mm Uh, could you please go more towards the waterfall, Red Mage? I would appreciate that. Okay, yeah. So this one is just way faster than everyone else. Already been there. Lua goes over there. Sure. No dimensional rift turn one. We, we take that, I guess. You go over here and please survive. Uh... You go too forward. Why is everyone faster than the time mage? Um, I don't like that. I don't know. I do not like that. So the thing about the time mage is that the time mage has haste gun and only haste gun. Also, you're just a bait now. No, no, it's fine. So, and we really don't want them to use haste gun. What we can do, fortunately, is that the Moogle has MP shield. People might remember MP shield like from FFTA where it was absolutely broken because if the character had 5 MP it immediately meant that you could tank every move because it only affected MP. This got fixed in this version. Um, so if, if you have 10 MP and take 12 damage, you also take 2 damage HP. Um, but more importantly, we only healed 7. Whatever. Now it can't use Hayska anymore. Um, also... Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah, go, go, and, go and take an X potion. So yeah, yeah you can see so the setup why we, I have the two Seeks in the middle right here. Um, is planned for the Red Mage to do exactly what she does. Um, go on to one of those two steps, and then I can just do this with the Seek. Jump up the waterfall, and now please hit the X Potion. Thank you. Don't miss. Don't miss. All right. Ah, uh, yeah, Melusa doesn't do much. The Seek is here so that they can one-shot the Summoner. 
I'm surprised it's a summon I didn't summon. But hey, I'm not gonna complain. Yeah. No, we're we're gonna take those, like. And now the two and now the two most well, third and second uh second and third most dangerous characters are down. Obviously Lua is the most dangerous, but you know. The other two Haste guy's annoying, but the time age doesn't have anything else, and the Arcanist is kind of irrelevant. And this is the most underwhelming dimensional rift that I've ever seen. This on one, one C. Hello? Are you even trying? Yeah. Like, usually she just does it on the whole party. I mean, there are four down here that could have still been targeted. But, you know, I mean, sure. Um. Uh, Oh, whatever. Here. Yeah. Take your marathon safety and take another potion. Yeah, better better to be safe, right? We really shouldn't need it, but, you know. Right, set up the bait here. Uh, no, we take down the time mage first. Yeah. yeah Luso, I have no clue what Luso even is here right now. <laughs> Luso's just sort of along for the ride right now. Yeah, Luso's just, I mean, maybe he'll get to heal someone someday. But as you can see, like, with four jump, jumping up a waterfall, like, not many can contend with that. Alright, so that's Mirror X potion number one. Okay, are you gonna... <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, I guess. I mean, at least she uses the 100% move. She also has a move that inflicts stop, so it could be more annoying. Yeah. And this move only does, like, 120 damage, so... Yeah, that's powerful, but... I mean, if you have a it's move that not... always hits, it shouldn't also one-shot. Yeah, it's, it's, it's weak compared to other things that she could be doing. Also, the Arcanist apparently does not know anything except draining all our MP, which, I mean... <laughs> Go for it, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For all your hard work, you also get a potion. Take that potion. Head boot. And you get another potion. And... Lua's Rain Terror is definitely over, right? Yeah, obviously. But now for real, right? Because... Yeah, you never fight a boss three times in the game. No, right? That's never. never happened before. Because this was not actually tied to the ritual, so something probably like... Right? Never. Oh no, she's got the dark aura again. And she also never had a dark aura. Oh no, she has a dark aura. Uh... Yeah, there's exposition here where she basically tells you that she sold out to one of the aura site and is like, yeah, I took evil into myself. What about it? You can't tell me what to do. I mean, true. And look, we're back. So she here. teleports us back to. Yeah, she teleports us back to Mist Hole, and that's great. We, we really want to be here. Always. I know we have Adele being sad. Mm-hmm. Because she doesn't want her brother to leave. I mean, what? <sighs> but she can't also tell him. She doesn't want him to leave. Aww. But yeah. Emotional backup Moogle is always is always there for help. Alright, saving once more for good measures. Being sad, I think dying to nuclear would not be the plan, but Nope. I mean I don't know when I have last died there, so this isn't the challenge for today. We had enough new things. <laughs> Uh, 
But before that, hey you Lua, long time no see. She's a little bit redder than she was before. Yeah. But at the same time, she is also... The flight might almost be... I mean, not the most consistent, but the easiest. We'll have to see how it goes. I, re I realized something today, which I wonder why I've never done that, but... Um, so this fight... Of course, the two behemoths are pretty annoying, and if you enter certain areas, then new enemies would spawn. Um, so it works a bit different to see there are always like two sidekicks or something. Uh, what we had earlier. But Ilua is gonna stay there in place until you enter her square. So, yeah, we have all the time to get ready. As soon as you enter the square, though, she rips your soul out of your nose. Well, as long as you, like, if you miss the first expo uh, mirror expotion, you can still make it. But if you trigger, like, her having, like, no HP, um, yeah. No, d d don't do that. Straight out of your nose. If she gets, if you miss the second mirror expotion, then she will use moves like, Shale, which give all the good status effects to her characters and the bad ones to us. Like haste, and slow, and regen, and basically you will never get a turn. You will just not get a turn anymore. You can slowly see how she does whatever she wants and you will die. Cause at this point she has probably regen five times and yeah. Yep. She also has a move that just immediately refills all her HP, but yeah. But yeah. Yeah, also more exposition is that since she took the power of the evil stone into her body, she is just able to seal judges forever now. Yeah, or at least for as long as she lives. And he ran into the trap. Thanks. I mean, the Seeks didn't look down there to make it that the behemoth would Right, I mean... <laughs> Baiting only works sometimes, but hey, sometimes it works. Just realized there's one problem with it, so... Uh, He's in the way. <laughs> uh, I mean, okay, you can stay there. Yeah, that, uh, that this seek of all has to be the slowest is a bit annoying. Yeah. Because that means that basically no one else was able to reach. Oh, nice. So either someone gets slapped heavily or someone g or we get a huge Firaga. Which again, if we just hit our explosions, we don't need to heal anyways much. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, there's a Firaga. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be interesting to see what the other behemoth is going to do there, like... He's just running back and forth, which can be a bit annoying. Uh, considering that we would like the fairy shoe seek to go over there. The speedrun is very easy. We just sell all the loot we don't need. Mm -hmm. I mean, we missions, use none of it, but basically. mostly loot, I would say. Um, I mean, sure, go for it, Luso. But yeah, we're getting the first two, the first two seek into position, so. Okay. 
Can you please go? Ah, bad behemoth. Oh. Oh, good behemoths. Perfect behemoths. Never mind. <laughs> right, there was a charm trap around there. And they ran into it again. All right, the team is starting to line up. Let's go over here. Okay, now that... That's the thing... Yeah, we haven't talked too much about it, but hard mode is not something you want to run. Like, I mean, you could speedrun it, but it is very risky. It was fairly similar strats even, but then you have, like, I don't know... A very oh, low chance of finishing a run, so definitely not marathon friendly. All right, it's time to stick the right. time to stick the landing. Hopefully, let's go. Potion number one, hit. Ah, uh, you can't do anything. You're not. All right. Oh, fun fact, in theory, when we enter, there would be a Lamia spawning, but it would spawn on the spot where the Behemoth is currently standing. That's stuck the landing. All right. And yeah, doesn't matter if she sealed the... Uh, Judge for eternity or something. Only for as long as she lives. Bye bye. For as long as she has her powers. Floating away. But yeah, it's time. For the comeback, we get to see a bit more than just the hands this time. Oh. Uh. Uh, I know that's gonna be fine. Well, I can check, but yeah. But yeah, time for the final fight. Final boss. Now it's everywhere. Yeah, consisting of three parts. They can all, be, can all be evil. Okay. Reaction abilities are forbidden. Well, fortunately, we never learned any. Haven't used, one the haven't used one the entire run. Oh, Sid did counter once. Um, so you have 80, you have 75. Um, you have 71? Oh, goodness. Never mind. You know what? Here. We'll take the time. So usually we have the lee... Wait. We have the leeway... But in theory, the slowest character gets the fairy shoes. All right, so you can all go. Second, second fastest seek. No, wait, one. You are now the fairy shoes seek. I would like you to face down. Okay, then we have the fifth. 
Then we have the fourth. And then we have the third. So yeah, we want the turn order to be very precise between our seeks to optimize what we want, all the things that we need to do. Why do we have a ranger that outspeeds everything? Uh -huh. I don't know. How is he supposed to get rid of any confusions when he outspeeds any attacks that might be happening? Uh, uh. Want to, 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 okay, you just wait. Uh, I don't like that. This is the worst turn order I have ever seen. Okay. I do not yep. know why it doesn't use Sanctify, but I'm really happy. Catastrophe is good. So he wanders down here. Yeah, he just... Flings a potion at the hand. Yeah, so turn order... This is why you don't even want to be super high level. You just want to go after everyone else. Why are we so high level? Well, apparently, no. I mean, we knew that that one seek was always outspeeding like everything somehow. Okay, but now for the for, for the important part, we want this core to take eight hundred damage now. This is very very important because else we get spammed by spam killed by sanctify and we cannot handle that at all. So yeah, that was always goes between three different spots but the first the first three are always the same um, this is fine and so with the fairy shoes we immediately reach that spot and it's the slowest character so that they're assured of going after the shot that hits the wisp in the center yeah, the problem really happens if people get get confused because both the Wisp, just like the hand as we've seen earlier in the Apocalypse, which has like a 65% yeah. chance of AoE confusion. And then like, Seeks need to use their turns in order to get rid of the confusion. And also good stuff. Okay, so you need to X Potion. Uh... You just stand here. This is fine. So yeah, because now that the Wisp is low, the core will only use Restoration Ray and nothing stupid. Right. Okay, there is Sanctify. Well, we say bye-bye, Luso, but... Don't really care. We don't say bye- no, we say... Oh wow, Sanctify even missed once. Uh, wait a second. Yay! It is good that Sanctify missed, but fortunately this time the pot uses Siphon Jar and not anything that deals damage, so here we go. So now we can use our Eureka Crystal that we've gotten earlier and happily heal up everyone again. If you want yep, to know why this, is this felt important. It's a massive heal all and defense buff. Um... It... You can try without. With really good turn orders, I actually had... What oh, was it? On Tuesday. I had actually mm -hmm. a fight where I didn't... He just never got Sanctify off. Because the core was so slow that we got all our, all our five turns in, and apparently I'm unable to count. Nice. Um, yeah, we got all our five turns in. Before the core even got a turn in to, sanct to, to charge, so it just immediately went on to healing. Um, this is gonna be weird now because... Why the heck is the hand... Yeah, the hand should be dead by now. Me not moving close enough twice was... Yeah, also the width just wastes a turn right now to dispel. Yeah, this is what I didn't want to see last turn. Yeah. Thanks for not using that any earlier. Yeah, he doesn't have anything to do. So yeah. So the hand is maybe not necessarily to kill, but if you try to just go wisp into core, 
the course protected as long as the wisp exists. Then the wisp, uh, the hand will start just teleporting you randomly all across the map. <laughs> so, uh, is it possible? Maybe. Is it a good idea? Definitely not. Ah, uh, so that's why you're keeping the one down at the bottom there, so in case the wisp teleports into him, you just... Yeah, exactly. I just keep those... Keep one stationed at every spot, so... Because once we, we hit the next Mirror X potion... It will just fly away again. Well, it does it after a certain amount of damage, but yeah, 400 is always a certain amount of damage. We just, uh, this might be a charge ray now. I don't like it. Yeah. Yeah, this is bound to happen. Because we took a bit long with the Hacken. Um, with the Hacken hand. Well, this is fine, we tank can tank it and then heal ourselves up, but we have to waste a turn of healing ourselves healing up. Healing everybody up. And one of them is gonna die now, because, yeah. Never healed them. Mm -hmm. Uh, sure. You just already move into position, and we definitely don't want to kill it yet, because yeah, the card is... We interface too once the Wisp is dead, and then the core shows its true powers. Don't want to see its true powers yet. Definitely don't want to do that yet. Uh, you use an X potion. Yes, yeah. Now we go back to Restoration Ray. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, I forgot something. Okay. Yeah. I mean, let's say if now apocalypse had happened and confusion, and I mean, we have silver bows, but you know what? We just healed ourselves up, right? Everyone is getting their turns. I mean, enough people should. Looks like enough people get their turns. Yeah, everyone gets their turns. So, let's take the answer, Wisp. Alright. Uh, definitely just wait, because... Yeah, I I'm not expecting the best things here. Because the core usually opens up with the same move every time. And it hurts. Here's Angry Core. Angry Core. Opens up. We can now use melee attacks. And all the good stuff. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and heal yourself. You don't do anything, actually. And you should throw that Mirror X potion. We'll need three. There's one. Yeah, <laughs> it takes a while, but... And then time is when the final potion hits. Starting off with Punishing Ray, I mean, it could be worse, I guess. The weird one, but sure. Dust that, dust him off instantly. Uh, you know what? I'll move and wait. Nice. All right, there's Rewind. So usually, this one starts off with Giga Dust, and Giga Dust hurts everyone, AoE. Um, for like, I don't know, similar to Sanctify. Rewind, well, Rewind, so Rewind prepares these, like, crystal thingies. And you can turn them down with, like, take this. So that they turn blue again, but I actually just wanted to bait it here, because this way we get the powerful move, Grand Cross. 
which deals as much as much damage as Giga Dust, but just around them. All right, uh, so this it. That's time. Nice. Well done. Jeez. Thanks a lot. Yeah, that's Final Fantasy Tactics A2. Thanks um, to Church for inviting me last week, asking me if I want to run this. I was like, sure. Get me a bit of de rest in, and then I'm glad that I was able to show it off to all of you. Hope you all enjoyed it. It's still one of my favorite speedruns. Always such happy. a cool casual game, too. Such a cool. Yeah. Thank you so much for, you know, coming on and showing the game. Uh, I like that. I, I don't think it's a, a secret to anybody. I love the tactics series. So it's awesome to be able to have, you know, the game showcased with, well, all three of them showcased in like the span of a week. Uh, so thank you so much for, you know, coming on and showing the game. It was a great run. Uh, yeah, it, it, was, it was awesome. Do either of you have anything you want to say before we uh, go on to the next run? Um, yeah. Thanks for Demi for hanging out with me again. Next time. I, I hope you will be fitter again. <laughs> I hope so too. Uh, Satan sucks. So, and yeah. Shout out to the next to the next runner, good friend Kaza, who's gonna show us how to properly speedrun Final Fantasy Tactics with math. Thank you both so much. Uh, it was a pleasure. Uh, we are going to go do a quick break while we get the next run set up, and then we'll be back with Final Fantasy Tactics uh, math. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hot Fix. This is our Final Fantasy Tactics showcase. We are going to be showcasing Final Fantasy Tactics next. Right before we get into the run, just a quick reminder, SGDQ 2023 is coming up May 28th through June 4th in Minneapolis, Minnesota. If you're interested in attending the event, registration is open between uh, now and May 3rd. You can go to gamesnightquick.com for more information. Uh, with all that said, I'm joined by a longtime friend of mine, Casa. How are you doing? Hi, I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? Uh, I am ready for help with my math homework. <laughs> well, you see here, I'm a math teacher, but I only know certain things. Can you know what uh, CT4 Bolt 3 will do to you? Uh, that depends. Am I slow or am I <laughs> fast? You're, you're going to be slow. <laughs> oh, God. It's going to hit Wait. me then. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's going to hit you. It's All right. Uh, I accidentally good. decided to hit continue for some reason. There we go. All right. So I'm going to be doing the math any percent. So, yes, there will be the calculator skill. It will not be banned. Uh, this is not the one where we're going to be doing a bunch of weird things to get summoners and all that stuff. Uh, this is the one where chapter one is going to be completely to the brim with a bunch of like class grinding specifically in each area. And then once we hit chapter two, we kind of get to like sit for a little bit, get comfy. And then the game says no. So get ready for that. There will be a few safety saves I'll be making throughout because I found out new places that the game decides to say no to. But we're going to have lots of fun and I'm ready to go. So uh, if you want to get going, I can count down uh, from five. So here we go. In five, four, three, two. Nope. <laughs> it decided that I took too long. <laughs> one second. All right. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. I'm just happy that happened in both runs today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Yeah. I was watching the other run and I got so confused when you guys went on break because I like looked away for a moment. I was like, oh my God, is it? Am I supposed to be playing? Oh no. <laughs> I like panicked. Yet. I had everything ready to go. And then, of course, as uh, we were getting ready, you know, the usual streamer stuff, the scuff happened. I'm a VTuber after all. If there's no scuff, I'm not a VTuber. <laughs> yeah, that's valid. That's valid. Uh, the beginning of the game here is just a kind of a force fight where we don't really get much control over what we're doing. We only get one character to control. But in that, we're going to be setting up a lot of options here that are going to make mashing through ch uh, text box a lot easier and also get rid of a bunch of information that we don't need to see like experience jump points the little uh text box when people use abilities etc yeah it's a calculator run it's i wouldn't say full calculator run because we do swap off of it in like the later half of chapter four 
Uh, we stay on Squire for the most part because then we can equip the Ragnarok that we duplicate uh, mid chapter four as well. It's a lot better than just staying on Priest and Black Mage the whole time. Uh, so here I'm holding down Circle and mashing X because before our settings are set up here, it's actually... Uh, we got really, really slow text box here, so we're going to make them faster soon. I wish this game would get a Steam port. They have a really lovely version of this game with cutscene skips on iOS and Android, and I really want that on Steam really badly. Oh, that would be so nice. And it's the War of the Lions edition too, so it's like, please. We could... We can skip little money. <laughs> we can skip a lot of things. We would have to do some routing again because duplication glitches and scroll glitches are gone, but that's not too big of a deal. I mean, the amount of time you'll save having no cutscenes. Ooh. All right. So we're going to start the force encounter here. There's going to be a lot of movement that I'm not in control of, and I'm just going to do my best to make sure it ends fast and not get upset when Rad or Agrius start casting Oracle spells. Yeah, I'm not doing the uh, Game Boy Advance one. Uh, the only Game Boy Advance one I like is Tactics Advance 2. Tactics Advance cannot be in my life. I have ran it a multitude of times. And in that time, I have had to do that hour and a half grind so many times only for my run to completely die out. Ooh, it's not do message slow. That would be really bad. <laughs> that would be really bad. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know how to do my uh, cameras apparently anymore. <laughs> I'm choking, let's go. Yeah, this game is much better than the uh, Tactics Advance, like, number one, uh, because the story I find to be a lot more palpable to a wider age audience versus Tactics Advance, which was definitely more of a lighthearted story with a few things of sprinkle uh, drama in it. It wasn't for me, that's for sure. What about you? What's your favorite tactics? Oh, this one for sure. 100% this one. <laughs> right? Like, it was this, even this... good before they did the retranslation. I think I like original translation. Is it because of the, the part in Chapter 3 where they're like, God did not make holy stones, but evil? I... I mean, that's definitely a part of it. I just, I don't think, I think the, the retranslation, I just didn't like it. it. It didn't feel right. It was very ye old English. Yeah, that, that, that's exactly the problem I had with it. I purposely went over to that archer because I knew that Lavin would get a turn before this chemist. And luckily her uh, compatibility didn't matter. All right, Rad, what are you going to do to let me down? Oh my, he's actually hitting? Oh, he actually damaged too. We live in a timeline where Rad actually wants to help. I don't believe it. This, this isn't a real run. This isn't a real run, you're correct. Rad's supposed to use an Oracle blind on his own teammates and make it cost like, what, two minutes? Oh. Uh, yeah, it, it, usually. It depends on who it hits, I guess. Yeah, exactly. All right, it looks like Agrius will be able to reach that knight. That's good, because I'm going to go kill off this archer uh, with Lavian if I don't end up killing it, and then Rad, Gefgarian, and Agrius will go after the knight. So this will be good. He's... Ooh. Oh, that's going to do nothing, though. Oh, no, it actually did a crit. Oh! Yee! Gefgarian? Oh, that's going to be good... I need to know the time after this is done. Yo, Rad, can you actually land this hit? I think it'll end the fight. It will. Oh! What's Yo, the I'm, time? Please tell me. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be delayed a little bit. <laughs> Yo. Uh. It was like a... Uh, when do you, when do you split on final hit? When I hear Avelia scream. Uh, like 526. <laughs> oh, that's great. What? That, the heck? That's a really good split. That's a real good split. Oh. That is. 
So like 530 is considered a really good uh opening fight. So Yeah. Uh, and it depends on like where people split. If you're splitting on final hit, that's like what? 522, 523? Yeah, exactly. Oh wow, that's a really good start. Uh, and now we're going to go into, you know, uh, Magic City Garolin, where I'm going to get absolutely bad faith on all of my chemists. And there's going to be like a good faith in one of my squire, squire units that I have to sit there and grind passive chemist experience for. <laughs> in a real run, if we saw that, we would reset. But because this is a marathon run, we have to take what we get. And if everyone is really bad, then I'm just going to have to take the best faith, turn them into a wizard and take two unit recruitments. Oh, that's gonna hurt. As the, little money. So, <laughs> little money. I I really love this game, but we are we are in discussion why I I could not continue speed running it. <laughs> <laughs> this this and the, the thing we talked about uh earlier, uh the uh the Mandalia crit? Th that is, like, the Mandalia crit is one of the things that just sealed it for me. <laughs> oh, no. You can get a really good start into Magic City Girl, and you walk out, you're like, I just finished with 15 minutes? Like, that's a good split. We're, ha we're happy with that. You go into the freaking Mandalia Plains, and you're sitting there, and you're looking at Algus. He's trapped between two units. You just need him to hit the unit. That's it. What does he do? He crits. It moves the unit. He walks away. Everyone scatters. Chaos ensues. And your, your run, run is, is over. over. Your run is over. Why did it always <laughs> type little money out so slowly? Because <laughs> it needed to let you know that they had no money. People were poor. And that's why they fought. They had little money. Get it? <laughs> All right. So we're gonna, I'm so... So excited to find out what my faith values are. Ha <laughs> ha! Fun fact, when I played this game for the very first time, I didn't know how to select units, so I just kept doing every map with just Ramza. Oh my god. Up until... Riovane's castle? <laughs> and then I came home one day, and my mom had like a bunch of units on her map, and I'm like, what? How'd you do that? And she's like, oh, I pushed L1 and R1. I'm like, you're lying to me. <laughs> Oh, I uh, honestly, I'm oh. more impressed that you were able to get that far. I grinded. <laughs> I, I can't imagine. Oh, it was it was a struggle, that's for sure. But yeah, so I I have been doing challenge runs of Final Fantasy Tactics for as long as I can remember. I've legit never seen an actual explanation for why it's so slow. Could it be a control code issue? Maybe. Most likely. I'm assuming that they, like, had a, a script that is supposed to do it uh, based on a certain amount of time for each letter, but it kind of breaks. <laughs> and then it finds itself again later. Yo, the crit on Delita, though? We love that. Absolutely. Like in these cameras? We. You only get that for chapter one, nowhere else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. There, there's a lot of things you get in chapter one that you don't get anywhere else. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Including, uh, Algus. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Uh, if anyone doesn't know, I hate Algus with a burning passion, and it's not because of the crits. That just added to it. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's level two. Let's go. Wait, no, I want this. Like this. Delita's gonna do his thing. Oh, uh, no, he's gonna live. <laughs> Why? Don't live. Oh. Now the chemist is gonna come in and be like, uh-huh. Like one HP off, dude. Yeah, it's oh, it's yeah. so brutal. All right, here he comes. He's like got four HP or something, right? No, eight HP. Okay. Well, he's gonna move up and either attack the squire or the chemist, so that's not too much of an issue. All right, it's my turn because we didn't attack. Oh, 
Look at these fake crits. Oh. Oh. I mean... Oh my god. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta get the fake crits out of the way early, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we got the real crit with Gap Gary on. Oh, he went into my team. And that was this... a very good crit. This is a wild choice. Yeah. I mean, I mean Delita, Delita can actually clean him up here, so that's nice. I like this. Oh! Ah! Oh, why so many crits? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, blood I'm blood. a little afraid. I'm a little afraid because I'm seeing so many crits. You're, you're using all your crits right now. I, I, I'm worried that it means that Algus is going to crit. Oh, oh, no, you're right. That's even worse than my thing. Hey, quick, crit more. Get them out of the way. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Stop critting. Is there a game that has more satisfying crit noise? You, you know what? You're right. The crit noise in this game is like super crispy and just very, very satisfying. Alright, uh, I need him to hit level 2. Please. How far away are you, man? Uh, okay, Delita, can you die for me, please? Goodbye. <gasps> Sir? No! Enough. Actually, I can go back him. Uh, do I get a turn in? Uh oh. Wait, no, he's gonna move into my. T oh, that's bad. Okay, so uh, remember what I said earlier about having to. Oh, this is gonna be so sad. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's just kill everyone really quickly. Okay, how far away are you? You're nowhere near. Oh no. This is going to suck. Um, I don't know what to do in this situation. Hmm. Huh. Uh, so, try is the first step. I'm not sure what the second step is. Because I, I won't have a wizard. Yeah. I don't uh, think it's possible. Not unless you... Because okay, you don't have a lot of potions, right? No. Yeah. I mean, you could technically buy extra, because we do have the... I need that chemist alive, though. Oh, my God. This is not going well. Please, let me kill people. Uh... Only those fake crits have been real only she had what I needed. Um, I don't think this is actually doable. Um, <laughs> I hate to say it, but I've reset. I was a little stuck. <laughs> um. Like I actually can't. Oh. Uh, we have to make a decision now. Because I don't think I have enough units to actually survive. No, I don't think you do. Yeah, okay. I'm so sorry, team. <laughs> I have never seen that happen before. And, and, and your your first safety save is the fight after, correct? <laughs> yeah, It's it like is. immediately after that fight, yeah. Oh god, okay. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna count down again. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh my god, I... Mm, okay. It's because of the church. I'm sorry! I... Wow, I've never died to Magic City Garland. I thought I was gonna get my chemist turn before... Uh, I said the thing. Uh, I thought I was going to get a chemist turn before he got his turn because they attacked and she didn't. And then she didn't get it. So I was very confused. All right. <laughs> now we just need a 515 <laughs> Orborn. I, wow. 
So long gold split. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I am so sorry. I... That was wild. Um, do I need to start making a safety save before Magic City now? <laughs> I have never... Uh Keep in mind, before I was uh, coming onto the show, I only had five points in the run where I was like, all right, we're going to safety save. After doing practice the past week and so, I'm up to 15. That's how m bad things have gotten. <laughs> My luck has been so cursed. All right. We're almost back in there. Yo, Gapgarion, if you could give me that crit back, though, that'd be real nice. And, oh, we had a good chemist, too. He was 68, Faith, or 67? He was 67, yeah. Yeah, and I think one of the females were, uh, 72. So that would have been perfect. Oh, well, uh, anyway, uh, let's just uh, pretend the last uh, 15 minutes didn't happen. Um, hi, everyone, my name's Casa. Welcome <laughs> to Final Fantasy Tactics Any Percent Math. Uh, we're just gonna be blazing through this game and nothing bad is going to happen. Not at all! Who am I joined by? Hi, I'm Curtain Sarge. <laughs> nothing... <laughs> nothing will go wrong. We're just gonna do some cozy math homework. We're just doing cozy math homework. Nothing bad happened whatsoever. <laughs> I can't believe that. Uh, Agris is gonna go left or right this time and everything's gonna be terrible. <laughs> Oh, no, no, she's going to go forward. Gap Garyon went forward. All right, all right, we're good, we're good. Luckily, her AI is consistent that if the person in the front is damaged, she's like, I'm going to kill that. All right, here we go again. And we're going to do the this properly. There we go. All right. Yeah, see, there she goes. The OST is great. I will say that as fun as the combat and story is in FFT, I actually like the soundtrack that much more. That's because the music is perfection. Absolute Blind. perfection. Blind logo is great. Oh. I, and yes, I, I know what the, the, oh, it's, the, the opening theme is called. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you gotta, like, every time I play this game, is I always listen to Trisection. It's just like, oh, it's so good. Yep. It's just iconic. Also, there's so many different battle themes. There's so many. Which is so odd for a uh, RPG to have different battle musics. You usually have like maybe yeah. your three. You have your normal, you have your crisis, and then you have your boss. And then, of course, you have like the throwaways, the final boss, and then maybe the dramatic moment if you look at Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> Uh, but this game you have like six, I think there's six different variations. I'm gonna go up here and kill. No, she's not going to go and grab him. I gotta get him. Otherwise he'll heal. Yeah, she wouldn't have made it. Does War of the Lions count? Uh, it is a great uh, version of the game if you play it on PSP with the slowdown fix. Ooh, that crit. Thank you! <gasps> oh! I'm being rewarded! Right. I'm being right. rewarded! We're in there again. We're in there again. <laughs> I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Oh, no, no. Don't run away. Oh, no. Actually, this is fine. Any He's gonna grace? kill uh, Alicia, though. Night-night. All right, Gafgarion, go fight the knight. I don't know why I unzoomed my camera. It was a reflex. Uh, honestly, I think I go and finish off the knight yeah, first I think. before the archer. Oh, Rad, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. Okay, good. Perfect. That's exactly blind. what I want you to do. All right, Just now Agris will come and finish. <laughs> oh, okay, Labian. Agrius, where are you going? Agrius! Oh, she stopped. Never mind. All is well. Yeah, nope, stop's fine. Yep, stop is fine, because Gafgarian will uh, get this guy. What are you breaking? 
not sword, not sword, not sword. <laughs> I saw the break go off on Agrius, I was like, oh god. <laughs> That's the legendary seven minute Orbon. No. This is what, a 550, maybe? Uh, we're uh, already, already at about five. Yeah, we're at uh, 550 now, so. We're at 515 now? No, 550. We're, oh, okay. we're, we're so basically it's a six at second, six, now. six minutes. Okay, six minutes. Yeah. Okay, that's not too bad. That's an average church. And you know yeah, what? Average so is fine by me if it means the run gets going. All right, so uh, everybody, All right. The, get your little monies ready. <laughs> Just one more battle. <laughs> Just one more battle. The stop was really nice. That definitely saved us a good like fifteen seconds. It was a 16 12 one screen, it looks like. Oh, okay. I mean, not as cool as the first one. But we don't head <laughs> yeah, on to the past, perfect. we only look at the future. And the future is getting out of uh, Magic City Garland. <laughs> uh, keep in mind, I've done like upwards of two, 250 attempts at this. And I've never died to Garland. Never. So that that's wild. That was absolutely wild. What are some of the oh I have a story, but what is the worst way you have lost a Final Fantasy Tactics run yourself? Um okay. So in uh I don't remember which uh what it's called. Uh the tomb uh with uh Zalbag. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Holy City Morond. Yeah, Holy City Morond. Um, I didn't have scrollable uh, Orlando. Yeah. So I, on the fly, was trying a backup strat, but it required a different setup than I had. Uh, oh, no. What level was your Meludia? Uh, not a good level. <laughs> Neither of them were good. No, oh, it no. was it was worst case scenario, and I tried something that should have worked, but it required a different CT on the fight. Oh, uh, no. so I screwed it up because I didn't know that, and then I just got like one shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I'm assuming your Meluda or uh, Meludi Mel Melia Duel—that's her name, Melia Duel—was uh, level twenty-eight. Or level uh, 27 at worst. I'm going to say yes. This was legitimately eight years ago. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this, this was 2015, so... Uh, <laughs> a year or two before I started running this game. Yeah. Uh, so, my worst one already, and it happened two days ago. Oh, God. <laughs> I had a good run going. It felt real good. I got out of chapter one at, with like a 120. Ooh. And I got to Zyre Kyle Falls, and you do the normal stuff. And I did the CT3 flare like you're supposed to. Mm -hmm. And Ramza died. I'm like, okay, well, one person survived. I'm like, okay, well, you know, Delita will clean him up, right? Delita does a crush punch, brings him down to 140. Does another crush punch, brings him down to 70. Does a um, split punch with death sentence, and it brings him down to 4 HP. Because he has death sentence, I didn't save. That was bad. Uh, because he has death sentence, Delita's AI no longer attacks that enemy because it's dead in his eyes. So oh, no. I turned into a crystal. I turned into oh, a crystal. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I was just sitting there, I'm like, Delita, why? I mean, Delita, I know that you Delita. backstab your friends and you use everyone, but not like this. Yeah, it's too early in the plot. <laughs> you you, you need got me. at least another 20 minutes to backstab. <laughs> like, dang, dude. <laughs> I was just so shocked. And like, I have it on stream, too. I just sat there going, huh? Oh, I didn't move my camera. Whoops. That's okay. I can do this. Everything is fine. It looks like that was intended. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't lose any time. That's the main part. All right. She's going to move. Then I'm going to... Oh. There are two of them that have cancer. 
um, when I speak about cancer, I'm talking about the zodiac signs, by the way. And that is the worst compatibility for Ramza in this run. I will do the least amount of damage to them. And it's like, oh no, please. And I saw two of them. Oh, there's, oh boy. Oh boy. So, uh, th this is definitely the first run we've done and not the second one. Um, yeah, this is the first run. And uh, the female chemist had 66 faith, by the way. 66. Oh, good. this is already going uh, better than the first one. We've uh, we we've been talking about the camera, the movements a lot. Um, do you want to go over why that's important? In at least in chapter one, we don't care about the rest of the chapters. So any time a turn starts, if the enemy or uh, ally unit is off screen, it'll turn the camera automatically to make them in view so that you can do your action. So what we try to do to the best of our abilities is move the camera preemptively to make sure that each turn is already on screen so we don't have to deal with that. Okay, well this is already going great. Yeah, this is, uh, uh -huh. yep. Oh, uh, he's gonna get healed. Oh no, maybe not. Oh, oh, wow, let's go! Where's she at in the experience? I need to know. Uh, she is four, five actions away. Okay, so I need to do five chemist actions and then whatever uh, Ramza needs. This is actually amazing. Okay, so we're gonna leave the chemist alive. He has no weapon, so we have like no fear whatsoever of him killing anybody. But we need to make sure we kill off our units fast, including Delita, because he will try and ruin everything. Uh, I'm not going to use this chemist for anything because I want to save the potions for her so that she can do whatever she needs to. So let's see, you can heal. So we need four more actions on our chemist and then she will become a wizard. Uh, the added benefit is also that Ramza himself will be getting chemist experience from it as well. Uh, I can't reach him. That's just rude. Okay, well, I'm just going to smack you then. Heal yourself. Uh, actually, yeah, I want him to heal himself, so I want him to go away, so I can actually get the other person to die. Yeah, Del Delita ruin everything? Never. Absolutely not. He's never done that in his life. Alright, he's gonna heal himself and walk away. Perfect. One is not a prime number. <laughs> we Listen, I'm, I've definitely never made that mistake before in my life. Never. All right, so Delita's out of the picture now. Perfect, we need three more actions. You're and we get rid of Delita that. because he's a guest, and the guest oh. is going to ruin our fun. <laughs> We're not going to talk about what I just did there. I'm, I'm sure, yeah. No, I... I I mean, look, it's, it's not important. It's fine. It's fixable. <laughs> oh no, my squire died. Whatever will I do? Oh no. Oh, actually, this is kind of lame. Okay. He's going to heal him, yeah. All right, I'm going to bring him closer to my team then. That's totally fine. Uh... All right, who needs healing? You do. You get a potion. You get a potion. You get a potion. Everyone, take a potion. All right, Ramza, come over here. I just need to know... What's your experience at? Are you good? Uh, oh, my... He needs a lot of actions. So let's surround him by he with some units. Yeah, he needs uh, five actions as well. Uh, right. So the the math in the category is so it's any percent, uh, which includes math. Math is a skill in the game. Uh, it, it is a very like late game skill that we're going to get early, um, but it is a skill that allows you to target uh, everybody under certain mathematical equations with spells instantly for free instead of charged uh, spells that cost mana or MP in this. So it's just a very broken class. I'm getting some extra job point stuff going on here. Because uh, if you attack with a squire with a with Rams on your team, he gets additional squire experience. It's a little bit, but it's not nothing.
and it can help move things along faster. And it's actually what we use in the uh, next map to get him to get wizard. We use chemist experience to get him to that level two. All right. Die. Nope. Uh, can I? No, I can't go beside him. Okay, so can I heal you? Yeah. And then we'll finish him off with the chemist and the squire. What? No! This is so rude! Honestly, we're almost there. Oh, wait. Rom's got another turn. Okay, I'm going to do this. Uh, hopefully... Mm, no, I'm actually going to wait. Why did I hit quick change? Ugh. Keep in mind that there's memory in this, unlike other... Final Fantasies, where it doesn't have that by default. Where is he gonna go? He's going next to his... This is, uh... Lame. That's all I can say, it's lame. Okay. Wait, are you... You're healing, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go straight for the chemist at this point. Yeah. Needs to double check that she has it. She does, okay. Alright, do you have enough? Perfect. Alright, we're done. We just have to kill him. Oh, he's gonna heal off the freaking crystal. This is so brutal! I'm just getting really bad luck, I'm gonna be honest. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna have them wait. I'm gonna move, put him in the corner here. He has to come over here. This is one of the slowest uh, Garolins I've had in a while. Yeah, but it's gonna finish. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna finish. And we are still getting uh, extra experience because of what's going on here, so it's not too bad. Oh no, she's dead. There we go. We're done. All right. What was the time on that? It's probably like twenty uh, minutes. We're looking at like an eighteen forty-five or something. Oh, it's probably. only eighteen forty-five. Okay. Uh, I had one earlier today that took twenty-seven minutes. Jesus. It's because what? Ramza started with one twenty, and the closest person with chemist experience that I could do ideally that would be good was at one forty. <laughs> It was just awful. I'm actually going to buy an extra amount of potions, and I'm just going to sell the holy water here, because I definitely am going to run out of potions in what happened just now. Uh, I want the best faith. Uh, the best faith is... Oh, wait. Uh, it's him. Oh, no. This sucks. Okay. Oh, this is going to be something. Honestly, okay, we're just gonna recruit. I need, I need, I'm gonna find a female unit. That's better. Nope. That's better. We'll take that. So to to explain, because we haven't really talked about it, um, the faith stat. Uh, the higher the fate stat, the higher your magic damage is, which is why it's such an important stat, because in the, the early levels of the game, we need uh, mages. Yeah, we have to have them, otherwise we're not going to be able to uh, get through the beginning, honestly. 
And the reason I want females in particular is the units in the beginning game are mostly men. Uh, and it's just really uh, interesting how this game decided to make its compatibility. Also, I'm doing a glitch here called Scroll Glitch. Uh, it's neat. I can get to certain things that I'm not supposed to be able to get to uh, early on. And like this right here, I'm going to get uh, all of the bolts and ice right now. And magic attack up. And now I'm going to go to delete it real quick. Can you learn defend? Yes, you can. How nice of him. All right, uh, magic attack up. You don't... Oh, actually, can you learn a quick change just in case? That's not the right one. There it is. You are that. And then set item and set JP. Uh, item. We're going to remove our boots. We're going to put on our dagger. Best fit, not you. Uh, so to fit. explain that, um, basically, uh, the game doesn't disable. You can scroll uh, the menu by pressing like R1 and down or something, or one of the shoulder buttons. Uh, and it doesn't disable that while you're learning an ability. So you can just pick an ability you can learn and then scroll to an ability you can't learn. And then you learn that ability, which just like underflows everything. And so it just gives you max uh, JP for that class. It only works on classes that have more than one page of skills. And on top of that, it's specific on which ones will work and which ones won't. So uh, as you saw, I had ice uh, third from the bottom and then I went to go learn it. I held square, I think, and pushed up. And that brought me up to bolt two. And because I hit there, it overflowed me to have uh, quad nine JP on the actual class itself. And that's what allowed me to learn bolt, bolt two, bolt three, ice, ice two, ice three, and magic attack up. But if I were to do ice on a weird spot and like, let's see, land on poison, I would just lose all my <laughs> JP. And then I wouldn't be able to continue. <laughs> Thank you. We uh, made it out of the hardest part of the game, apparently. <laughs> right. I can't... Oh, wow. You're playing through a really hard challenge. Yeah, FFT 1.3 is really interesting. If you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend it. Also, wait. Can we talk about the fact there's someone in chat named Wygriff? <laughs> 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 Alright, we're safety saving, by the way. Twenty-three. Okay, more. that's not too bad. It's not too bad with the start that we had. All right. Uh, you go here. You go here. I'm a little scared of how this run's gonna go, just because of the fact I have kind of like two mid-tier faith mages, but they are both female, which is really good in my favor. I'm just a guy who really likes FFT. Yo, same. Same. I've been playing this game since, uh, when, when did it come out? 98, 99, 99? 97. 97. 97 in Japan, 98 in America, right? Uh, for sure. I don't know. Look, I just, I just, I just Googled the release date, but there and copy pasted. I think I got the game given to me in 99, and I've had that same copy since. Uh, January 28th, 98 in NA. Hey, you are yo. Oh, it was a birthday present for me. That makes sense. I got it late on my birthday, so that makes a lot of sense. Please. Please. Don't do the thing. He didn't crit. He didn't crit. Okay. You're okay. safe. <laughs> Everything is great. Algus didn't crit. I don't have to hit the reset. We're good. We don't have to load up the safety save. <laughs> we can continue the run. Uh, I don't like that he hit the thief. I'd rather he hit the squire, because if he kills the squire, everyone lines up perfectly. All right, this guy here. Is he going to ruin my day? Kassim, don't do it. Thank you. Thank you! Ugh, Kassim, just being an actual lad. All right, so Ooh. we're just going to queue up Bolt 2 here, because I can't see what the damage is going to do. We don't know if he has a bad compatibility or not. All right, and... Just YOLO. That's perfect amount of damage. He won't heal off of that, so now we can make sure that Algus and Delita die in the same round of turns. Alright, Algus is going to move into the perfect spot. We need Algus to be in this spot in particular, 
because the way that AI works in this game for enemies is that if they can't reach you in, what is it, like two turns or one turn, one turn, th sometimes they'll just give up and just stand yeah. there. They'll just look at you and be like, I'll get you one day, I'll get you one day. And because Algus's body will never turn into a crystal or a chest, they just stand there thinking to themselves, I'll get you one day. So we use that to grind. As you can see, Delita didn't heal himself because of the damage, but we have it perfectly set so that he won't. And he also won't heal Algus because Algus isn't underneath 50% either. So now we're just going to use Ramza and this chemist here to just finish him off. How much exp uh, GP did I have on the chemist? Was it 130 or 140? I know I'm, I have to do at least like six actions, I think. It was 130. Okay, so seven actions. And now Delita is out of the picture as well. So now we don't have anyone trying to resurrect or heal anybody. Because if you leave Delita alive, he'll resurrect Algus, and that ruins... Oh, I did not want to stop there. Oh well. I'm talking, that's why. Uh, I still have a chance to hit him because he defended. Alright, bolt. Yeah, you're just, you're just going to die to the bolt. Alright, and the damage is looking okay. And now we start our grind. From here, we're just going to be beating up on each other, and then every now and then when we run low, we're going to use a potion on each other. I took about 20 potions just for safety because of the fact I had to recruit. I didn't know how much... Uh, JP I'm going to need. Also, I haven't taken a look to see how much JP Ramza needs, which is going to be a big factor, because that's what's going to make it take as long as it's going to. So don't we hit again. She hits again. I have her with Phoenix down, which is a benefit, so if she accidentally kills Ramza, we're fine. Because I had them uh, critting the other day. And they did 32 damage. Uh, all right, so we're gonna heal. No, nope, that's wish. We don't want to wish. Mm -mm, bad. Slow, slow, slow. Can you grind XP from hitting friendlies in Tactics Ogre? I don't know about Tactics Ogre, but in this game you can. We're just gonna heal each other. There we go. Oh, I should actually equip change her weapon. I think she's wearing a Mithril Dagger right now. Uh, I'm actually gonna grab that crystal. Because then I don't have to use an ether. Alright, quick change. Mithril knife into dagger. There we go. And now I have MP to get rid of that cat later. Is that level 3? I need to know, because last time I... Yeah, it's level 3, okay. So we're trying to get to level four squire because the way it'll work is once we get to level four, we can count six to seven actions and we'll have enough uh, job points that we need to buy two skills that we'll use for the rest of our grinding in the next three, four maps. Yeah, four maps. All right, this is perfect. The cat's where I want him to be. Now I'm going to stand here and now he's going to just give up. And that's so much better damage. 12 is better than 18. Or we're 16. We're 16. Uh, this game was never on Game Boy Advance. You're thinking of normal tactics. Or normal tactics. You're thinking of I, tactics I, advance. I, You're thinking yeah, of tactics I, advance. I, I, <laughs> this is, we have levels of difficulty. You broke my brain there for a minute. <laughs> we have levels of difficulty with our tactics here, okay? We have good tactics, this one. We have good tactics, tactics advance two. Then we have that tactics, <laughs> which is tactics advance. But where there's War of the Visions fit into this? War of the Visions, uh, that is a tactics game. You're correct. I don't want it to be, but it is. Is it Ramza a character in that game too? Uh, yeah, it, I mean, it, it, it's like all the Final Fantasy characters, but it's just it's just a gotcha game. It's just a gotcha ball. Just checking something real quick. Chemist, I need oh a lot more actions. Okay, good to know. Probably like seven actions. Let's 
so. Which is fine because, oh, no, we're not equip changing. Because I need to do a bunch of actions to get to level four squire anyway. Which we haven't hit yet. So this part here is the speed is dependent on how much JP you need to farm and how much each person needs is in their overflow. If uh, Ramza is already overflowed, you don't have to worry about that. You just get level two on the chemist and then just do your squire grinding off of her. However, we need a lot of stuff. So she's going to be hitting us a lot. Oh, that crit. Huh. <laughs> I definitely uh, twitched a little bit seeing it. So there's level four. Yeah. Now we start counting. You have Phoenix Downs, right? I have three Phoenix Downs, yes. Five. It's the worst I could have. Everything. Everything could happen. What do you mean? Don't say <laughs> yeah. that. The game hears you. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I'm in another country, but no, I'm not. <laughs> oh, nope, just attack her. Oh! Stop! <laughs> I can't handle the Chris! <laughs> just the noise, it's like, uh, uh. It's such a good noise when it's not on your own team. <laughs> yes, exactly. And it's, uh,. I've never been so terrified of a noise before. I have also, uh, I think I'm on two actions, so this is action number three. On um, Ramza, you should be on three. Well, it should be four. Yeah, so four, uh, and we have wizards, so we can stop attacking with her. Unless I somehow failed counting. This is, uh, I think I saw 460 something, so like that is three actions. I might have double counted. Ah, uh, well, you know. This is why I needed you to tutor me in math. Yes, yes, yes. One, one, two, three, four. BT <laughs> <laughs> three player. Okay, that should be enough to draw points right there. Yeah, we're done. You're done. Here we go, and now we can move on with the rest of the run. I don't think we have really anything scary until... Uh, right. Sandrat Cellar, Sandrat Cellar, because then, the guard, then. the knights there can guard. Oh, same this with... This one's uh, on Dorder. you. And I Dorder. jinxed it first, you jinxed it second. <laughs> I'm, I'm making safety saves, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> there is no worry there whatsoever. Safety saves galore. We make sure this run finishes. <laughs> You all need to know that this game is great, but also it's cruel and will show you just every single way it'll no, make no, you cry. No, no, please no. Please no. We, there's not enough time. There's not enough time in the world. <laughs> You're just sitting there asking the gods of Lukavi, please, bear me. <laughs> <laughs> All My right. graphs, please don't one-shot me at what right means. Luckily, he can't. Like, that one's consistent. Like, you just follow the path that's told to you, and you don't mess up. What is it? CT3, uh... CT3 Holy. Because he's... I mean, no, it's not CT3. It's, a. Uh, I think it's actually, like, level prime or something. One of those. And then later on, it's... Oh, no, it's level prime, a flare, twice on Bellius. And I think, yeah, it's CC3 Holy on Bygriff. I, so you, you've you obviously run this more recently than me. My brain is telling me it's level 5 Holy. It could be level 5. I know it's Holy first, and then it's the uh, flares after. Thankfully, there's notes. Yeah, I have my notes here to catch me because sometimes the math blends together. You need <laughs> When you're doing your math homework, make sure you have your formulas open. How are you supposed to su succeed if you don't know which one you're using? <laughs> CT3 player! <laughs> what more do you want from me? Sent all my good units on a bounty outside Goog. Did not 
no. Oh, no. I'd get ambushed leaving. No one I had was good enough to actually fight with. Only one save. It was bad. No. Oh, That's you're talking brutal. about the Mustadio fight. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh no! That's, yep. that's brutal. I also did something similar. I saved on the city after the cutscene, and then I tried to oh. leave. And I, I had to use big brain. I had the big brain, but that's okay because that file ended up dying anyway to uh, Y Griff in Ryovana's castle. Because it's like, do you want to save? You're like, yes, I do want to save before this boss fight. Do you want to save in a place that you can't leave? No, too bad. <laughs> yeah this game teaches you save all the time On i think everyone slots. has done it it is a rite of passage in final fantasy tactics to lose your save file to y Griff. all right so we actually do a save here in the run normal because what we are doing here is we're skipping encounters we don't want encounters they're bad they're slow and uh also they're random we don't want random. We already have enough random elements as it is. And we got lucky. All right, time to do some menuing. Oh, I need to sell some things because I am... Oh, perfect. Potions. Yeah, here. I'm low on money because of what we had to do earlier. All right, formation. Change job. Priest. Wizard, chemist, BS defense, take it off. He doesn't, okay. All right, we got everything on him. Next is her. Nope, you learn, learn the bolt. <laughs> All right, uh, I need to set some things. So we're going to set guts. We're going to set magic attack up. That's already set. Now we got to order our items. Uh, we're going to remove all your stuff. We're going to remove all this. Uh, best, best, best. How to utilize the Zotto potion, unless the route has changed significantly, not? Zero. Yeah, okay. Use it. <laughs> yeah, do I'm not saying. It might be in the other run, but not this one. Okay, the 24 yeah. goes in front. Oh, they both have 26 MP. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. Oh, man. What did I miss that they have this much EXP? True, Monk is a really cool class, and then you find Ninja, and you learn that you can attack twice, and you're like, oh, this is it. This is what I was meant to be. All right, I'm going to do these cameras perfectly, and we should only have one forced camera movement on the black goblin over there. Or as I used to call it, the purple goblin. Because I don't understand how purple, the color, is supposed to be the other color. Perfect. Okay. I mean, so that forward. always bugged me, because that looks purple to me. It is purple. Yeah, right? Perfect first turn. There was no dropped inputs. All right, L1. L, R, L, L. That's what it is. So here I should have a forced camera by the uh, goblin happening right now. We hit L1. And now it's the bomb's turn. And we hit L1 again. Hopefully he moves into the proper spot. He did. Now we have no extra forced cameras in this turn. Uh, we only use yell like uh, up to 19 speed, I believe, and then we switch to accumulate because then we get three turns consistent. And accumulate has a fast uh, animation. Yes, but if we don't do those yells, accumulate will cap out and you won't get experience. All right, that cat's gonna take a turn now. Oh, I did it wrong. No, sometimes it'll move two spaces, sometimes it won't. It all depends on how it feels today. Alright. So the cat is scared of water, so we use that to our advantage and stay in the water. And don't let it get near us. It thinks the, the water is lava to it. Alright. 
Accumulate has a cap to the max strength stat. So if you use it, let's say you have five strength, you use it 94 times. Any other time you use it after that, you will not get any uh, credit for it. All right, so we're going to use Yell three more times, and then we're going to do Accumulate up to level three uh, Priest, and then we're going to do four more, punch our units, and then Accumulate until four, Accumulate one more time, and then after that, go punch the cat. And that should get us level four with 600 job points for Holy, which we're going to need for the run. This is our third Yell, yeah? I should be at 12 speed. I'm going to double check because I'm unsure. Yes. <laughs> All right, so it's accumulate spam time. So sometimes your job levels can hide in actual levels. So after a couple accumulates here, if I don't get a job level up, I'm going to go check to see if I've got it. To make sure everything is all good. That way I'm not wasting turns. There it is, that's level two. So now we're just gonna get to level three. Do you like my menuing for accumulate? Your menuing is on point. I say that as I mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your menuing sucks. My menuing sucks. I have to not believe in you, and then yes. you'll be fine. Exactly. I like your menuing is absurd to me. Uh, I have to check now. Level three. Yep, I knew it. It hit it on the level. So uh, that was a case in point of what happens right there. So now we're gonna do four, uh, three more of these after that one, and punch our own unit. So two more. Wait, was that level four? Huh? Wait a minute. Wh what? When did I get level? Did I start at level two? I clearly. Okay. Well, we're done. Uh, um, it is much faster. Yeah. Uh, because the animation frames. So we yell to 12 speed in this one and then just accumulate spam. All right, so we're going to change the Black Mage. It's a big menu. Just change the Black Mage and move to Dorder. We're going to do a save here, though, after that, because this uh, fight can go bad, because the knight hates us. All right. Yeah, so uh, Accumulate has a much shorter animation time than Yell, so just making sure to use that as much as possible over Yell is better. However, there are some cases where we need to Yell a certain amount so that we actually make good use of our Accumulates later. Like when we're doing our final calculator grind. Calcular? Calculator grind. Calcular. New word, guys! All right, so I need the. Ma I, sh I, I All right, I'm, I'm gonna finish this joke since I started it, but I'm not in a position to be making fun of you for this. So oh, I need the math homework. You need the pronunciation homework, and I've flubbed more than you today, so I don't know why I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm a linguist in the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> Time to RNG break your fave mithril equipment. Wait, that'd be so cool. I remember when my first time playing, I was so confused in how the casting works, missing all my spells and some. Oh no! Yeah, if you didn't cast them on units, it would just sit there. And the other thing that my friend didn't know is that you can cast on unit or panel, and he kept doing panel. Yeah, it's your oh, boy! Oh no! Yeah, he kept doing panel. And it's like, why is it never hitting? And I'm like, first of all, take a look at the turn order by pushing uh, right. And they're like, oh. And second of all, unit. <laughs> So just some more finagling of the camera. We're going to hopefully kill off this knight really quickly. I did not want to do that turn yet. Luckily, I can fix it. Oh, okay. Uh, 
Uh, this game is much better than Tactics Advance. The animations don't take two minutes to go off for one attack. For one attack. Mm -hmm. For one attack. <laughs> the, like, ten minutes of grinding that we use, like, almost 90 accumulates with? Why are you first? What? This is yes, weird. You, you can... You, you can cast on unit. <laughs> That is weird. Oh no, I don't. Yeah, actually, I do want you to go there. That was the weirdest thing. Wait, what is happening? Uh, no, I just want to use ice. I swear you didn't mess up. I didn't mess up any menus or anything. Yeah. They all have their movement boots. Okay. She just needs to land her bolt three. No! Mm, the shield! The legendary guarded! So remember when I said that bad things could happen? They did. <laughs> oh, and he could hit uh, Ramza here and cause a game over. We're about to find out. Ugh, gross. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to just do my best. Okay, Roms can be a coward, right? Can I kill you with a normal bolt? Nope, I have to use bolt too. Can I get away from him? That's the question. Let's just see. Can I kill with ice? Yes. This is scary. You would go after her. Okay, this is actually savable. Just to make sure he dies, two of them are casting. <laughs> Okay. Oh. We did it, guys. We did it. We used movement against them. All right. Now I'm going to put everyone in their spot. I'm actually going to move this person up. Because I don't want the archer to get near Ramza. Yeah, come over here. Perfect. I'm going to make sure they come here. Because I know that they can take one more hit from the archer here. And then we got the loot back. Ooh, that was scary. So like I said, Dorder could uh, just decide to be a jerk. Because they just guard the spell. I move this person here because the camera moves less this way. Yes. I didn't see, but I think I might have gotten level 2 already. So after I get the next level, I'll check. Because if I got level 3, I need to just do 4 accumulates after that. You know, actually, this is nice. Because Rams is in uh, critical, he's not moving up to do his animation. That's true. This is the speed strat. It was all according to Keikaku. <laughs> <laughs> Translator note, um, Kaku means plan. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, for anybody uh, who might not be familiar with this uh, level, and uh, you're confused why this archer is standing in melee range and not backing up to shoot anybody with an arrow, for some reason, this archer does not have a ranged weapon. In fact, I don't think he has any weapon, right? Nope, he just fights with his fists. Yeah, uh-huh. Alright, 
uh, two more accumulates, and then I punch my wizard, and then accumulate to level four, and then punch the archer. I get my revenge for wasting my time. I think almost all the maps have had something bad happen except for Squeaky Woods. Yep. Don't jinx it. Oh, Squeaky Woods already happened. No, I mean, don't jinx the further I brought the uh, maps. <laughs> There's still time for not every map to be scuffed. <laughs> Listen. Except Swing. <laughs> you're, you're not wrong. There it is. All right. Bonk. And we're level nine. That's nice. Okay. We got a menu to do. Make sure we're... Okay, so we're changing Ramza to Time Mage. We're learning Holy, we're uh, scrolling Oracle, we're scrolling Time Mage, and then we're putting on Teleport, and then we're going to Best Fit Algus, and then we're going to put Battle Boots on Delita. And then we're going to put a Linen Robe on one of our female units, the one with the highest faith. That's the menu. I know that off by heart. I don't even know if we're going to make it to 4 hours and 30 minutes and we've been getting really bad luck. Might be 4.50, I'm going to be honest. Let's be real here. No, look, so here's what you need to do, right? You yep. need to get the legendary... Agris um, first try? I mean, okay. You need to get a lot of things first try, but I, I was <laughs> going to say, you need to get the Mandalia random, uh, what is, what is it, like 1 in uh, 800 for the single goblin? I got that yesterday, so it's over. <laughs> You're like, why would well, you tell right. me this? All right, what are the odds of you getting the one in eight hundred or whatever it is two days in a row? Uh, very, very low, honestly. Wrong. It's fifty-fifty. Either you do or you don't. <laughs> Moving on. Alright, uh, we want this to be on the floor, right? Yeah, reflect, yep. Quick, Demi, duh. Uh, don't move. And then haste to teleport. Nope, we need short charge. Thank you. Alright, teleport. Now items. Best fit, equip. Battle boots. And then, uh, who has the best faith? You do. Did you like that menu? That was pretty good. That was a pretty good menu. Chat brings up another great point. No, what? no encounters from Limberry to Egros. Yeah, the Igris trek. Uh. All right, you go here, Ramza. You go here. You go here. I just realized one of my uh, wizards is the exact same zodiac as Ramza. I don't want that. I don't want that. One shot them in, yeah. All right. I'm just gonna hope that the knights are nice to me. They don't block all of my magic. Or if they do, they go up and kill Algus for me while I clean them up. Ooh, that easy. is also very acceptable. Exactly. Anything that that ends with Algus on the ground is good in my books. <laughs> So, as you can see, there's three knights here. They all have shields. They all have a chance to say, your magic is no good here. And then we've got Hulk Hogan over here. Hello? <laughs> uh, okay. Those are some nice cameras. Come on, train. Oh. All right, pull three. Uh, I'm going to do you first, and then you are going to get the other. Uh, no, pull three. Okay, and here we go. Please be nice to me. Let's watch. Oh, he's defending. That's not bad. 
Again. Oh! Okay, this isn't too bad, honestly. It can still be cleaned up. Or Algus can do the best thing and actually hit him and kill him. Yes! I'm legitimately in awe. <laughs> oh, he did the thing! I cannot believe Algus just walked up and slapped that man. <laughs> oh, and he moved in for the magic. How nice of him. Okay, so I just need to do a normal bolt, I think. Yeah, just a bolt. Because I need Algus to die to a bolt as well. Because he's going to come towards the mages because the monk is over here. Yeah, Algus being useful for once. The only good deed he's ever done in his life. Everything else, hmm. Oh, where are you going, Algus? Where are you going? No, 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 come back here, you. We're not done with you. In fact, actually, no, we are done with you. Level two, okay. Uh, I didn't see what the monk zodiac sign is, so let's find that out in a second here. He is a... Okay, perfect. He is a Sagittarius, which is neutral for me. So, six accumulates is perfect enough. Okay. So this grind was a lot better than all of the other ones so far. Yeah, this one went pretty clean. Uh, yeah, everything kind of just fell into place, and Algus actually did something. Which legitimately never happens. It never happens. Uh, a lot of the dupes and the bugs happen fixed, yes. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> yes. Uh, I have a feeling that this level is going to hide my job of love, so let's see. What did, oh, I didn't. I'm actually surprised. There it is. Alright, next turn he dies. If the teleport works. It didn't. <laughs> Classic. Rip. Classic. It's like, what, 62%? Based on that distance? Yeah. 62 should be right. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed! <laughs> hit, hit, hit! Please. <laughs> so please hit. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, the way teleporting works in this game is it is a so you can always 100% move within your uh, move uh, speed uh, with teleporting, and then after that, you your chance of succeeding in the movement decreases by uh, how far you are moving away. So it's like 62% for that range to teleport to that tile successfully. You want to know why I turned? Uh, panic. Because <laughs> I missed. <laughs> And then I missed again. <laughs> there were both 80% chances to hit, by the way, so I lost a 4 and 5 twice. <laughs> but at least I got that teleport. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I wonder how you get the level range so Rum doesn't mess up the rest of the band. Oh, don't worry. Oof, you'll see soon. It's coming up very, very shortly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope we have a great topic to talk about for that part. It's going to take a while. Uh, you know, I, I'm sure we can figure something out. Uh huh. <laughs> we can talk about the past things that have we can happened. talk about any of the lore of the game because we're an hour in. We haven't said a thing. <laughs> True. Um, well, no, I need Linden Curious. What am I doing? Which, to be fair, the beginning of the game is like 90% menus. Uh, which is also the rest of the game, but it's important menus. I- okay, hold on. 
I I think if only Algus dies, then Delita doesn't have to. <laughs> Algus doesn't or er, uh, Delita doesn't become super evil if Algus is gone. Yeah, uh, if Algus never existed, oh my god, I can't hit the menu. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Or if Delita just let Ramza punch him in the face <laughs> repeatedly. All right, which one is it? Oh, it's this one. Perfect. Oh, we got the first one. Interesting. Okay, you're doing this before you groups. I guess I'm, it doesn't you, you really do matter, it, right? Uh, it doesn't matter, yeah, but it's actually... Yeah. Uh, if you already get the encounter, you might as well. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's see. I don't want to see Ares, Cancer, or Libra on that go golem. Goblin? Is that the one encounter goblin? No, okay. I told you! Okay, well, no, never mind. I There's a chocobo. Yeah. There's only two goblins and a chocobo, though. It's still a pretty good one. Yeah, it's really good. Alright, this chocobo's dead. Gafgarion is the worst trader. He is really bad at his job, to be honest. Like, he trails around with the people, and he's like, oh, they're going after the princess. They want to protect the princess. Instead of killing them off in the woods, where which would have been the easiest place to get rid of them, he goes with them to the princess and Delita. And then it's like, all right, now I'm turning tables. Huh? Sir? <laughs> I also thought it was the one I was really hoping. Uh, I'm going to do a wait. Same with her. Because, yeah, it's their turn next. Gaff isn't a trainer. He's a mercenary. Yeah, exactly. He goes where the guild goes, but he's also bad at his job. Because he doesn't know how to weigh proper, like, protection. He's like, ah, was this going to be in the best of my interest, knowing that this person has literally killed everything in his path, and I've also fought with him and know that things are scary? All right. One goblin left. Perfect. He lived? I'm sorry? <laughs> he did what now? Uh, I believe too. what happened is the goblin lived on like one. <laughs> yeah. Seven, okay. uh, no, he, he, he's coming to die. He going to die. I don't care if it's bolt die. Weegriff is the best character. The only reason he turns on you is because at first he wants revenge for his sister, which admirable, he put his family before everything else. Like, dude's just like, you know what? Th this thing is not worth it anymore. I've lost so much. And then he loses his sister and he's like, okay, wow, this really sucks. Where am I? Why am I stuck? <laughs> I'm gonna move forward and get ready to put him to sleep so he doesn't hurt my people. Actually, I need to check that. Nope. There we go. Do you mind coming over here, sir? Yeah, just come on over here. Oh yeah, the lever fight where you're by yourself as Ramza. Well, you're gonna love that in the speed run because it's gonna make you feel real good. All right, I just need you to sleep. Can you sleep? Yeah. Oh no, you can't sleep. Okay, never mind. Uh, we're just gonna. Yeah. Oh, cool. We're done. Never mind. Uh, I don't care. Kill me if you wish. Oh, <laughs> it's not even your turn. Never mind. Why? 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 What is this? <laughs> I'm punching you. <laughs> <laughs> Your, uh, your damage rolls are, uh... <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, you can unequip Gafgarian before he leaves the party, but the second time you meet him, he has the Blood Sword. We actually unequip him in Zyre Kyle Falls as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I can, uh, hit the cutscene. Alright. Do you want to do, uh, do you want to do a break before or after our grind here? <laughs> I think... It's best to do the break after the grind, because everyone's going to feel tired after the grind. 
<laughs> Joke's on you. I feel tired right now. Oh, no. <laughs> you know what I'm going to get? I'm going to get me that bean juice. I'm going to get me <laughs> food. Food? That's food. Like gonna You're going to turn energy from food? Good idea. This game is not <laughs> getting up easy. Yeah, exactly. What's my time at right now? Uh, 105, 106, oh. basically. Oh, that's so bad. We are not finishing under 130 for this chap uh, chapter one, that's for sure. <laughs> I, if you were planning on finishing the entire game under 130, I've got a lot of questions. Chapter one, <laughs> chapter one. <laughs> I had a 120 chapter one the other day. Where'd that go? All right. <laughs> you, you wasted it. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, yep, that's fine. And we just save. Just in case we get a bad encounter. Are we all ready for the fun that is calculator grinding? If we can get the encounter? There we go. <laughs> All right, one okay. goblin, one oh. goblin. Uno goblin, por favor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the last time we will see Mandalia Plains. All of our encounters for the extras that we needed, uh, we're on Mandalia. Oh, there's a cat and a chocobo beside me. There's a chat, uh, cat and a chocobo beside me! And a cat and a goblin over there! And a chocobo and a goblin! Oh, it's the worst one! Oh. Oh. Yeah, this is, uh, suboptimal. You're telling me. Alright, chocobo, get over here. Don't touch Ramza! No! Alright. I just need to see the damage. You will die, and you will die. Okay, let me do this. Okay, it died. Alright! Very good. We just have to kill a goblin and a cat. And that cat moved already, so I can kill the cat with this mage right here. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, bolt. Oh my god, he got a turn finally! The legend! I'm not playing Triangle Strike in the view castle. Not yet. Uh, people keep talking about it, and I'm like, I'll get to it eventually. Eventually. Uh, yeah. I just have so many games that I actually have to play, and it's just like, keep adding more onto them is a bad idea. Okay. Bell Seal Arbiter's Mark is another really good game that is very similar to this, if anybody is interested and has time. Yes! All right. Oh, good. No. You're, you're aimed. He's aimed where I want him to be. Yeah, we're just gonna go here, and it's time to say goodnight, my friends, to the white, uh, the black mages. Look, gonna look into each other's eyes as they go. <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna fix my camera. All right, Goblin's gonna hit me once, but that's fine. 
All right, guys, it's time to grind. We're going to use the same thing that we did to that archer and dorter to this goblin here. But we also need more speed. All right, everybody, I hope you, uh... Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. <gasps> oh my god, okay, I saved it. No, he's gonna move! Oh, wait, no, it's okay, it's okay. I somehow accidentally auto-battled. That's uh, you're oh. scaring me, buddy. Oh. Hello? Alright. How do you stop auto battle? Uh 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 um start uh 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 triangle? Oh, oh my god. That was the most terrifying thing of my life. I fat fingered my movement. I'm gonna take this crystal and heal. Yeah. Yes, please, please, dear God. Oh. I don't want you missing three punches in a row and oh. somehow. <laughs> it's triangle, by the way. If you want to stop my auto battle, it was triangle. <laughs> I was panicking going through my mind. It's like triangle, right? Start. I don't know. Cause triangle brings up all the menus. So yeah, yeah. yeah. <gasps> All right. Next, uh, so what I did is I didn't up input early, and that's what happened. Whoops! I accumulated for some reason. I wanted to look at my status. Okay, I need eight more uh, yells. <gasps> the wizards died. Yes, valiantly. They got hit by a rogue bolt two from themselves. It was really weird. They were having a shocking uh, revelation. <laughs> but they realize that their job is over and that their work here is done. And unlike Tuxedo Mask, they actually did something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. All right. We're in the spot we're supposed to be now. <laughs> so, what I was trying to say before <laughs> Casa took us on a wild ride was I hope everybody's comfy because we're going to be here for a little bit. <laughs> we, we've got to get very angry. <laughs> we've got lots of things to yell. Just two more times after this. <laughs> I'm just here to make everyone scream, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, how can Casa scare us every time? RNG, accidentally auto battling. I. <laughs> I right. You know, if I had a bingo card for things that could have gone wrong this, uh, this run, I would not have put accidentally auto battling <laughs> on the bingo card, okay? <laughs> So we're going to yell until level 21.8, then punch the goblin. Other way, we're going to accumulate. Oh, right, yeah. We're going to yeet. We're going to, uh, we're going to charge these red particles. Mm -hmm. And for the first time in the game ever, and probably in your life, you're going to see, uh, triple nine damage. Because most of the time people play this game, they get to the end of the game, and the most they see is maybe like 300 damage. Even uh, even if you do the optional uh, and get to uh, serpent, it, it's Serpentius in this version, right? I think they changed it. But even if you get there, it's only like 400 damage, I think. Unless he uses Zodiac, which never happens. I've never seen a Zodiac in my life. <laughs> I still have a file that has the Zodiac summon on my summoner. Hell yeah! Pro Speed Gamer making <laughs> even the grinding segment more interesting than it should be. <laughs> so, um, right now, uh, we are grinding for experience and jump points. Yes, because Calculator only has one page of skills, therefore we can't scroll glitch. Okay. But we would still need the experience anyway. 
because uh, otherwise we would die to just one shots all around. Mm -hmm. uh, we need five point uh, eight levels, yeah, and then we can punch the guy. Uh, I kind of timed it. It's about three. It's average three levels per two minutes. Really not bad, to be perfectly honest. But after this, the world becomes our oyster. All of those fights that you sat there going, I hated this as a kid. They all become trivial. They become fun. You get to play as a Lukavi. Until the Lita death sentences the last person Listen, alive. Listen, no! <laughs> <laughs> he could have just crush punched, okay? But no, he had to split punch and ruin everything. Also, Until, like, how did Ovelia not know Raze? Come on. Right? She knows Until... Emma Barrier, but not freaking Raze? Hello? That, honestly, that seems weird to me. <laughs> She's like, oh, you need to protect me? Let me just show you this really OP spell. It's like, oh, that's awesome. Uh, can I have that? It's like, yeah, you can. For 650 job points or something like that. It's like, ugh. We're already at level 18. Just We're schmoovin' now that things are going right. Oh. We're good. Ignore the oop. I feel like by the end of this, you're gonna hear me say oop, and you're just gonna twitch. You're gonna be like, oh. What happened? It's like, what happened now? It's like, don't worry about it. Yeah, you get uh, both EXP and JP. There's a variety of spells that's going to be used. Flare is going to be the main one, and then you're going to see Holy uh, after that. And then and both three, both threes. Both three! And don't move and Demi! Right, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. That the, That's much lighter. It's literally the final fight! Mm -hmm. <laughs> we get them now for later. Completely later. Alright, we're level 19, almost 20. We're getting there. Uh, that honestly is one of my favorite strats. It's so funny, actually. <laughs> it's Can I amazing. script this part? Well, since I'm playing on a console, no. <laughs> That would not work out well. <laughs> that would be Taz, yeah. I don't think we have a Taz list, do we? I know we have our, like, chest jerk segmented, which is, like, absurd. It's like a three hour run. You could not Taz tactics because there's too many random factors. You say you, that! You would have to make it, like, the ideal conditions, uh, level by level. Because, like, what happens if it, uh, encounters an encounter on Egg Strike? Does it know what to do? No. <laughs> it hits the reset button! It hits the reset button and then cries because it doesn't know what to do well, from there. <laughs> so, was- so, okay. But wasn't there a theory that was either proved and or not proved? Um, that it depended on how many frames done, you were on. <laughs> didn't it, didn't it, like, so, like, I, I, I know this was specifically for the egress walk, but wasn't it, like, if you're on the map for a certain amount of frames, when you click egress, it'll go through? Yeah, yeah. So you just it, pass that weird. every single time. Alright, so I'll do this menu and then we can go on break. Alright, ability, learn, calculator. Uh, we gotta change our job to black mage. I should have went right, but I didn't because I'm cool like that. Uh, and then ability set. We're gonna put math and magic attack up. Alright, and it's break time. All so right. everybody get up, shake yourself up. We're going to take a little bit of a break. Come back. Yeah, what Cassa said. 
<laughs> Just a quick reminder before you all go, though, uh, your subs, Prime Gaming subs, Gift subs, and Bitch Cheered on the GQ Twitch channel do help support the Games on Quick Hotfix, so if you like the content you're watching right now, uh, if you like watching uh, Casa Auto Battle for, uh, for, <laughs> for fun, <laughs> or any of our other daily shows, uh, it does really help us uh, put on these content, so if you would consider subscribing, it would really help us. That said, we'll be back in a few minutes for uh, more of the run. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games on Quick Hot Fix. We are doing a Final Fantasy Tactics showcase. Uh, we are in the middle of a Final Fantasy Tactics run. Uh, whenever you're ready to go. All right, here I go into Thieves Fort. <laughs> I miss something during the break. I don't know. <laughs> I miss something, but I'm all for it. Oh, <laughs> uh, we just had ourselves a lovely Kermit session. It's okay. Oh, I figured out I can do something with my uh, my my uh, echo here. One second. <clears throat> Ready? Uh huh. <laughs> You're welcome. I, I leave you unsupervised for a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so we got calculator. We swapped, uh, switched to black mage because it has a better speed. And uh, now we can uh, just unleash math. On this one, it's height three, bolt three. It's perfect because I am not on that height. Therefore, I have nothing to worry about. So it's height three, bolt three, and we are done. Oh, you can't leave Casa and I alone, Church. It is true. You will leave out of control. <laughs> the worst part is I didn't even get dinner. I just you didn't get snacks. dinner. I got my bean juice. Bean. <laughs> <laughs> I got to stand up. That's the worst. I got so much energy back from it. <laughs> Everything <laughs> makes sense now. Coffee and standing up. <laughs> yes. Normally during a speed run, like, you don't get breaks. What do you mean? Yeah. You sit there and you're married to that screen until you're done. That's beans. Except for, like, during the. Is it chapter two or chapter three? Which is like. Chapter three two and three. Ch well, one of them is, like, much longer, isn't it? I think it's chapter two. Yeah. yeah I was like, okay, I need to go pee now. I have to go. I'll be back later. I'm on the way to the bathroom. I will see you in the two minutes. <laughs> All right. We have to do a safety save. Because uh, we no longer want encounters. Ever again. Ever. But not randoms. We kind of need the other encounters. Story beats are different than just encounters now. Now we count every encounter that loses us 36 seconds. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Now count it with me, everyone. One encounter. Hoo hoo hoo. Two encounter. Hoo hoo hoo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Watch, I'm going to hit this first one right away. It's going to set the tone. <laughs> I mean, you're going to hit it twice because you already counted two. Uh, 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 wait, no. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I'm not happy about encounters. <laughs> Don't take that as any means that I am. I know this BGM from Final Fantasy XIV. He, yeah! They like remade it, didn't they? Or no, no, they just fully ported it. Ignore the in-game time. We left it on during the break. I told you. I told you. <laughs> ah! We soft reset so that we don't have to fight it because random encounters are bad. It's very slightly redone. Ah, I see. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Let me in. I'm just, I'm just hoping I was wrong about the two encounter thing. I don't want to be the one jinxing it. What is up with Mendalia today? It has a vengeance. All right, we made it. All right, there's no more encounters for the rest of chapter one. Allegedly. 
No, there is no factual. more because there's a factual. cut scene that's yeah. factual. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's, I can't jinx it. If, if that cutscene doesn't trigger, uh, it's not on me. <laughs> All right, we are an hour and twenty-five minutes in. Do you want to talk about the story at all? <laughs> Hi, my name is Ronza. I'm a kid thrown into the middle of a political feud between my brothers who hate life and my dad who wants me to stay the same as him. Everyone else around me seems to think that everything's fine just letting people die left, right, and center. And also manipulating everyone around me. Isn't that wonderful? I, however, will not be that. But I am that because Delita manipulates me instead. Welcome to Final Fantasy Tactics. This is a case study by Ramza Beu. I'm not gonna lie, that was actually really good. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty much this game in a nutshell. I'm obviously making it more simplistic than it actually is. It has a very, very deep and rich lore. And if like you Absolutely. do all the side quests and everything, you learn so much about the world. But on paper, they, they made a skeleton of like four bullet points. It's like, Ram's a good guy. Delita, control good guy. Everyone else, against good guy. <laughs> and then the fourth point is, oh yeah, also Saint Ajora's a thing. The current day Ramza is an ass. Are you talking about the the not Beul Ramza, the feeder Ramza? Well, we haven't got there yet. There's still three chapters before. <laughs> uh, why did I go to formation? What the heck? I really just wanted to form an opinion. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, it wasn't the wrong opinion. That was the best summation of, the, of this game I've ever heard. Perfect. I did my job. Isn't Cloud in this game? So is Balthier. So is Luso. From the last run we just watched. Yep. Uh-huh. There's so many characters in this game. Why? Who knows? <laughs> Don't ask questions! <laughs> History will tell you that they were roommates. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> History will tell you that they were roommates. Valdair and Luso? <laughs> it's just a bad meme. Especially because okay. the history of Final Fantasy Tactics is so messed up. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> apparently they're a couple years apart if you ask Tactics Advance 2, but if you ask Final Fantasy 14, they're 300 years apart. Which one's right? Both. Who knows? I don't. Uh, here's the other thing. 300 years doesn't seem accurate to me in any stretch of the imagination. I mean, it does. Where are the bonga? Where are the numo? Is, is that wait? Is that a point for 300 years being accurate or inaccurate? Because I'd say that's a point for it being inaccurate. I mean, they're not over here yet. We don't, like, the only Moogle we see, too, is not even the Moogles that are in the game later. It's the big fluffy thing from Crystal Chronicles. Yeah. Level four, holy. Make the grass whistle stop. They're done. They're gone. <laughs> the Numos are on the first. Oh, no. Oh, wait, you're actually right. They are. Level four, holy. Bye. What a hard boss fight. I remember coming here and having like a specific setup just to try and survive. I had like two time mages, one summoner. Yeah. I had uh, two knights. It's like, I'm, I'm going to survive. And then it's just like, huh? Are you? Are you really? It's like, oh, good. Maybe. Yes, he's not memeing. Also, what did Final Fantasy XII Moogles look like in Final Fantasy XIV Historic Evilies? Final Fantasy XIV does not bother telling us, other than having modern Moogles say old Moogles look strange. <laughs> That's actually funny. Because, yeah, they have two different forms of freaking Moogles. Level f Oh, no. Height 5, holy. This is what happens when you make a game 
And then, what is that? 13 years later, you decide to make that game canon in a canon yeah. that doesn't work. Yeah, especially because, like, we have to talk about the fact that Ivalice is also Gaia. Mm hmm. And for people who don't understand, Final Fantasy VII is set on a planet called Gaia. Cloud comes to Ivalice because the machine, if you put a stone in it, forces him into your time from the future. From the future. It doesn't say from another world, it says from the future. Meaning that Ivalice and Gaia are the same planet. Which makes no sense. Because where's the life stream mentioned in here? All right, so in the timeline, we've got Final Fantasy Dentists. Then, in the future, in like 300 years, allegedly, we have Final Fantasy XII. Then... Actually, I don't, I don't even know where... Where does A2 fit into this? Uh, it's either a three years before or after. One of the two. After I think what, it's, 12? I think it's after. I think it's uh, after 12. Three years after 12, because Vaughn's wearing his Revenant Wings outfit in the game. Okay, so A2 is three years after 12, and then X amount of time later is seven. Uh, yeah, don't forget Final Fantasy X as well, uh, because uh, Final Fantasy X decided to become canon in Final Fantasy VII thanks to Final Fantasy VII Remake. Okay. Yeah, Shinra from Final Fantasy X is in the picture of Final Fantasy VII Remake uh, for Shinra Electric Company. Okay, so X is before... <laughs> okay, so then 10, so, so, okay, so it goes Final Fantasy Tactics, and then uh, Ray is right, it goes Tactics Advance, then Tactics Advance A2, then 12, or sorry, 12, then, no, it would go Tactics 12, Tactics A2, 10, 7? <laughs> well, it's like 10, 10, 2, 7, uh, well, but, so we go 10, 10 to, um, Crisis Core, 7, <laughs> Spirits Awaken? Oh yeah, cause Spirits Awaken's on Gaia! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Where's Final Fantasy IX again? I don't know! Cool, I didn't realize listening. so many of these were crossing over. <laughs> Don't forget Vagrant Story was set in Evil East 2. Oh, we, we didn't forget about it. We know about it. Oh, it's my I favorite part of the game. It's my favorite part of the game. Just rewards for my... What was it? My vengeance be done. Don't forget about uh, Dirge of Cerberus too, And Advent Children. <laughs> So I left those two out. Dirt Dur is before seven. But no. so is Dirt No, it's no. after? It's I after, actually have never after played Advent Dirt. Children. Okay. So here's here's my problem. Um <laughs> I've actually never finished seven. Um because when I was a kid playing seven, uh spoilers for seven, by the way, just so you're aware. Um my friend was like, how, how far are you? And I was like, oh, I'm here. He's like, oh, okay, um, is that before or after, uh, um, uh, what's her name? Oh my god. Um. Final Fantasy Tactics is not before Final Dude, Fantasy 12. In this 12. game. Anyway, so, uh, is. Good. I'm gonna explain this real quick. Uh, mm -hmm. So the script writer for Tactics 12, all of Ivalice basically, including uh, Final Fantasy XIV's Ivalice, uh, all of them are canon. And in Final Fantasy XIV, we learn that uh, Tactics is before 12 canonically. Eric, yeah, it's Eric. So, uh, like, my friend's like, is that before or after Eric? I was like, oh, cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then I stopped playing. Uh, so I never finished Seven, uh, which means I never watched Advent Children or played Dirge of Cerberus, so I'm no other quite sure where those two fit in. Level 5, Bolt 3. We get to kill this guy who's just literally been a thorn in our side the entire time that we've known him, except for that one time he killed that knight. So, to pay him back, we are just going to give him a quick and swift death. 
<laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Thank you for your service that one time. Also, you suck. You betrayed us. <laughs> no, he he was pretty open about how pat uh, evil and patricidal he was. I mean, you're not wrong. I'm really, really happy they decided to give us a uh, a rematch too in War of the Lions. I'm like, I get to kill him again. So okay, I I haven't played that in a while. Is he a ghost in that fight or is he alive? I'm not. I can't remember. He's an undead. Right. Okay. Yeah. And they made his name worse, which made me so happy. It's like I'll guess no Argoth. Argoth. Yeah, that's bad. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Big bada boom. I'm so sad they used the uh, the translation or like the World of Lion names for FFTCG. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <sighs> War of the Lions changes it from English to like old English style speaking. It adds cut like uh, FMB cutscenes and it adds. Two fights? Question mark? Well, so two plus all the ones that include optional characters. Because they add Balthair, they add Luso, and those are extra fights. I'm saving. Um, saving is good. Um, they added Onion Knight. Uh, they removed glitches. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty significant change. Alright, we're taking Alicia. The cutscenes look fantastic. Yes, they're so they're my favorite style of cutscene that I've seen in a long time. It's like this really, really cool art style that's set in like you see these like portraits here, right? It's that, but in cutscene form. I love it. It's like a sketchbook too, because it's we're okay. So if you have never played Final Fantasy Tactics, we're not uh, playing this in real time. We're living the story that is written in the scripture by um, by Dirai. These are the Dirai papers. So everything that's here has been said and done. Yeah. Yes, play War. Play War of the Lions. It's so good. I've done a, a video game review on it. We're taking Alicia. So, goodbye, Rad. We never liked you. Yin Yang Magic, he was going to ruin my life. He was. Okay, there we go. So, did you know if you keep Agrius, Lavian, and uh, Alicia in your team and they're alive on a certain day and go to a certain location, there is a, uh, a cutscene that'll play. Uh, I'm not changing my job. Isn't uh, that... Is. War of the Lion exclusive? I think it's in both versions. Oh, I didn't know it was in the original. Oh no, it's ability. I'm looking at ability. You have black magic. No, no, no. And you have time magic? Oh, heck no! Oh boy, get out of here! Uh, no, that's right. Ramza goes here. All right. I love everything about War of the Line except for the dialogue. I like the dialogue. I like the dialogue in this game better right here. But I, I like the dialogue. It matches 12. It matches 14. As I um, as a kid, I thought it was the coolest thing that you could unlock Cloud Strife in the game. And then you find out that Cloud Strife sucks in this game. <laughs> was it match 12? I feel like this is way more old timey than 12. Or War of the Lions, rather. That scene is exclusive to War, uh, War of the Lions? Really? Dang. Imagine being fired on the first minute on the job. Good. Rad deserved it. Here's oh, the, 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 No, go ahead. The wildest thing to me is that their Gathgarians merc- Well, so Lavian and Alicia are, um... Agrius's. Agrius's. But Rad is Gathgarians. Why are they in your party all of a sudden? <laughs> Like, it's true. That's kind of messed up. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. No, it's CT3, Bolt 3, and then I need to keep an eye on their... 
Zodiacs. Because it's either going to so be Bolt or Flare. So this is when we actually have to start paying attention. Alright, you are... Okay! Flare it is. So, like... I get oh. Red. Red's a mercenary. Like, whatever. He's like, nah, I'm out. You know, I'll go with Ramza. But Latvian and Alicia are the the princess and guards. They're just, like, completely ignoring their duty. Wait, they don't do the spell incantations? In the world, wrath or world, little war of the lions. Oh, uh, I can't speak words really well. I'm sorry. I think they don't. Oh, that's kind of sad. Okay. After this next fight, we save. <laughs> after that, it's Zyre Kyle Falls. <laughs> I think ultimately the dialogue is better in uh, blah blah blah. PSX has some punchy lines sometimes, but the translation also gets me. <laughs> oh, I didn't. We're fine, actually. Because I get a turn, I can move on to the spot. Okay, whew. <laughs> me? Uh, I didn't do the thing. Yummy. Yummy. So, Ray, you're correct, but at some point you stop having the princess. And you're not actively going to save her. <laughs> I mean, Agris also joins your team, and she's supposed to stay with the princess. Yeah, correct. <laughs> what I'm saying is all of them are doing their job poorly. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. I have made a big mistake. But can I fix this? Let's find out. Yes, I can. Okay. Math, height, prime, uh, bolt three. <sighs> Here's the Agrius is best grill. We are not taking are you, Boko. You're abandoning Baka. <laughs> Definitely. That's fair, I'm so sad. Alright, safety save! Come on, Poco! Hopefully you don't get caught by more goblins. <laughs> Alright, save. We saved Boko. We just didn't take him with us. You know, Baco is a chocobo, and chocobos need to live in in, in the wild. And Why taking are him you with saying you that like that. What are you doing? Me? Yes, you. Look, he needs to be in the wild. Why are you saying chocobo? What? It's chocobo. I'm, I'm not having this conversation with you. I don't have it. I'm not. It's not literally voice this. acted in Japanese and English. Chocobo and Chocobo. Uh, and do you know how many times I've heard any voice actor say it? Uh. I'm not having this fight with you. No! I've not had enough sleep to have this fight with you. <laughs> I'm gonna let the chat go uh, talk on this one. Let's go, guys. I'm not reading chat. I'm close chat. <laughs> <laughs> I read all. I saw the messages. I'm. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> all right, right. That's not fair. Thanks, Ray. I could be right if you'd endorse yelling at me. <laughs> all right, crush punch. It's gonna kill him. Let's go. Dead. Thank you! That sucks. <laughs> Stop. Team Warp or, or Quet? I, I like Quet better. It's cute. Warp is very aggressive. Alright, CT3, uh, Death. Where's Death? There it is. Oh, that's one. That's a guard. That's two. That's a guard. That's a guard, okay. 
Oh. CT4. Oh, I actually need to see there. That I can use bolt three on him. Okay. Can what can I use on you? I can also use bolt three on you. Okay. Do I do safety? Do I do safety? Yeah, we do. We're not fucking with it. We have a safety save. You could have yelled. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I said a bad word. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm still going to get flamed more for my pronunciation than anything you do. <laughs> Uh, I know, I'm sorry. I realized it after I said it. I was like, oh no. <laughs> Just the funny part of like your unit falling down and then seeing, congratulations. <laughs> You've won. All right. <laughs> We're past the scary part. No death sentence, uh, Ripperino. I didn't trust Alita. Not that I should. Really? You didn't trust Alita? Wow, what a surprise. <clears throat> Wait. Pineapple belongs on every pizza, and a hot dog is a sandwich. Mmm. Uh, you know what? I'd rather pineapple on my pizza than olives, so sure. Uh, a hot dog is a sandwich. Oh, we're in the food hot takes. Oof. <laughs> uh, it, it's either it's a sandwich or it's a taco. So you gotta pick one. The hot dog. That's what a hot dog is. <laughs> but it's in a bun. Are you gonna say it's a burger? No, I'm gonna say it's a hot dog <laughs> in a bun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how much friendly fire is in this game? Uh, well, we already friendly fired at least four teammates. Well, technically only two crystallized. The other two just went down and didn't get rezzed. Uh, and then however many times CT3 Flare hits your own party. So, yes. I, I mean, by that logic, then I guess a roast beef sandwich is not a sandwich, because it's in a connected bun. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. oh. All right. <laughs> uh. A hot dog is a wheat taco, and a taco is a sandwich. What? <laughs> All That's right. What I read in chat. I read it in chat. No. <laughs> Vanilla soy what? latte, three bean soup. Oh, it's true! Uh, just need to, I just need to mentally prepare for CT more, three, for, oh, three. <laughs> for where we're going here. Oh, that was perfect. Hey, yo, shout out was given to It's Casa. Thank you. Is it's a wait, what? Hold on. Birds aren't oh, real. Really? Oh. The birds work for the bourgeoisie. <laughs> I love that meme. It's one of my favorites. I would love it if a bird was a robot. <laughs> I would be like from Gundam Seed. I would have a pet birdie that goes twenty twenty. I know my brain goes in weird uh, thought logics. I literally jumped like four topics there in a matter of one sentence. That's okay. We got away from the food conversation. <laughs> Agrius has died way too much. Nah, uh, well. You know what? I'm going to keep it a surprise for later. Yeah. 
<laughs> ominous foreshadowing. The <laughs> ominous foreshadowing. Does Ramza get a ton of EXP for wiping the map? He gets 10. <laughs> it's one action. It's one 10. action. <laughs> he gets 10. Okay. She faints, not dies. Well, just you wait. Alright, uh, it was <laughs> studio to chemist, and then just, doop, we're done. No, stop. Um, I sometimes drop inputs. I guess all the friendly fire is why the tactics characters try and murder you in 14. True, they saw the speed run and it's like, this is what you think of us? Well, let me show you. All right, be truthful. Which one did you die more on, Mustadio or Agrius? Uh, Am I alone? Yes. Oh my god! I was scared. <laughs> I thought I thought the stream died because I heard no one talk. No, you're good. I d I'm, I'm trying to think. I don't. I don't know. Um. I think the Agoras fight was more brutal, right? I died to the Mustadio mechanic every time in the first time I did it. I didn't understand you had to let the open part be the part to get hit. So I just kicked it oh. launched. Oh. But the Agoras one, like, uh, there's a button to push, so it's like, ah, this button means I can protect myself. Yeah, yeah. And then the sword one came by. It's like, I have to use this sword on something. And then things popped up. I'm like, there they are. And I don't think I died on either. Well, some of us are blessed, okay? <laughs> it's not me. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm just going to safety save just in case something bad happens here. Because this is one of those uh, places that it does not like you. Okay. It's a CT3 Bolt 3 Weight and CT4 Ice Backup Strat. We'll hit all but the summoners, including yourself. <laughs> Alright. So, right now, we're just in the nice, like, comfy part of the run where most of the map will just map itself and you're done. But uh, after chapter 2 is done, that's when you gotta start really paying attention. Because uh, that's when things start to get you. You'll have to pay attention to EXP, eight, nah, no, EXP level, height, all that stuff. Oh look, he guarded. They both guarded. I'm actually just gonna run away and watch their values, because the backup strat will not kill them. He has 48 experience, okay. And he has 33. Uh, I'm gonna kill the one with 33 first. So, math, EXP, 3, uh, we're just gonna do both 3 again. Wait. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought I had got myself in that. I was like, uh-oh. Wait. Fortune. Wait a minute. 48 yeah, is a sorry. divisible of 3. You're correct. <laughs> <laughs> Why you do your math homework, everyone? 3 times 16, 48. You know, they just didn't, the timetables didn't go up to 16. That's why I couldn't figure it out. Uh, I see, I see. That, that makes sense. Where, where are you at? Four? Uh, three. Oh, I see. Okay. So what's three times three? Minus one. Quick uh, maps. Two. Correct. <laughs> three. Oh, I mean, if you uh, were to use EXP two in a spell, it would still hit with that mathematics. Or four. <laughs> 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 Welcome to math, everybody, where it doesn't make sense, but sometimes it does. 
when you make Welcome a galaxy train part. by accident. Yep. Welcome to the part where you try to figure out if any, either of us know what's going on or if we're both clueless. <laughs> I just smile and wave. <laughs> it's a good strat. It is a very good strat. True. The way I did it in my brain was 4 minus 3 is 1. 18 minus 3 is 6. The way I did it in my head was I'm not running, so I didn't look at the values. <laughs> I trusted you. I trusted you. Well, uh, I have to... I have to come clean about something, actually. <clears throat> you don't understand math at all? Uh, my name's Delita. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, um, huh, okay. Your first mistake, right. giving me a platform. That's oh, actually your okay. first mistake in this game. Giving Delita a platform is what gives, makes everything happen. I mean, you're... Hmm. Do you <laughs> give... But... Do you all give of our things platform? help him. All of the things we do help him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He sends um, us off to the sluice, he becomes king. Yeah. We go to the, the dock, he's there. We go up to the Draclau, get rid of Draclau, so he can take the princess with uh, Vormav with no problem. And, because of that, you get branded a heretic, so Delita uses the heretic as a bargaining uh, point. But what you're saying is... Algus really screwed things up for us. How do you make the gate be open? Stop you hit the lever. Be closed. Stop having it be closed. Uh, okay, we need to... Uh, fitting room. Try on. I need those rubber shoes. You need the uh, wizard mantle. Is that it? Yep. Whoops. I didn't do that right. I looked away for a second. I just want to show you the menu one more time. You're so good at these menus, I understand it. Alright, here we go. Bong, bong, bong. Alright, CT3 Bolt 3 of no Oribu. Otherwise, a CT5 Bolt 3. Is that the summon Chocabo materia? That was in chat. I didn't do that, by the way. I know. I, know, I, I can still silently fume. <laughs> yeah, it comes later. Uh, it's also nighttime when it happens. I didn't, oh, there's a mar marble. 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 Whatever you want to call it. That dude with I'm not saying breath. anything. That I'm dude not with saying bad anything. Breath. All right, CT three bull three. Wait, I just realized I use CT three bull three, and everything dies, which means Mustadio doesn't even get second turn. Yep, I get second turn. <laughs> yes. What the heck, the speed? If you're lucky, there's a pig monster here. No. We, no we're not lucky if we see lucky. the pig. It <laughs> not make us lucky. <laughs> in, the, in the speed run, it's bad. We see it and we're like... <laughs> These are terrible. Aribu, no. I'm oh, sorry, it's Aribo. Aribo, like Karibo. Level 10 Aribo? With 300 attack and 200 defense. I can discard this card from my hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I play Pot of Greed. It allows me to play, take two cards from my deck and put them to my hand. And would you look at that? Another Pot of Greed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
I assume something in a, a chalk, a bow, would just cover everyone in chalk powder. <laughs> okay, you gotta admit though, they're kind of funny. I can, I can admit they're funny and still fume in silence. <laughs> they're not true. mutually exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, I guess you're not wrong. Bad luck is a type of luck, correct. It's the luck I do not wish. It's the luck you get when <laughs> when Algus crits. Number 15, Final Fantasy Tactics Bad RNG. The last thing you want in your Final Fantasy speedrun is bad RNG, but that might be just what you get. <laughs> God, why is it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know. You know. Yeah, people, do you know that people used to think I wasn't a meanster? I I can't imagine not thinking you were a meanster. Casa's the innocent one. He doesn't meme or anything. And then there's me with the compendium and my brain just flipping through like a Rolodex. <laughs> like a hamster in a meme ball. There it is. Woo oh yeah, so I was talking about it earlier in chat, but the uh, aura site in this game are akin to like Final Fantasy 7 Materia. They all use one of the five core colors, no other color. They use either purple, yellow, blue, green, or red. If you go Google the the picture, it even sh uh, you can see it for yourself. All right, CT five bolt three. So, my uh, correlation to Orosite is it's just really, really badly made materia. It's just knowledge that's chaotic. All right, CT five bolt three. Now I gotta pay attention. Nobody live, please. Just give me this one. Just give me this one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. Thank you. Is it? I'm level 23! If you want to know who's who, uh, I'm the zombie boy on the screen. Hello. I'm <laughs> the voice that has no body. You can't see. A nobody? Well... If we get a Heartless and a Nobody together, we could make a Somebody. Uh, you didn't expect uh, Kingdom Hearts, but it was me, Casa. I wonder how long it's going to take for someone to realize that was another meme. I mean, I hope not that long. <laughs> I hope not that long. <laughs> All right, we take Mustadio, by the way. Disembodied voice, man. Yes, Kingdom Hearts Tactics game. I would love that. I'm pretty sure I first met Casa at a Kingdom Hearts community bowling trip at RPG Limit Break. So yeah, I expected it. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but it was Xehanort all along. Thank you. Someone got it. He norted a boy. Aqua got norted. What? You're just you're saying words. Aqua got norted. Or over here in Nort Boy Redux. I'm really happy that there's some JoJo fans in the chat. They got what I was uh, throwing down. I mean, I got it. I just don't. I I, I don't watch JoJo, so I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna you leave it. Somebody else definitely will definitely give it a try. It is actually one of the hammiest, campiest shows you will ever watch. It's so good. So, here's the thing. I already have a list of things to watch that I am currently not watching. <laughs> All lines lead to Wargelis. True. If everyone's Xehanort, nobody's Xehanort. Wait a minute. Nobody? Xehanort? Kingdom Hearts. Oh, God. No, that, that timeline's already too complicated. Please don't <laughs> make it worse. Oh, no. Yeah, there's some ProZD fans in here. I can see them. I mean, I am one of them. He's a voice actor now. He's been a voice actor for a while. Yeah. All right, I gotta buy some stuff. 
We're gonna buy two green berets. These will give us speed later that we're gonna need. All right, and now we're gonna change to priest. And I should have went right. Love how we're talking about marks. All right, and then we get a best fit. I think we put back on the uh, like wizard robe, and that's it. Now it's another cutscene. All right. This cutscene here is the part of the story where we find out that the princess is not a princess. In fact, she's just a body double. Smile. Watching JoJo makes my brain cells hurt, so I chose not to. Okay, so the best thing to do when it comes to JoJo is you're not taking the story seriously. It is not meant to be taken seriously. It's just a fun time with a bunch of blaring, changing colors all over the place. All right, but so hear me out, all right? I don't think I can watch JoJo and have it be any better than the experience I've had with JoJo's is, because I've seen the JoJo's meme where they replace the game screen with Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it can't get any better than that. Alright, uh... I am unsure if this will go safely, so... So we're just gonna be safe. And by safe, I can now do a risky strat. <laughs> Alright, so Ramza in front, Nastadio in the back, let's go. I'm going to do Height 3 Flare. Did we see the line yet? Which one? What's the line? Little money. Little no, money? No. That's at the beginning There's of the There's so line. many lines. There's so many lines. Alright, there she is. Angrius, we're here to save you. Uh, oh, I remember this being really, really hard, casually. So, when I came here and I got to do the speedrun uh, mechanic, I was like, wait, wait, what? Wait, 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 what? It's so funny how easy it is. And now I'm going to get punished for saying that. Alright, so CT3 Flare. Wait! Uh, 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 it was height 3. It was height 3. Yeah! No, it was height 3. You... You just, you just blasted Agrius out of this... This world! <laughs> Trust no one, not not even Ramza. <laughs> Oh, maybe she would have blocked it with her shield. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. The problem is, even if that happens, it's already so scuffed because there's like eight burns going. <laughs> okay, I gotta know what the damage was gonna be. It's gonna be like two fifty six. Okay, high three flare. High three flare. Tell me someone clips that. <laughs> uh, okay. Alright, so it's height three flare. There we go. Yeah, if it's a timeline where Rob's is a calculator, you uh you're you're in for a bad time. You're in for a bad time. Yeah, a bad time. I'm so glad I made that safety save. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> the risky. She knew the a risky punch. punch. Give me death sentence. I know you don't have it, but. All right. So this is. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, I can kill that. Did, did we see what, uh... Oh. Uh, I think we can use... Flare. Yeah, we can use Flare. 
Alonzo you know what? We've already Magan lost time, so I'm not going to do that. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna holy. Ramza learned from Zalbeg about acceptable sacrifices. <laughs> Maybe Algus was right all along. Maybe we were the ones who was wrong. Ugh. No. <laughs> nope. Okay. We made it through. Alright, remember how everyone was just like, this abuse of Agrius? You're right. Maybe we did abuse her too much. Maybe she deserves her time in the spotlight. And maybe this isn't a speed run. <laughs> Look, she can't go down anymore. <laughs> okay. Uh, I just she can't on. get knocked out if she's not around. Exactly. She just dies off screen. Smile. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ramza. Nope, Mustadio and Ramza. So, okay. Obviously, it's not canon, but how would that affect the story if Ramza was just like, no, get out of here to literally everybody? Right? Uh, but, like, the only reason you have to have her survive is she tells you the location of the princess after the fight. Otherwise, she's not needed. Which... A follow up question. She should just come here on her own. She's bad at her job. Right? It's like, what the heck? All right. So we're CT3 flaring, and we gotta watch um, this dude's HP. I forgot his name. Gafgarian. Gafgarian? Gafgarian. <laughs> All right. CT3 flare. Good night. It hits Ramza somehow. Please no. Oh, I mean, that would be not great. Okay. I mean, okay. if it's just one, it's not like the worst thing in the world. Gosh, right? The time mages aren't dead yet, don't say that. Okay, they're dead. <laughs> Alright, I'm now going to move Ramza away from- Actually, I don't even have to move him away from the knight. The knight's too far away. You know what? Safety, just in case he can. Alright. He has- Oh, he's level 5. Okay. What am I? Level 23? Perfect. So, level 5, uh, bolt 3. Easy, every time. And we got a shorter animation, too. Gotta save the frames. Gotta save the frames! But not the Agrises. <laughs> Don't worry, Mustadio's still around. He's just a little warm, that's all. Look, he wasn't on the ground for four turns. He didn't crystallize. All right, hold on. Hold, all right, cycle it back, cycle it back. Okay, I need an explanation of where what happened to the crystals in the rest of the games. If, if, if it goes tactics into 12, into 7. Why aren't crystals around anymore? <laughs> they are. They're called materia. The, the crit, you, your body turns into materia? Yeah, materia is knowledge passed down through the ancients. What uh. happens when you step onto a crystal in this game? You can learn all the abilities that you don't already know. One is not a prime number. My favorite thing in Final Fantasy XIV is when people get to construct and they're like, I don't know what a prime number is. Ah! Materia is just the life star stream crystallized. The life stream makes up everything. Yeah. The world, people, trees, grass, water, everything. Yes. Air, clouds, cloud. I saw that coming. Materia green is people. Oh, like Soylent green. I get it, yeah.
Oh, that's a construct emote? That's amazing. I don't have my I don't have the emotes anymore. I can't copy it. True, Genova is an alien that is not part of the live stream, and it's an invasive species that eventually has to be taken out. All right. All right. A further question. If 12 and 7 and 10 are all in the timeline, why don't I get to see Construct 8 again? Because <laughs> Final Fantasy 17 hasn't happened yet. Oh, sorry, no, it's Final Fantasy 19. 12 plus 7 is 19. That cost, that's like 12 years from now. Give me a break. Come on. Uh, you're very confident in that, aren't you? <laughs> I, no, actually, 12's <laughs> not far enough. I mean, okay, so when did we get 15? 15 was like four years ago? Yeah. And we're uh, about to get 16. Well, I mean, about, question mark. June 22nd. Well, yeah, look, I've, I've heard that before, and then games have gotten pushed back. Five but those games weren't made by Naoki Yoshida. Five was seven years ago. Or, sorry, 15 was seven years ago. Final Fantasy V was seven years ago? I mean, there was probably a remake uh, seven years ago, so I, I'm not wrong. There was wrong one that was a couple probably. days ago. Yeah, because, look... Alright, so 15 was seven years ago. Uh, 14 was six years before that. So six, seven, eight. Oh god, this is bad. <laughs> eight for 17, nine for 18, and 10 for 19. Not looking good. 17's <laughs> gonna be an MMO? I'm down. The MMOs have been great. I'm level 23. Okay. Yes, 14 was 2013. It's its 10th year anniversary today. Not today. In August. In August. In August. Somebody else flubbed besides me. Are we performing astrology? Because you're the only also, star I see. Yeah, I... Well, also... Ah. But 14 was definitely 2010. It was Realm Reborn. That's 2013. Uh, 2011, actually. Okay. You can't keep doing this to me. It, the Wikipedia page literally says September 30th, 2010. Okay, but when did it come to English? It doesn't matter. <laughs> 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 when did 1.3 come out? That's the question. That's the real one. Uh, Final Fantasy 1. 14. 14 1? 14, there we go. 1.3. States. Uh, well, okay. Well, this is clearly not correct. This is 2022. 2022? Uh, Damn. Uh, um, I don't know that I trust this, but 20, 2019 question mark? I don't trust that. Hype Prime Flare. I'm gonna stop looking. There, there's math to look at. <laughs> so Hype Prime Flare and then Hype Prime Boat 3. Dang, that's crazy. Uh, Hype Prime Bolt 3. What a very hard fight. It would take an actual meteor striking Japan. I don't like that. No, 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 no. They've been through a lot in the past 10 years. I don't want to think about that. Uh, he turned into uh, one of the Zodiac monsters called Keklane, which you see in Final Fantasy 14 and 12, I think, right? Is this one in 12? Is it in 12? I thought it was. 
I don't know. I finished 12. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Ray on this one. I, I didn't finish the sentence because I'm like, no, Murphy's Law. Don't speak it. All right. So we just finished chapter two. And basically what's happening now is the war is now at a like at its huge head. Yeah, he's Kukulain in 12, the Scorpio. Yay! I thought it was um, right. Okay. Isn't he a summon A2? I didn't play A2 fully, so I wouldn't know. I need to finish playing it. I'm like halfway through it. So yeah, the war is at uh, its max right now. They're about to like pretty much go for the jugular. And in the background, uh, we're now running around being called a heretic. And trying wow. to get our sister back. And also taking a book. Because the church has nothing better to do than bug around with a blonde haired kid. The funniest part is, them trying to go after Ramza is the reason the Germanic scriptures falls into Ramza's hand. Yeah, mm-hmm, yep. A lot of this game is, if this character didn't do this, this wouldn't have happened. If Delita didn't save Algus, this wouldn't have happened. So what you're saying is this is all Delita's fault. Oh, yeah, it's always Delita's fault. I agree. If Balbanes could see what Delita had become, he would be so disappointed. So clearly the solution was to save him so that he could be disappointed in Delita and Delita would cut we would need to first find out that Dice Dark was poisoning him with Moss Fungus. Did Delita get deleted? Not yet. Not until the end of the game. Unfortunately, not yet. I mean, if you put uh, a picture of Delita on screen and then make it disappear, is that deleting a Delita? Uh, Delita saves Algus in Mandalia Plains, because if you say no, we got to focus on the, cor uh, the corpse party. I think it was a, is that what the death corpse? That's it. Yeah, the death corpse. Uh, he says, I'll save him. Speedrun is anywhere between four to five hours, depending on luck. Awesome. Don't jinx it. I don't want to be here more than five hours. <laughs> it, it sounds like I'm joking, but it's actually the truth. Next scroll in Final Fantasy. Oh. <laughs> I really, really hope that when they bring us Final Fantasy Tactics to modern consoles slash PC, that they give us that skip cutscene button that's in the iOS and Android version. I'm really tempted to put on an image of delete on screen and then deleting it now. Don't do this to me. Do it! You won't! <laughs> that's what I said! <laughs> yeah, that's what you said. <laughs> oh, uh, fun fact. All of the chapters in this game are named after song titles. I didn't actually notice that. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Yeah, I think it's like Guns N' Roses or something. I read Bethlehem's Bethesda. Yes. People have to let me know if you did the thing. Ray, did you do the thing? I I, I I popped up the actual stream to see if it happens. <laughs> and I have the stream up in. I have the chat though, so you guys can't uh, panic. Call him a bluff? Absolutely. They did it. <laughs> Ray did, did it. it. <laughs> yeah, they did it. There you go. Delita. Oh, sorry. They did it. Yes, they did it. Correct. Correct. Ray is amazing, by the way. If you don't know Ray, Ray has been around for the longest time, and they are amazing. All yeah, right, they're uh, they are a great person. 
Wait, 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 wait. Uh, chapter three, I need to go shopping. Shop. Okay, so hold on. I don't know how long Delete has been on the- I haven't seen Delete a bit be, be deleted Wizard, yet. I, uh, I mean, there we go, there Wizard we go. staff fitting over, I'm yes. very far behind. By the way, your run isn't valid anymore because the gameplay feed was covered. <laughs> I'm sorry. Aw, oh, dang. All right, CT3 player. Also, I clicked on the encounter thing. <laughs> yes, uh... I just really want to spice things up, you know? Really change it up. Go a little wild. Maybe we should auto battle. <laughs> All I need you. <laughs> Hey, Olen okay. needs you, and you're gonna betray him? <laughs> I mean... Here, you're gonna uh, at the stake at the end of the game, it eventually happens. Yeah, but eventually isn't now. <laughs> I mean, we're he already He still needs city. to write a book! Oh, he's doing the thing. <laughs> he's doing the thing. Alright, CT3 Flare. Let's make sure he doesn't do the thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on, do your thing. Oh, she, she, she can jump. Look at her go. Whee! What are you stealing? Stop it. Stop it. It was probably nothing. He's level 21, so that's divisible of three. Okay. He's also on height two, so that does nothing for me. Oh, he actually got both of them. All right, I need to go read on them real quick. All right, so he is uh, 84, so you're uh, 3, 5, yep, he's a divisible of 3, can't do that. Uh, level 4, okay, that's not level 4, what are you? Uh, where are you? Level 4, and okay. I'll have to kill her first. Math, level 4, uh, oh, flare. Oh no, I hit myself! Did you, did you save right before it? Yes, I did. Oh, I guarded. Because <laughs> it's that or hope all on kills. <laughs> okay. Uh, his EXP. No. Type 2. No. Uh... Surely Olan wouldn't death sentence the chemist. <laughs> what if I... CT... Three, bold three. Is Olan part of it? Nope. Okay, perfect. All right, we're done. <laughs> what if I told you I knew it was going to guard? I don't know that I believe you. I knew it was going to guard. That one was played out. <laughs> uh, so it's like combat turn order. That's what CT is. There's like a there's like a secret. Well, it's not really a secret stat, but it's like there's a speed stat, and it calculates turn order. Uh, based on that, so it's like there's a hundred ticks, and I'm being every... doubted right now. There's so uh, the like um, your speed for every turn, uh, the bar uh, fills up by your speed, and then whoever gets to a hundred first goes. I'm pretty sure I explained that terribly, but whatever. Why was the two avatar blinking like when Minecraft. you said you knew he would guard? Oh no, they're on to me.
I just want everyone to have fun. Sometimes being scared is fun. That's why we play horror games, right? Yes? Question mark? I mean, do you like playing horror games? I don't really play horror games. Okay, but when you do, are they fun? Well, I think the last horror game I played... Oh, hold on. No. I def I've had to have played something since Dead Space. Which is oh, not Dead a Space horror game. a good game. one. I, the, I don't think the original Dead Space was a horror game. <laughs> I, it was never scary. <laughs> um... Um, yeah, I don't really play horror games. I can't think of the last horror game I played. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Go back. Uh, so basically, math works in a couple of ways. So we have values of CT, so combat turn order, uh, height, level, ex and experience. Yeah. And so we can use those with factors of numbers, be it prime number... Two, uh, multiples of three, four, or five, or, or divisibles, whatever. Uh, and we use those to cast spells on those values and variables, and that insta-casts magic. Uh, it's kind of like... Uh, it's like writing a program and then making sure it can collect data. That data is then collected and put out and attached to those things that match the data. Speaking of things that are like programming, if you've ever played Final Fantasy XII and you played with the Gambit system, you're just making uh, if statements. You are learning programming a little bit at a time. All right, so the reason for this fight uh, that we put short charge on, math skill ain't gonna get Zalmo the way we want him to. So we put Mustadio in the team, like on the map, so that we can manipulate the turn order a little bit and get our cast off immediately. So right now, I'm just gonna actually white magic, holy Zalmo, and then we're just gonna wait and instantly we cast. All right. And that is Zelmo. It is it is a little complicated when you're just looking at it, but once you like start to... If you do the speedrun, you really get a good understanding of how map works. And they have the nice things like EXP level and height to kind of like bail you out. Because sometimes you don't know what CT is going to be. Like you, if you're not very comfortable with the game, you're not going to know how fast turn order is going to be, etc. So having the other three there is really useful. And then having the multiples of three, four, five, and prime number. If you know what a prime number is, and you can see it, and you don't have it on your character as well, you can enact prime number, uh, let's say high or level prime number uh, flare. The enemy is level 29, and you're level 28. 29 is a prime number, 28 is not. So you would not be hit, but the person who is level 29 would be. I hope that helps to explain it a little bit more. Oh, my brain shut off. <laughs> I noticed you got real quiet. You're like, oh, hey, CT3 flare go burr. <laughs> CT3 flare go burr. Okay. We finished uh, Salia. We got to save and click on Orbon. Oh, uno momento. <laughs> Uh, X over two over wait X times or uh, exponent of two over two minus X over two plus one over eight equals zero. Well, one of those X's is zero because <laughs> I say so. <laughs> Do I know all the prime numbers by heart? No, but I haven't. I know enough for the uh, video game. Uh, so one is not a prime number. What is a prime number? Um, thirty-one, uh, unless it's funny. I've got. We went over counters. this. No need to all Thir just from one to forty-three or something. Yeah, exactly.
I'm getting unlucky. Surely you won't get three encounters. You're correct. All right. Remember how I said in chapter three, that's when we have to start paying attention? This is where it Pass. starts. I could be safe and just use holy on this next one. And then fight after it. Actually, okay. So this next panel of fights, all three of them, are technically safe. But if you want to save time, on the first fight, you want to do the risky strat. But because we're at a marathon run, that's how I call it, uh, we'll, we'll do the safety strat. Unless chat tells me before I go into the fight, do risky. Do I count as chat? You have the choice. Do y'all want to make Ray go casa casa? <laughs> Meanwhile, Ray's over here telling you to do it. <laughs> Wait, actually? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I need to set magic attack up. That's gain JP up. There we go. Risk it for the bit. Okay, we going risky. D23 flared is. Uh, Ramza is in his spot. Okay. Look at all these people. They're so risky. I love it. We want fun today. No guts, no glory. Got you. I want this kit. <laughs> Is a safety strategy really a speedrun strategy? Yes, uh, in case you have a really, really good run going and you can afford to lose the, like, 10 seconds. In case you get a 524 Orban Monastery. Alright, so CT3 player. Did we risk it and get rewarded? We did. Always lucky, never punished. Well, chat, you chose correctly. All right, I'm level 24, but I want more experience. So I'm going to put on the triangle hat. All right. We got biscuits, let's go! Item, uh, equip, triangle hat. Okay, I put Ra Ramza right there, and we go. So I have to input some uh, camera stuff real quick. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, you got this. Alright, uh, so the long and short of it is people far smarter than either of us did a lot of work on this to math it out so that it was always going to be CT3 flare by adjusting uh, position, well, in most fights CT3 flare, but by uh, adjusting uh, the starting position that will uh, mess with the uh, CT a little bit. So somebody did a lot of work to make sure that every time uh, if you do the same actions, it'll always be CT3 Flare hitting everybody. It is CT3 Flare, yep. No, it's Height 3 Flare. Whoa. Height 3 Flare. There we go. Well, for example, in this situation, it wasn't possible, and me saying CT3 Flare a bunch almost threw Casa off. Yep. But in... In most fights, you can manipulate it. There are some where you can't. Or 
there are there's others. Uh, so for this one, I don't know if it's possible or not. It might just have been faster to cast that because you're only trying to kill. Uh, is uh, is Lude? Is yeah. Is Lude, yeah. You're only trying to kill him, so it doesn't matter if you like. It wastes time if you hit everybody else. Equip the green beret on Ramza so that our speed can be more zoom zoom. Uh, yeah. Uh, the only like instance where that doesn't happen is uh, Meluda, because we just use like what was it, height three, bolt three, and it just like hits three people. Because yes. you know, that's that's the most consistent one because we don't know what her uh, level's gonna be, we don't know what her exp is gonna be. So it's just like, that's the best one. Even though it hits other people as well. But with Islud, he's the only one that goes on to height three, so we get rid of him. Why did both of my examples have to be height three? <laughs> <laughs> that was by accident. Today I learned that mathematicians are better snipers than actual snipers. <laughs> Uh, they got that magic, though. High five, holy. Nope. That's not a five. Five. Five is a prime number, right? Technic yeah, it's prime number. <laughs> it technically works. Question mark? I'm level 25. All right. So we are on to moving our way towards Riovane Castle. If you were a casual player of this game back in the days and you got to Riovane's Castle, that is where you got stuck. And it's not just like your normal stuff where it's like, oh, I have to go back and grind. It's where you accidentally destroyed your save file and had to start from the very beginning. I hope that watching this speed run and seeing how we deal with it in a matter of moments fills you with some form of satisfaction in how Wygrip killed your runs. But before that, we got a couple of things to do. Got some cities to go through, got some menus to do, got some girls and guys to talk to. Got some side quests to ignore. Oh, a bunch of side quests to ignore. <laughs> I see the sentiment through chat, understanding what I'm talking about. I am sorry for your loss, but also, you are definitely Final Fantasy Tactic players. I just had to redo the fight like 30 times or so. Yeah, uh, I luckily... So, fun fact, okay, a lot of people don't know this, but if you wear, wear the chameleon robe on Ramsa, Wygriff will not be able to use Holy uh, Sword on you. I don't know why. I didn't really look into it too much, but like as a kid, I found out that he wouldn't do it if I had that equipped. So that's how I beat him. I put that on and I went to a corner and I yelled and accumulated until I was strong enough and fast enough to get around him. That's actually pretty, that's pretty small. 12-year-old uh, me was something else. I think I cried a lot until it worked. <laughs> Actually, I might have been overleveled. I'm not sure. I was level 24. Oh! I think, yeah, so I was speedrun levels around that time. Because this was also when I was doing uh, solo Ramza until I finally figured out I could use people. So I had to do things to kill things fast, so I wasn't getting a lot of experience. You weren't doing the, the yell accumulate strats. Yep. Uh, I think by the end of the fight, I was like level 32. Oh my god. Alright, we're, right. we're at like 2 hours 43 minutes in. I think this is probably a good place for a break. Alrighty. So, uh, during these longer runs, we like to do, uh, breaks just so everybody can get up, stretch, drink some water, anything you need to do. Uh, just real quick before we go to the break, though, uh, the SGDQ 2023 schedule is out now, so you can go to gamesdonequick.com or use exclamation SGDQ in chat for more information on that. 
Uh, with that said, we're going to take a few minute break here and then we'll be back with more FFT. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hot Fix. We are doing a Final Fantasy Tactics showcase. We are in the middle of a Final Fantasy Tactics run. Uh, we can just get right back into it whenever you're ready, Castle. We were going to Door to Trade City. We got to go talk to a guy who wants a book. It's raining, and the first thing he thinks is, I need book. All right, but yeah, but the reality is this is uh, going to set up the subplot that we have to go to Riavani's castle because this guy's going to be like, we have your sister. Do you want her back? Give us book. But don't give us book here. Give us book at the castle. Because, you know, can't just take the book here and now. No, no. Which makes so much sense. Yeah, he's like, but you must bring the book to the castle. It's like, did, don't you just want the book now? No, bring book. <laughs> I don't want to carry it. That's too much for me. I need you to carry it for me through the castle. Okay. Uh, there's another cutscene. And then we gotta hope we don't get this encounter because I've already gotten this encounter twice. Ah, uh, yes, it's uh, Ovelia and Delita slowly forming, uh, I say, a relationship in air quotes. Relationship? Question mark. Yeah, like, if I'm looking at Ovelia, she really thought she was trusting somebody. And then there's Delita. He's a calculations. He's the real mathematician. He knows what he was doing. But unfortunately, he CT3 flared at the end by accident. All right, uh, we're going into, we're going to fight some people who, who are running away. Then we're going to go save Rafa. It's not a healthy relationship. <laughs> wow, wow, three different types of the same thing in a matter of a second. That's amazing, but all correct. Stockholm syndrome is a real thing. <laughs> All right. No, wait, it's this way. Nirvana's castle. I knew it. I knew it. I didn't want to do it. All right. How many encounters are we at now? Six. Yes. All right. Does the, does the first Garolin fight uh, count as an encounter? May as well, with how long it took. <laughs> oh, not like this. I am so lucky. Okay. Alright, so we're on this one. It's just CT3 Flare, and if people live, I got some work to do. Hopefully no one lives. We just do the one spell, everything goes exactly as it should. No one defends, no one has bad compatibility, and no one has high HP. Easy. Yeah, that, that wasn't like 20 different factors you just mentioned. No, definitely not. Uh, let's see, there's six people on there. We need to make sure six of them don't have bad compatibility, six of them uh, don't guard, and six of them don't have high HP. That's 18 variables. <laughs> what could go wrong? Nothing. Uh, would having like 40 faith put them out of range? Maybe. 24! Alright, uh, CT3 Flare. The first one lived. Good. Off to a good start. All 
All right, so if a squire lives, move backwards and height four holy. Okay, it's only the squire. Height four holy. Bye. All right. Well, it's not too bad. Normally, I see three people survive often. Yeah, as long as the chemist dies, it's less awful. 100%. Otherwise, I have to start whittling them off one by one, usually. Which is just so slow. So slow. But we only had to do it with one person. And honestly, that is a good fight in my books. Alright, next is Yardro. Oh, we just get to go straight to it, too. Remember that guy that we saved where everyone thought I was going to die to Flare? Yeah, he's back. I can't remember. Do we give him the book? Uh, no. Sure. We tell him about the book, though, I think. Yeah, we tell him about the book. And then he's just like, okay, you got this. I trust you. I'm not this, wrong this... thinking that this camera angle can change, right? Uh, I believe you can, yeah. Yeah, it, it can be from the other side as well. Yeah. Yeah, this, this this is the this is the cutscene where Olad's basically like, "Hey, you're you're actually not alone. There are a few people who actually trust you and are here for you." And one of them becomes Even, a party member that gives me the best sword ever. Heck yeah! Which the the really depressing thing is, it's like, "Hey, we're friends. I trust you. I'm on the other army." Yep. I'm okay. a very important person in the enemy army. And then the enemy is just like, oh, we don't trust you. It's like, huh? This man is so powerful. What do you mean? Here's the... No, no, nothing. Never mind. Don't take the book. I actually need to carry this book to a castle. Don't come with me to the castle, though. I got to carry the book to the castle. All right. Let's enter another subplot. Rafa and Malik. Because we don't have enough uh, subplots happening. We got Delita and Ovelia. We got Rafa and Malik. We've got the Temple Knights. We've got uh, the Black and White Lions. We've got the, the Royal Family. We got Ramza the Heretic. Like, what else do we need? Oh, yeah. How about Zodiac Stones on top of that? Uh, R1, or I mean R2, L1. L1, L2. And then it's just R1. And then Hype Prime, Number Flare. Easy. Oh yeah, the Heaven and Hell spells are completely random. Alright, Height, Prime, and then it was Flare, right? Height, Prime, Flare. Okay, Malik did survive, but it doesn't matter because he'll teleport anyway. If anyone is to survive, I'm glad it's him. No one else. Uh-huh. Both his, him and his sister should be the same age, right? I thought they were twins. If they're not twins, though, I'll, um, I'm happy to be wrong. I know that they're war orphans, though. I think Malik is a year or two older. Okay. <laughs> I remember losing the roof fight without getting a turn half the time. Yup, that sounds about right. How much longer is this run without math? Uh, if a good player is playing, 30 minutes. If an average player is playing, 45 minutes to an hour. Reporting to the weekend. Rafa is 13. Rafa's 13? And Malik is 16. Rafa's 13? Reporting to this.
Bruh. She told she comes and join us on our, our struggle. We take a child to war. Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't like that. I'm glad that the speedrun says no. <laughs> How old is Alma? It's like... Okay. Now I gotta do some shopping. Wizard Rod, Sprint, Shoes, Bracer, 108 Gems. Uh, just one of these. Sprint, Shoes. Whoops, uh, it's this way. Uh, one Bracer. And then 108 Gems. Nope, Formation. Change job to Black Mage. I went the right way this time. I equip the Wizard Rod and the Sprint Shoes. And then on Mustadio, Mithril Gun, uh, Green Beret, and uh, Sprint Shoes. And then remove all equipment off of Rafa. All right, and that's it. We're going to Yugo Woods. This one's easy, it's just CT3 Flare, and then pick off anybody who survives. I want to remaster this game so badly. Or, you could give me FFT2. I mean, I'll take both. Having both on a modern console would be lovely. And by console, you mean PC and console. Someone said Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, uh, CT3 player, CT3 player. All right, you want some Yu-Gi-Oh? <clears throat> Roses are red, violets are blue. You're a third-rate duelist with a fourth-rate deck. This force is also teeming with ghosts. I mean, yeah. You're a pretty good Kaiba. <laughs> I just need to say yeah. something about a white, or blue eyes white dragon, and then you nailed it. Blue eyes. There you go. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> We're done. We got. We hit all the the peaks and valleys of Kaiba. There's nothing else. Everyone, go home. Don't go home, please. Please stay. I'm lonely. <laughs> <laughs> There's still an hour and a half. Of <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to safety save. <laughs> Kaiba was never known for his rhyming. Exactly. Okay, so this fight. Uh, there's it's the normal math stuff, but we do a couple things to advance the fight to make it easier. Like uh, Mustadio shooting Rafa, which gets rid of Malik, because that makes sense. Oh, oh, can I get it? He didn't disappear. No, I was trying to get the the disappearing Duke. I haven't seen that in a long time. I got it uh, a couple days ago. I was like, yes! He stands up and just goes, bloop, and comes back. If only he stayed disappeared forever. <laughs> right? Man, speaking of characters that got introduced and then did nothing with them, is Lude. It, yeah, is Lude who uh, shows up and then that's about it. Yeah, he shows up once and talks to the character once, and it's nothing of super importance, and then this happens. Uh, probably like 70% of people who played this game got stuck at Ryovin the first time. Oh, yeah. We were talking about it earlier. This is where people's runs, or not runs, uh, games go to die. If you're unprepared, you uh, just you see that little thing, it's like, would you like to save? And you say, oh, of course, yeah. I just beat that uh, really hard map just before. I don't want to have to do that again. Little did you know, you're doing them all again. Yep. Are you ready? 
Uh, I'm just double checking. Okay, there's nothing I have to do. RM, 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 RM. The random band of monks, yeah, that's true. The 11 samurais. Isn't there like 12 summoners uh, in one of them? There's a lot of like really just evil uh, random encounters. Oh, yeah. I think they did know, and they did that on purpose, because if you think about it, uh, bad publicity is publicity, and that one tells people it's like, it was so difficult because of this. And to this day, we still talk about it. So it was a very smart decision. CT3, flare, and kill anyone who survives. Alright. I'm gonna have like three knights alive. Nope, I have an archer alive. Archer and three knights. Oh, no. One of the knights died. Two of the knights died. Three of the knights died. Okay, it's just the archer. Uh, she's level 28, so it's divisible of 4. Same with her EXP. Uh, I'm going... Nope, no, you're fine. Are you divisible of 4 for your EXP? Nope, perfect. EXP, 4. And then we'll just do another flare. She guarded it again. Wow, she is amazing. Okay, uh, and you're going to get She's guarding the side. castle for a reason. Uh, she did not attack. Okay, okay, well, EXP for holy, get out of here. We gave you a chance to go the easy way. All right. She guarded twice. She was ready to fight. So, fun fact, the next fight is completely scripted. There's no way to lose it unless you don't follow the script. So, in a normal way, I would say I'm going to safety save here, but I don't have to. But I should save in case some weird thing happens and let's say my uh, I accidentally stomp the ground and my disc falls out. Or you accidentally turn out on battle on. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> or you or you accidentally flare Agrius. Remember RPG Limit Break? And how I accidentally ejected my disc? Yeah, that, that's a thing that can happen. So I, I'm very much very, very careful. Don't pull a grand no, I'm I'll, I'm just gonna make sure I don't pull a casa. Blow into the disc if it happens. It'll be fine. I don't have that PS4 anymore, by the way. I got rid of it. <laughs> I have a new one that doesn't have Shadow Presence. It was haunted. I, I, I it was haunted! It. Literally, someone walked by and the shadow of it went, I'm ejecting. What are the chances that a stray cosmic ray flips a single bit? <laughs> It makes Y-Graph one-shot you. He said disc? Yeah, I said disc. Wait, what? What are people thinking I said? I have no idea. Uh, Is this a Chocobo, Choco a Chocobo thing? <laughs> oh no, not again. You know what? I got one better for you. <clears throat> Chocobo. Yeah, see, it could be so much worse. It could be worse. All right, so finally, the man, the legend, Wygriff shows up. Everyone has had their moment with Wygriff. Painful memories, sad memories, and then moments of triumph once you finally bested him. This one's for you guys, this moment. Here we go. What? No, pull out your sword, let's go. I 
I think the worst part... I, I don't think I had too much of a problem with this part. The part that I had a harder part was learning Ultima off of the second part. Here we go. That's one. I mean, I, I don't know. Wygraf did something wrong. He sold his soul to the Lukavi. Yeah, giving into the Lukavi. Luka, Lukavi. Luka, I, I, I'm not saying words. Anymore. That word, I pronounce it differently, and I'm just gonna get yelled at. Do you say Lukavi? Uh, Lukavi. Uh, that's fine. They never say it, explicitly say it anywhere. Yeah, there's, there's no voice actor who tells me I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah. All right, level prime number flare. Ah, the funny part is, we use Holy on the human form, and then we use Flare on the demon form. Completely backwards. Especially, especially since Velius is like, the fire one, going forward. Okay. My turn again. Uh, level prime and there. And he's dead. And he's out of here. Three strikes, you're out. This is our third fight with him, so that actually makes sense. Uh, Holy can't be blocked, and uh, knights can block magic. Uh, Blair cannot, uh, can be blocked, but not by monsters. And the flare is a quicker animation. Which is why we try to use flare as much as possible. Yeah, and it's also got uh, the slower animation, to, or uh, not slower, faster animation. So it hits hard and goes fast, but the chances of it being blocked are like one in three. All right, we're done chapter three. No, we're not. We got one more fight, then we're done chapter three. <laughs> The next fight is literally just one action. Thank you for avenging us. You're welcome. All those lost save files to the dust. They can rest easy now. I like this moment where they're trying to make us empathize with Islude. It's like, I haven't had enough time with you to empathize. Yeah, like, I, I beat you in a fight. You showed up. Your dad was a jerk. And now, that's it. Uh, fun fact, we actually buy an Aegis uh, shield in this uh, run. I'm assuming for that very reason. Other than, you know, Aegis shield being really good stats. Who needs stats when you blow everything up? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. I can emphasize that it sucks he got butchered by his own father. True. I don't understand why he did that. I don't. I mean, so, I... Because I think at this point, Vormov isn't really Vormov. Because, like... Par part of part of the agreement with the Lukavi is that you, you're selling your soul. And if I remember correctly, it's not only selling your soul, but they slowly start to take you over. Ah, uh, so that's why Wygriff himself isn't too, uh... Too different, whereas like Vormav, we've never seen him before and after, so. Yeah, exactly. That, if I remember correctly, that's the explanation. It's like, yeah, Wygraf is still Wygraf. He's got, you know, the Lukavi in his head, but he's dealing with it. Whereas Vormav's gone. Uh, Vormav's been, uh, Adram, Ad Adra, uh, my French, uh, Adramalek uh. for like forever. Yeah. Uh, the thing about Vormov, though, well, is uh, Islud is still human. Islud had a Zodiac Stone given to him so that he could eventually become a Lukavi. He was dying, oh. so he gave his stone to Alma. But like he, the the plan was for him to become one like his father. And uh, Melia Duel also has a stone for the exact same reason. They wanted to activate oh. all the Lukavi. 
here, here's, I, 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 yes, and here's, here's the weird question, because Rafa calls on it to revive Malik. It's because she's not taking it onto her own uh, soul. Right, but there's, like, there, so, like, it appears that there's triggers for this. Like, Wygraf had it as well, but needed to be dying for it. So, like, the others have to be dying, but also Islead had a stone, so why did I... Yeah, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he I probably know. heard the voice, but uh, decided he not to no. listen to it. Yeah. Because he actually, like, had a semblance of good in him. And I think the Lukavi needs you to be seated in some type of darkness in order to take over. That's why when Rafa calls upon the stone, she's not asking for anything with a dark nature, so it just resurrects her brother. And somehow Final Fantasy XII is involved. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hype Prime Flare, by the way. Oh no, Sephiroth. He's gonna use Murasame. Height Prime Flare. Height Prime Flare. Height Prime Flare. Gotta know the lore for the games that you like in speedrun. It's I've never been one to like pick a speed game uh, of a game that I know nothing about. Because I wanna sh- uh, like I want to show respect to the thing that I'm playing because if I'm playing it a whole bunch and people also like that thing, they're going to want to know what I think about the certain beats, right? And I want to be able to enjoy that uh, whimsy with them. (laughs) I can (laughs) fix them. I can fix them. (laughs) They're Ultima demons. (laughs) They're literal demons. It's a little bit of both. Uh, I, it's not that the stones themselves are holy. Um, they have it's a translation kind of thing. So they're actually called orosite. Uh, so it's a specific type of stone that is able to house a spirit inside of it, and so they banished the demons inside of those stones. The, uh, the way to release the Lukavi from the stones is to allow them to make a pact with you in order for your flesh to become theirs. But it's not like a full release. Uh, because once someone is defeated, the body's flesh is taken away and then they're resealed back into the stone. Exactly, like the Orsite Orisi- uh, in Final Fantasy XIV. Everything starts making sense when you start talking about Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah, yeah. I mean, fourteen borrows a lot from the other games to be able to make more sense of the its storyline. Oh, oh, here it is. My favorite. <laughs> this translation is my favorite. All right, all right. Is this it right here? No, no, not yet. After Malik is done talking. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A Lukavi, L-U-C-A-V-I. Uh, you'll see the name here in a moment. Uh, it's the demon spirit that is trapped within the Orsite. Here it is. So this part... All right. I didn't think the god made holy stones, but dot 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 more evil dot dot dot. Well dot dot dot. Lukavi made them to land in this world. What does that mean? Who knows? <laughs> It's just, it's just that translation is so good because I'm like I have no idea. And then this I also here. just oh, yeah. right, go ahead. 
was gonna say, I just, I just question like this scene playing out with Malik talking, and Malik's just not even on screen. It's a flashback to a thing we never saw. <laughs> In a flashback. What happened to this translation? They didn't think this game was going to be as beloved as it is, so they just kind of quickly threw it together and threw it out. And then, you know, here we are. Uh, what is it? It was 98 when it came to English. 25 years later, here we are. We don't take them with us. All right. We are done. Chapter three. We are going to save. Because I do not wish to do all of that again. Isn't 12 a different Ivelisse? No, they're the same Ivelisse. And if you play War of the Lions, you'll see both here. And also Luso in the game. And in this one, we have Cloud. I think Cloud's still in the original, or not Cloud, in the original, War of the Lions Cloud's as well. In the remake. Yeah. yeah. Alright, but hold on. Explain the flower girl to me real quick. <laughs> I mean, if we look at the world of life stream, it's very possible that one Aerith and another Aerith can exist. I knew you would have an answer and I knew I would hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Uh, nope, 14 is the same Ivelisse as well. Uh, it is confirmed by the scenario writer. Which is problematic, because now it means I have to play 14. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because, uh, it tells us the history between, uh, tactics to 12 to present day 14. And also Fran is there for some reason. Ivelisse is a nation, yes. Okay. Can I be lucky? I nope. believe. <laughs> In the same breath. What? Ivelisse is a continent, yes. Like, it's a huge continent. Like, what we're on right now, this is Ivelisse. It's just a small part of this world. Alright, I'm gonna try it one more time, then I'm gonna do it one by one if it doesn't work. Ooh, do I think they mention another continent. We got it! Somewhere. Yeah! In, like, one of the rumors, maybe? Or multiple rumors? Uh, so... The scenario writer for Tactics in 12 came out recently and debunked a bunch of things that people were talking about. It's like, no, that's a rumor. That's not true. Uh, and then when people asked if this Ivelisse was the same, he said, yes, it is. And it's like, all right, I'm going to believe the dude who wrote the entire story. <laughs> but he wrote Delita. So does that mean we can trust him? Yes. Okay, just happy. Because he also killed Delita. <laughs> Well, I mean, right. so, but the leader doesn't die, right? Yes, he does. I'm pretty do you sure they read that. Do you remember not I... remember that last scene with him and the princess? Uh, I'm pretty sure. I remember that, but I'm pretty sure there was some bit afterwards that says that he didn't die. Which is why I was upset about that. <laughs> is that a, uh, a MacGuffin in the War of the Lions version? So in right. War of the Lions, yeah, I, in War of the Lions, I'm, I'm fairly certain they they changed it so that he survives. No action. Don't do an action. Don't do an action. Don't do an action. He's doing an action. This sucks. Oh no. Okay. Um. Let's see. 
All right, I'm level 27 and 25 experience. If you're 22 experience, level 33. Divisible 3, divisible 3. Okay, you're on height 7, I'm on height 9, 5. Uh, you are level 30 with 28 experience. 25. Okay, EXP 4. You're dead. Yeah, they don't even change it. Yeah, he, he just straight up doesn't die. That's weird, because, like, he gets stabbed by the princess, and then he kills the princess. Yeah, he just gets... He's better at taking knives. <laughs> he's been stabbed before. He, he knows how to figure it out. Alright, so he has... He's level 3... Uh, I can't write. Uh, what? You're on height 9, and I'm on height 10? Alright, you're dead. Height 3? Holy. Does the princess doesn't die either? All right, now I'm learning stuff. I was pretty sure she died. All right. Uh, after Jugula, we don't need no backup. We just go straight into Prevenia Free City, and we just do level five holy. Yeah, it's R and M. Nope, go back. Yes, this is a PS1 game. This is a PS1 game. It's an amazing PS1 game. War of the Visions is a trap. Do not play it. It is... <laughs> do <It's> not. <laughs> Hey, look, it's a really useful character if she's level 29. Alright, so it's level 5 holy. And we're done! Goodbye, Melio Duel. See you later, when you become my teammate. Oh, spoilers. Spoilers, this is a speed run. Is this the same as the DS version? No. They're two different games. Uh, the DS version is Tactics Advance 2, and then there's the Game Boy Advance version, which is Tactics Advance 1. I say 1 because it's easier to explain. <laughs> and then this is the PlayStation Final Fantasy Tactics. Just... That's it. Just Final Fantasy Tactics. That's the name. We're done. Okay, um... Do I just go straight into Pinath River? Yes, I do. I was making sure I had no menus. These reps have words with the church to cover up the existence of Lukapi Ramza and all of that. The story is basically just... Al-Islam reading Olan's account of what happened. He was executed after deleted stat. Yeah, I know. He got burned at the stake and called a heretic. Okay. CT3 Bolt 3, right? I didn't see a Rebu. If there isn't a Rebu, though, he'll, he'll show up. Where are the lions is fine, it's where are the visions that's not. Oh? Oh? Uh-oh. He's fine. Can't reach. This is fine. Perfect. I think the saddest part is the 3 HP. Nah, it's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, War of the Visions. It's a phone game that is based on the Final Fantasy Tactics style. Yeah, we're far and enough away from Meteor. That's the whole point of the placement that we have there. Make them come to us. And there's definitely no way War of the Visions is in the timeline. <laughs> right? <laughs> Please, no. I hope right? not. 
Of course, like they made a character that looks like Ramza too. It's like, stop. And then added Ramza. He's just like, yo, what's good? You know what? They should put Alma in the game so she can actually be a useful unit this time. We're getting to the point where we're going to be uh, ditching being a uh, a mage class and become a squire class again soon. All right. Yes, this is live. At the very least, the continent and the world do not resemble anything I've heard of before, which means it's probably not in the same place. Hey, it's Delita. So we're good. <gasps> oh my god. His name is an anagram, Atildi. <laughs> what's, what's your name in anagram of? Mine? Yeah. I don't know. Hey, you can't anagram a single letter. That is what an anagram is. Oh, Wait, what? Sorry, one I... second. No, I. <laughs> If you take a name and move it around, that's what an anagram is, isn't it? Yeah, but if you only have one letter, you can't move it around. Oh, ah, you're talking. Oh, I'm talking about my actual name. No, I'm talking about Ron's current name. No, I'm just. My character's name is the sound that Serskit makes in Pokemon. All right, level five, holy. Why is everyone a derivative of level five? All right, we're not buying anything. We're just equipping a few things. We're going to equip the 108 gems on Ramza and the angel ring on Mustadio. We're going to save and then go to bed desert. We're going to go see our boy, uh, what's his name? Balk. Ah. Our good old friend. <laughs> <laughs> and here we kill someone else in holy vestments. <laughs> it's true, though. On top of a church, too. What we were praying in. <laughs> yup. He didn't get that holy buff. We did. We went inside to get the buff. Yo, it's Balmafula, a character that does not get used. You would, uh, A, yes. B, you would think that, like, the church and would, like, they, that they would wear holy robes, right? Exorb the holy. Yeah, you would think you would have something to absorb holy. N nope. How many until we get enough punch card bonuses? Wait, what does that mean? Oh, oh, I, I had to go back and read. Uh, I mean, we've got one, two, three, four, five more holy style knights to beat. So probably like eight, because it's always one more than you're re reasonably going to get. All right. Uh, nope, the 108 gems right there, and you get the angel jet ring. There we go. But they do have holy power. It's literally built into the class. <laughs> yeah. Alright, R and M. Done. It costs... Right. What, it's like it's a thousand JP? Which one? Holy's like a thousand, right? Six hundred. Yeah, that's what I said. A thousand. <laughs> Minus four hundred. Oh god, it's more math. More math. Is, this, is holy really six? What am I thinking? I have no idea. M barrier, maybe. Yeah, M barrier, the classic priest skill. <laughs> <laughs> it should be. I mean, you're it not wrong. It literally uses the entire set. From priest in the spell, like what? Hey, it's all the all the spells you care about. Uh, L two R two. 
All right, Balk, do your thing. He's going to shoot Mustadio. Wow, that's perfect damage, too. All right, and now we shoot him back. And now it is CT Prime Holy. Easy every time. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Okay, I, you're, you, if you played War of the Lions, that might be why you think that. Because a lot of things got changed, apparently. Yeah, I looked it up to the Soul 600. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what I'm talking about. <laughs> ah, Mastadio's alive. We're fine. All right, we got another menu here before we go into Bethel Garrison. And soon we will be a squire with Ragnarok. Ragnarok's an amazing sword, and uh, in this version of the game, we can duplicate it. The Holy Sword Ragnarok? Not Wait, is it Ragnarok? No, it's Excalibur. Ragnarok we get from Ultima. Yes. Uh, Excalibur. We can duplicate Excalibur. You know, the Holy Sword. The one of a kind Holy Sword. We can make three of them. All right, all right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And these churchy types don't play fair. Good thing Ramza doesn't either. <laughs> okay. Sprint shoes, Ramza, and take everything off of Mistadio but his weapon. Sprint shoes. And then remove. Nope, I need that gun back on you. Three raises a thousand. That makes sense. That's a really broken skill. So specifically, it's a thousand in uh, War of the Lions, I think. Yeah. Okay, here we go. We're going to hope that a lot of these people die. Uh, so in this part, on the Bethel Garrison Sluice, you choose the North Wall, not the South Wall. Uh, if we choose the south wall, it, you're in for a bad time, and might as well reset. But here, we got a lot more uh, control over what happens with one unit. Yeah, Excalibur can absorb holy, which is amazing. Alright, CT, 3, and then Flare. The top archer died, that's great. He guarded, so one of the lancers survived. If the summoner could die, that'd be great. Thank you. And the monk. So we just gotta worry about the... Okay, if anyone survives, I'm just gonna move back one. Alright. What level are you? 34 and 88 experience, so a der derivative of 4 experience. And what do I have? Oh, perfect! Okay, EXP, 4, holy. And we're done this fight. So that's how math essentially is with each battle. You just kind of scan your enemies for something that you can use after the original script doesn't go through. And uh, I got lucky there. There was only one. But uh, if there had been a couple alive, I would have had to just kind of essentially pick them off one by one, depending on who survived. Local man abuses Apicus to obliterate entire battlefields. True. <laughs> okay, so now we have some things we have to do. This is probably my least favorite map in the entire run because of what can happen. There are a bunch of things that could just say, eh, you're done. What we need to do is we need to teleport onto a switch. And if we fail, we have a backup. We use quick, we do it again. However, if you fail again, that's fun. Get ready, because now everything is off kilter and you have to figure it out on your own, or just reset. I'm going to be making a safety save before it, so that if it does go wrong, I can just go boop and fix it, because it'll be faster for me to just hit the soft reset and just load it up again. It 
it is also the one map that I remember where we don't have to kill a single unit. We just have to step on the switches and that's it. Yeah, Duke Larg shows up for like a moment and does a thing and it's like, oops, and then it's done. Okay, time to menu. So we're going to change Ramza now over to Squire and we're going to set time magic and teleport with short charge on him. And then we're going to best fit him and uh, equip a few other things. Uh, I need to change your job to, I said Squire, uh, ability set, time magic, where is it? There it is, uh, short charge and teleport. We're going to best fit, and then we're going to put on white robe. Nope, there it is, white robe, and that's it. And then order units by max HP. Perfect. So this is when we see if everything goes either nice or horribly, horribly wrong. Yeah, the, that's like the only time they do something really cool with the sprites. It's like, oh, look at this wine I got, and it actually moves in the cup around. It's like, huh? I put on my white robe and my wizard cap. <laughs> nice! Okay. It's a good thing I don't have to fight this knight, because he is my worst Zodiac. Do not cast haste. Thank you. So is that knight. They're both the same Zodiac, huh? Okay. Please do not fail. Oh, this is great. The other one's like... It's 100%. 90%? Is it 100? Okay. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's within my movement area. Yeah. I couldn't remember I what your movement was at this point. Uh, what is my study of roll? Uh, for most battles, uh, it's... Well, so... It's the duel, unless I'm wrong, uh, it's the duel, A, it helps manipulate the turn order, and B, if for some reason somebody's alive that Mustadio can kill, Mustadio can just shoot them. Yeah, which is what happened in uh, that uh, one with the chocobos. Uh, there was a red yeah, chocobo that lived, so I shot. Well, the one that I can't think of the name of. You're right, uh, right? I can't remember it anymore either. We're only there for like a split second, so it doesn't matter. Uh, it is called... Thinath River. There we go, yeah. Alright, so that was textbook. That went perfect, by the way. Well, so... The, the lore reason for doing this is to actually prevent the two sides colliding. This prevents a giant bloodbath. Yep, and at the same token, uh, at this very moment, because they are now split apart, the leaders have also both been assassinated. And so now everyone's at a standstill not knowing what to do. We got the best character! It's this point of the game where it's like, all right, you've done well enough here. You can have your instant win. Even in like your casual, like this character is way too powerful. All right, here we go. Am I gonna take him? Absolutely. TG Sid, let's go. We actually use him too for the, I think every fight after this now, except for one. No, two. I mean, two fights because you only does, need Bromza for to hit one person. Does 
I mean, he's there for the final fight. I don't know if, if you're counting that as one of them. Yeah, he's there for the final fight, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, he's there to uh, CT, I think. Actually, no, he's just there as a support. He helps in the first part of the fight, and then later on he's like, oh, I'm rendered useless because Demi go burr. What's our time right now? 3.30... 3.39, basically. Wait, really? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. You would think this would be the end of a chapter, but no. It is not. It is only halfway through chapter 4. And chapter 4 is, in fact, the final chapter of the game. Oh no, they killed Sid! Uh, world record is, like, four? Mm, Grivados, I think, was one of the people who sat at the chair at uh, the war meetings. Yeah. And so they used him as a body double for Sid so he could escape. Even though they could have not killed him and just said they killed him. You know what I mean? But they needed to produce a body. Oh, let's go. Okay, do I need to buy something? Is it uh, Zeltenia? Oh no, Zargadas. Okay, perfect. And buy the flower in Zargadas. It's time to start our speed run of Final Fantasy X, guys. Let's go. Well, let's do the opening scene. All right. Uh, the iconic Final Fantasy VII opening scene. Here is Aerith with her uh, flowers. And then a blonde soldier walks on by. <laughs> <laughs> But we're jerks, and we say, no, we don't want your uh, flowers. Get out of here. All right, that's the end of Final Fantasy VII. Thank you for coming to the Final Fantasy VII speedrun. Back to Final Fantasy Tactics. There's another Y-Griff. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to buy an Aegis Shield. There it is. Uh, one... Ice shield, two flash hats, uh, one twist headband, uh, and two power sleeves. Whoops. No, that's a judo outfit. That's a still a judo outfit. That's still a judo outfit. That was interesting. Okay, uh, now we're going to go try on a sword, and then best fit, and then try on a sword, and then best fit, and that should be everything. Are you sure you don't want the judo outfit? I'm just going to double check our Excaliburs. We need to duplicate one more. All right, fitting room, try on, sword, and best fit, and there we go. All right, now we're in here. Orlando, we need to equip the twist headband and the power sleeve. On Mustadio, we equip the flash hat and angel ring. And then on this guy, we're just going to equip the magic gauntlet, which is right here. Wait, where's my magic gauntlet? Did I not buy one? Is, I forgot to buy one. Okay. Uh, there it is. What an easy fix. <laughs> Alright, magic gauntlet, and then we need a wizard robe, which is right here, and then a holy miter, which is right here, Aegis shield, and Excalibur. Uh, whoops, we are not done. There's still more menu. Uh, we gotta put on the math skill. Uh, magic damage up, and take off teleport. And then remove all of Orlando's abilities, so it's a quick change, and see if I can learn anything. No, I can't. Now we're going to go to Germanus Peak, but I'm going to save because that was a long menu. We actually have three Excaliburs now. 
All right, so Ramza, you go here. Orlando goes... No, you're not Orlando. Bye-bye. All right. So this one is just CT3 Flare, and if anybody survives, just kill with Orlando, and then uh, pay attention if there's more than one. Yeah, absorb that juicy content. Okay, so CT3 Flare. CT3 and then Flare. Alright, let's see who survives. There's not a lot much to talk about here, it's just making sure that we hit our maths uh, and then just clean up afterward. Like that thief there somehow lived. Oh, that thief lived too. Okay, so we have two survivors. Two survivors. Yeah, only two. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to move you here. How far can you move? You can't hit. Okay. Uh, you have... Oh. Hmm. What is this? Oh, he's just throwing a stone. Okay. Uh, you have eight experience. Blair uh, has a faster animation, so the hope is that you just kill everything with Flair, and usually it still is going to save time over using Holy anyway. Yeah. Alright, I just need to... He's on 7. 7 is a prime number, right? Height, prime, Holy? I can't see him. I'm just gonna say yes. There we go. Trust. Sometimes I question myself. There we go. We're all done. <laughs> uh, that is true, workshops. And we use it to ensure like something like that. I, I could have used Flare again, but there's a chance that he could have blocked it. Uh, okay, and then we just go to Poskus Lake. We don't have any menus here. We don't have any menus for a while. Uh, R and O. There we go. Yep, I have a, a chart that I have open every stream of the compatibilities so that I don't have to think about it. It's like, oh, it's that one. Okay. I'm just like looking at three symbols over and over again. It's like, I don't want these. I don't want these. I don't want these. Uh, this is level prime flare. Wait, no, wait, no, it's not. Oh, yes. No, it's CT3 flare. I'm looking at a backup strat. We don't need the backup strat. CT3 flare. And then clean up with Orlando if it's close enough. CT3 flare again. Oh, one of them lived. Usual. Uh, the good thing is, right now, is because we're cleaning up with uh, Orlando, uh, we get job points on him, so if we can uh, scroll him, we will. Okay, someone lives, so I'm just going to move back. We're going to kill the Oracle because he is the worst. All right, Archer is level... Oh, he's 60. Oh, no, he's on 8 height. Perfect. He may be on 4 height. That's fine. I'm on 1.5. Okay, height, 4. And I'm just going to do flare. Wait, what? Oh, he's levitating. He's on height 9. Oh, rip. I forgot about the levitate. That's fine, that's fine. At least I understood what went wrong there. Yeah. There we go. All done. Maybe I just wanted the extra experience. On the wrong person? I yeah. guess JP you want on Orlando. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, so the next fight is just me going in with Ramza because he uh, Orlando doesn't have lightning stab. Nah, it's just a flesh wound. He'll he'll brush it off. All right. Uh, oh, we're getting close to the Icarus Trek. Yum. First try every time. Uh, I hope so. So I think we might actually finish the run around 4.30ish, so that's good. Because we're at, like, what, 3.47 now? 3.49? 3.49. Alright. Limberry. The only place I need to make a safety save is the last fight. Yeah, you got. I got two Phoenix Downs. We're fine. Alright, so Ramza, we just go in. And then we just level prime number holy. We can't get hit. Because we have Excalibur. I don't know what level we are. Because I could have done the risky strat. No, I won't do the risky strat. I didn't save. We are smart. We aren't wasting time. All right, here they are, the Gorlies. Ever try to make sense of the story of this game? It's actually uh, pretty straightforward if you break it down by characters. So each character has their own subplot, and if you understand what their motivations are, the story kind of unfolds from there. Some characters just kind of bump into each other, and that's the extent of their nature. All right, so it was level prime holy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Level prime holy, level prime holy, yes. Oh, that's nice. Balmafula does nothing. Yeah, that's true. She does absolutely nothing. She does get to, like, hang out with Olan, though. Alright. Uh, outside done. Uh, Elm door. We don't have to worry about anything. Delara, there's no menu. Okay. So we just go in. We're actually hitting a string of just like boss after boss after boss. Uh, we're going to be seeing a lot of blue copy for the next while. We're going to see Zalera. We're going to see Adromalek. We're going to see Hashalom. And then we're going to see Saint Ajora herself. Which makes no sense. I didn't realize that was a demon. I thought she was a holy figure, but apparently she's not. Well, she's like a false... So... She, she's a demon who was... Like, everybody thought she was a holy figure, but in actuality she was a demon. Or alternatively, everybody thought she was a, a good person, but she was actually evil. Maybe she was a fallen angel. Um, wait, wait, wait. She gets to hang out with Olan until Delita cuts her tongue out. Actually, Delita doesn't end up killing Balmafula. Uh, that you see her in the end cutscene with Olan when they go to the grave. And Olan even says, He let her live. It's very confusing. Uh, this is level prime number holy still. Level prime number holy. Oh, Ajara was possessed by Ultima and had to be put down. Okay, that makes sense. That makes way more sense. And it also makes sense why people would revere her too, because she'd be super powerful. A 
all of the endgame bosses no teleport, except for a Dramalek, for some reason. Okay, now I'm actually gonna save. It's time for Zalera. So it's O M R. R M O. Uh, nope, we don't need this. Okay. Ramza, Mustadio, Olon. Or, or, or Orlando. Ramza, Mustadio, Orlando. I mean, you can put Olan in. I'd A, call you a cheater, and B, question why you're bringing Olan in, because Olan's not strong. <laughs> he is not strong. He has one spell, and it's not even that great. All of a sudden, Alma's in the fight. <laughs> Olan. Zalbag. Okay. Speaking of failed wrong. teleports and almost dying, that happened at the in chapter one for me. It's like, no, 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 no. Yeah, uh-huh. A monk Talk scared me. Circle. Oh, here it is. Uh, My favorite color. Yeah, the bosses have teleport too, which is can't fail. All right. Or most of them. R1, R2, L2. And it's a uh, high prime flare. What are you gonna do, Zalera? Yeah, that's what I thought. What is that? Oh, it's what is that? Meteor or whatever? Or is it Flare Two? I think it's uh, yeah, Bio Flare. I think it's called in this, or maybe it's Bio Flare and more. Oh, Melia Jewel has the same Zodiac as Ramza. Oh, wait, wait. I need to read this. Uh. Uh, Masario shoots. Okay, just normal shoot. And then moves one and left. That crit, though. That did nothing. <laughs> Alright, but he's dead. Oh, it is Flare 2. Heck yeah. Alright, Zalera's done. We got to uh, do some stuff after this, some menuing. We're going to take Melia Duel. We're going to kick out Mustadio. This is Mustadio's last hurrah, guys. He did his job well. Now he can go home and help his dad. Right. If he makes it back, that is. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's not that long. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, Give me um, your, I need to know what level she is. Before we do the Egros uh, trek, do you want to go to a break after your menus? Uh, sure. It'll be the last one. The last break before we go into the final stretch of the run. All right. Melia Duel is joining the party. What level is she? 28. Oh, wait, but we have time to get her up to level 29. Okay. It all depends on what happens in the next little bit here. Okay. Uh, do my menu real quick. All right. Order units by number. And then we're gonna kick him out. And then we have some items. It's Flash Hat on Orlando. Uh, and on. Uh, wait, where's my Flash Hat? Oh, I know, it's Barrette, right? 
Oh no, it's flash hat on Ramza. What am I doing? Uh, and that's it. All right, good to go. All right. So during these uh, these long uh, speed runs, we like to take breaks every once in a while, just to get up, stretch, get some water. Right before we go to that break, just a quick reminder, if you're watching over on YouTube, be sure to press the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. As well, you can go to twitch.tv slash games done quick if you're interested in watching any of our content live. It starts weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern and weekends at 1 p.m. Eastern. With that said, we'll be back in just a few minutes for the rest of the run. We are in the middle of our Final Fantasy Tactics showcase, and we are here with the last stretch of Final Fantasy Tactics. We are ready to do the legendary Egros Trek Castle whenever you're ready. There's a cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> also, because I saw it in chat, um, and you should save after the cutscene, but yeah. I did. <laughs> we did have the same conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot all about the cutscene. That's so funny. I also forgot about the cutscene. I was so worried about you saving. Alrighty. Well, we'll save again after this is done. Alright, Olan. He's badly wounded. You can tell by the one color of red on him. <laughs> oh, actually, there is a unique uh, death rattle scream in this cutscene. Uh, Balmafula is the only one who does this specific scream in the entire game. Don't do it. Don't trust the man. Oh, she's smart. She ain't trust him. He's filled with lies and deceit. Don't believe Ondor's lies. Wait. Ondor? Delita? Are they related? Yes. That's my uh, headcanon now. Delita. He changes his last name from whatever it is to Ondor. So that scream is only hers and hers alone. All right. I'm Captain Bosch von Ronsenberg from Dalmasca. I had to listen to that so much that it's like burned in my uh, my brain forever. It's burned in your retinas. <laughs> my retinas. You listen to ears, it a lot. It's burned. You listen to it so much you can see the sound waves. Or, like, the sound form. Never figured out what happened there. Uh, he actually knocks her out. He doesn't actually kill her. And then her and Olan go away. Um, because they are used as pawns later. After the story's done. It's engraved deep into my soul. All right, now the cutscenes are done. We're going to save, and now we're going to finally do the Icarus Trek. All right, move and go. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't waste any time. It said, like, nah. All right. Uh, everybody forget the last 20 seconds. All right. First try 30. every time, right? 36 seconds. I assume, but well, yeah, but we're a little bit into that. True, 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 true. All 
right, uh, round two. All right, we're going for a third round, apparently. Oh, it's the same. The same tile. Welcome to Final Fantasy Tactics, Igris Trek. I'm going to count to two Mississippi and then go. Load it, load it, load it. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. I was denied. Okay, so... Uh, mm. We're getting bad luck, by the way. Well, it's like... What are the odds every time you cross a green? I don't remember. It's been a while. My brain wants to say 33. Yeah, uh, but like once the trek actually starts, I think it just like rewrites and says it's not happening anymore. I think after you yeah, get past so the second one. Yeah, there's yeah, there's some weird thing where if you pass a certain amount of the green dots, you can't get an encounter anymore. Um, I just keep getting the first one. Clearly, you need to circle the other way. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh. uh. All right. So I think there was also all right. So this is this is a long time ago, and this might have all been theoretical things that were never proven. I feel like there's also, like, the reason you go straight to Egros instead of trying to do an in-between is because there's a higher... Oh, okay, well. <laughs> there's a higher chance of you getting an encounter if you click on shorter travel distances. Okay, well, I'm going to give it one more try, and if it's not, I'm going to have to do one by one. Yep. Because... We're at five failed attempts now. Woo! But remember, Casa, first try every time. I have not gotten the first screen like that so much in a long time. My god! That six failed on the exact first screen again. Oh my god. That's incredibly bad. 33% chance, by the way. Probably. Asterisk. <laughs> Asterisk, 33%. The person who read the uh, wrote the battle mechanic guide is going to find this video in like three years and yell at me in the comments because I got it wrong. So big asterisks on 33%. Got it. Easy every time. See? First try every time. Okay, there we go. Nope, it's all random. Uh, so there isn't a task full run because there's too many variables that wouldn't work. But there's probably a segmented one. First try GG, Casa. <laughs> okay. Look, it's so hard to avoid the church curse and, like, hype people up, but also not believe in them. And to explain it every time that I'm cursed and I have to not believe in people for things to work, it's just, it takes so much effort. Okay. We're almost there. We have this fight, three in that one area, and four in the last area, I think. Five. Five in the last area. Isn't it like three Malone's 
uh, like holy city. There's outside. There's the Temple Knights. There's Salbag. And then uh, in UBS, there's the encounter. Like another. And two then or one of the guys. Then and then, then we go and fight Kletian. Uh, this is CT3 Holy. CT3 Holy. Uh, Kletian, then Balk, then uh, Hashmal. Little uh, Hashram? Hashmal? Hashmalam? Then uh, Ultima, Ultima 2. I, yeah, I think. I think that's 10 if you throw the. Well, I guess it's 11 because the, the final battle is. Yeah. So yeah, there's 11, I think, question. I can't believe we lost four minutes just to encounter uh, our RNG. Yeah, that's rough. And also, welcome to Final Fantasy Tactics. <laughs> yep, you could have a really good run. And then Igor Trek says, I'm done with you. Okay. This is... So we wait with Ramza... And then it's CT3 Flare, Stasis Sword, so I'm going to ask you another lore question here, and yeah. I know you're going to have some answer for me, uh, and I'm already going to hate it, but if if Dysodarg just straight up kills Zalbag here and yeah. turns him undead, why didn't he just do that on Ramza? Ramza has uh, holy stones on him. Uh, that's actually a really good, actually logical answer instead of the other ones. All right, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually a good answer. I'm okay with this one. I answered it so quickly too. <laughs> yeah. You, all right. Yeah. No. It's you're right. I'm not even mad about that one. Chat seems to be uh, very happy with my reasoning as well. All right. We're on our way to Marone her Holy Place, but first we got to go buy a thief hat, which we're going to use in the very final fight. Did I say a bad word? Oh. I, I don't remember that. Not unless I just, like, blacked out the past minute. <laughs> uh, the difference between Holy and Flare. Holy is guaranteed to hit, but has a longer animation. Mm -hmm. Flare is, like, an 80% chance to hit, but... Uh, is a faster and, uh, and Barrette. Nope. Uh. Oh. Can we left Racer? Okay. Because Melia Duel is level 28. Rip. Oh, a Dramalik said the bad word. Okay. That makes sense. I was like, when did I say something? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I already apologized once. That should mean I learned my lesson. How many times are we going to teach you this <laughs> lesson, old man? That's where I wasn't going to go. <laughs> As there's an old man being stabbed by Temple Knights. You could say those fights are blairly easy. I am very proud of that, too. Good job. No, we don't do the Cloud storyline. In fact, we said no to the flower. Cloud is also just... Not good. Yeah, Cloud needs, like, 
what, 60 levels to be good? <laughs> Oh, I put Olan too forward. Whoops. Who's Olan? Uh, Orlando. I don't know why I keep doing that. Dude. Olan is in his name, okay? And he birthed I Olan. Mean, you're not wrong. Bum. 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 Uh, the extra characters are... You, 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 up until this point, you want as few characters as possible, and you only start bringing Melia Duel and Orlando because they're like broken OP. Orlando more so than Melia Duel, but. Oh, he lived. Cloud? Well, I would probably be a pretty good character if he didn't start at level one and it wasn't like 40 hours into the game by the time you got him. Yeah, it's just the point that you get him. He's just so weak, underleveled, and you need to know where his Materia Blade is in order to be able to use him. Which it's yeah. on a volcano, by the way. You have to use move find item. And it's all so it's all don't you like have to do some other scuff stuff because it's like super high. So you have to like get a chocobo or something or just somebody with really high jump. Oh, oh, right. She she won't die. Uh, Who lived? No, everyone died. OK. I looked away for a moment because the real Orlando is in chat. <laughs> and you told me to place him properly. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm being taught. Like I have a dad character being like, son, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, Melia Duel is still level 20. Uh, whatchamacallit? Level 28. R-O, R-O. I won't be using Crush Punch or Holy Explosion because I don't have either. Smile. Why did Holy hit everyone? Because math. Basically, there is a, a class in the game that lets you target uh, people based on certain factors. So level, uh, height, uh, experience value, stuff like that, and whether or not it's a multiple of three, four, five, or if it's prime. Uh, and then you can just hit target everybody with a spell. So that's why Holy is hitting everybody. But not my people like Orlando and Ramza. It hit Melia Duel, but she has an Excalibur, so she can't be hit. Is that Marsh? No, Marsh is based on Ramza. Because they realized that Ramza was a very iconic character, so they tried to recreate it for the Game Boy, and uh, he didn't have the At same all. kind of charisma. He didn't have that riz. Alright, we're done the fight. <laughs> nice and easy. Now we gotta go fight Zalbag, but we gotta do an equipment real quick. <sighs> Not Rez, Riz, R I Z Z. Alright, change job. We're gonna go become an oracle real quick. Uh, and then we're gonna go to you. And put on a twist headband. And then you have your bracer, right? Perfect. Is Oracle like I feel like Oracle wasn't a, like switching to Oracle here wasn't a thing when I did this, but I could be wrong. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. 
Back in my day, we Back didn't in turn my rocks day. into an oracle. Wait, do you know anything about no oracles? <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's not true just based on the fact you have to oracle to get calculator, but... Oh no. Oh no. Yes, we use the scroll glitch. And also the duplication glitch to have three Excaliburs. How strong is Knight? Not strong. Okay. Split punch. Ooh, crit. But is it actually a crit? It is. <gasps> Ooh, real crit. Wait, he ran away. No. No. Uh, Melia Duel, what are we gonna do? Well, you can't do that, so <sighs> I guess go hit him. Can you hit anyone from here? No? Oh, this sucks. You can hit with a flare, question mark? Uh, hope you're alive, question mark? Uh-oh. If we can survive, we'll be fine. Brother! Oh wait, I can math. Uh, one second. What are you? Uh, sixteen experience. Okay, and I'm not a divisible. Yes, I am. Uh, you're um level forty-seven. Okay, that's nothing to me. That's not helpful. Uh, are the other people fine if I take this hit? Yes, I am. Okay. Math exp four. I'm just gonna do both three. This should be enough. It wasn't enough. Oh, but he's coming back out. It okay. Was four. It's fine. We got it. That is. Welcome to uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, where things go wrong. I got excited for a crit, but it actually ruined everything. That's the wild part, is like, you get excited for credit, it's like, oh wait, no, this screws everything up. This is the worst. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Oh, I, I guess the chat's just seeing that I let Ramza die. <laughs> Everything's fine. Need to be made. Everything's fine. Sometimes you're the sacrifice. <laughs> okay, we gotta put uh, Ramza back to... Squire. Yeah, you can just go wrong immediately quickly. It's just like, oops! That crit that you were excited for that did double damage? Uh, yeah, it'll be your demise. Ramsa missed his bro's final words because he killed himself with a lightning bolt. <laughs> Uh, no, that's not their father's tomb. The father's tomb's outside, actually. There's big differences between this one and the PSP version, including new cutscenes, new characters, new classes, uh, balancing, and some bug updates. All right, formation, change job, back to Squire. Uh, boom, and then Aegis Seal. Uh, of course. We're so close. It knows. It knows that this is the last encounter that it can mess me up with. Mm. 
All right. Uh, by the way, we're going into final fights. Uh, from here on out, it's just a couple mobs, and then... Well, I'm going to data for some reason. We got this, we got this, we got this. Don't, don't let me down, thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, we got a mob fight, Rafael, Kletian... Oh, no. Yeah, Kletian, Balk, Hashmalum, and then Ultima. Uh, There's like two books beforehand, right? It's like UBS4 into 5 into... Uh, it's just UBS4 and then into Rafael. I swear there was two. Okay. No, just one. Yep, this is endgame. We no longer have a means to leave. We are trapped. Because we're going to Marond Death City instead of Marond Holy Place. All right, CT3 Holy. All right, let's see. Who's going to survive? Oh, wow. I'm killing all the knights. I mean, that's you. Oh, one lived. Not too worried about that, though. Yeah, the books here are gigantic. Oh, one of the monks lived. So, in order of survivors, we go archer, monk, knight. Those are the priority. So, we're going to kill the monk. He's got 24 experience. How much do I have? 66. That's a divisible of four. No, it's not. Uh, I'm just going to do a bolt three. Yeah, that should be fine. Nice. Perfect. All right, we're moving on to Rafael. What spell was that? That was CT3 Holy, or it was Holy, I don't think it was CT3, right? It, it was CT3 it was, Holy, yes. And then I did yeah, EXP4 Light, uh, Bolt 3. It was, it was cast using the math skill, which allows it to be cast against multiple targets in one turn. Basically, anyone who's in charge time 3 or higher got hit. Uh... Orlando and I are like in one and two, so the rest of the people got wrecked. Level three, holy. Wait, I'm, oh, I'm fine. I have Excalibur. I can't be hit because I know I'm level 33 right now. Yep. Can confirm. I did just see the level. See, it is the UBS5. It's just the same thing. It's Rafael. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> I was, Look at the big books, I was insane. I was the pretty sure there was bigger. two UBFs. Oh, yeah. The books get bigger. It's just because there's so much knowledge contained in these books that they have to expand to contain them. Could you imagine if these were all just picture books? Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, oop, uh, mm, I don't know about this one. Oh, dang. I can heal. <laughs> I love doing that. <laughs> the no map emote. We no, we like math in this chat. Math good. Math good. Math good. Uh, Balk and Kletian aren't scary. I can move along without saving to them. 
Hush Malum, though, is a different story. So he says, I'll never be able to leave here. But obviously, we see at the end of the game that Alma and Ramza do make it out of here. So I gotta wonder, where's the other entrance? It's the giant ship, clearly. You just fly it out of there. Who's math? Me. I'm math. Nice. Wait, nice to meet you. That sound hurts my ear so much. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, not one of the most pleasant things to listen to. You Orpheus your way out. Oh. Fun fact, Ramza's birthday in the speedrun is also my birthday. Coincidentally. any menu to do with a name bid Ooh, that'd be fun i think uh if it were to you would want no math because uh no math is super exciting and has a lot of potential Okay, this one's really easy. It's just walking up four panels and just using spells. Or not spells, uh, knight sword abilities. They're magic. You can't tell me otherwise. I mean, they literally are. Oh, I was supposed to turn the camera. There we go. punch. He lives with 1 HP off of this. That's so rude. Let's just get Wait, a crit. Wait, Ramza? Huh? Wait, what? Hey. What's happening here? Ramza shouldn't be taking the turn. Nobody else but Melia duel. What is happening? What? Huh. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. <sighs> okay. Um, yeah, okay, this is happening. I'm glad I saved in case something bad happens. Alright, one second. Uh, 87, nope, 54. 54 is divisible of 3, I believe. 30, 24, yep. Yeah. And I'm also divisible of 3, so we're gonna be... I just waited. Wow, I'm... I fat-fingered. At least it wasn't auto battle. Um, Nomath is uh, grinding a bunch of time mages and getting Ramza the samurai and then just like Whoa, dark blasting home. quick on him. This is fine. Okay. Just making sure he's still that level. Okay. Oh, actually. Okay. Uh, math skill, EXP, four. I'm just going to do bolt three. That was terrifying. Whew. <sighs> Okay, moving on to bulk. 
who is not as scary. Why did Melia Duel not get her turn? Did I forget to equip something? Is she supposed to have? The under well, she's slightly under leveled, right? But I don't think that should have affected that much. No, it shouldn't have been. I'm wondering if she's supposed to have sprint boots on. I don't think so. It doesn't say that. It says bracer. Wait. Yeah, I sprint shoes. Maybe I do need this. Oh no, I'm gonna leave it because the attack. The attack is important. I don't want to mess up anything. Uh, we're on Balt, so it's R, O, and then Meliodule up here. He shoots Meliodule, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so runs the only runs are normally just challenge runs. It's not like a speedrun category. Or if it is, it's not like a main one. Uh, if you're going to do a Ramza only run, my recommendation is to have a in-depth uh, knowledge on each class and what they do and uh, understand brave and faith values, what they do for physical and magic defense and attack, and learn your Zodiac uh, compatibilities. Those are going to be really important. Or just grind to level 99 on Ramza, the first time. Ramza, 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 Ramza. Move one pa pro CT Prime, holy. No problem. All right, that fight went how it was supposed to. Oh yeah, the game can be mean. We're not doing the extremely risky Hashmalum strat. Unless... You know what? Uh, unless... We're saving, so... Is this the part where we ask chat if we're gonna do the risky strat, and then Ray immediately goes, Yeah, what are you talking about? Do it. We're doing it. Uh, so it's Sprint Shoes... Right? Sprint Shoes and Thief Hat. Uh, Cloud is in this one, but he, he is a secret character and we don't get him in the run. Uh, Brave increases your physical damage with right, or the Knight Swords, uh, with Unarmed strikes and something else I can't remember right now. I'm doing it. We're gonna do the risky <laughs> level prime demi two strat. If one of them misses, you game over. <laughs> if it doesn't work, we'll just do the normal strat afterward. But it'd be really hype if this worked. Okay. Am I'm doing I that the tired? Way. Or did you say level 2 Demi Prime? <laughs> level Prime Demi 2. I swear you said the, the other way, but okay. <laughs> Maybe. Level 2 Demi Prime would be a great skill. I want that skill. So the problem with Cloud is that by the time you get him, he's so underleveled, and you still have to do like a fetch quest to get his item, and it's just not worth it usually. His class is also just not that broken compared to like Orlando or Amelia Duel, who are super strong right out of the game. Alright, here we go. Level Prime Demi 2. Please work. That's one. Alright, level prime. Demi two. Hit, 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 hit. It hit! Oh! 
easy every single time. Let's go. That has a 42.25 chance of working, by the way. Look, it gives you six Egros uh, resets in a row, and then it gives you this. That's how it makes up for it. <laughs> oh, you're still, man. You're still down three minutes overall, but this was more hype. Okay. I did the thing. All right. So I don't have to do the menu now. We're doing normal strats. Wait, there's not normal strats for this? Alright. There's a risky strat. It's called the 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 Leroy Jenkins strat. I actually don't know about this strat. Hype Prime Demi 2 and wait. Move three panels to the right and Hype Prime Demi 2. Uh, it has a very low chance of uh, working. Yeah, okay, that's basically, okay. I thought it was going to be something more fancy than just Demi-2s instead of Demi's, but yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Demi-2 has an, a chance to miss, whereas my Demi-1 does not. <sighs> because I didn't safety save, we're not doing it. We did one, and the odds were against us, and we did it. So we're going to be very happy about that. <sighs> I'm not telling you to do this one. Yeah, exactly. It, it's way too risky. It would definitely lose time, because I think the odds are even lower. Hype Prime Holy. Prime Holy. Should do 514 damage. Yep, perfect. Oh, I think I moved too forward. I mean, too much forward. That could be bad. One, two, three. Okay, you're fine. Uh, move three. Height, prime, demi. Math, height, prime, and then demi. Alright, phase two. The good thing is, I don't need CT at all. I just need Hype Prime, which I have already. Now it's time for my favorite strat. Alright, Hype Prime, don't move. All right, height, prime, demi. I'm just gonna move him back one more, just for safety. 
All right, hype prime demi. All right, so whoops, height prime demi. The next demi after this one is time. Uh, it's not the same as stop, uh, but the, they can't like uh, Ultima can't get into range, so it's effectively the same. All right, as get ready. Time. Wait, nope. Time. GG. Four forty three forty one. I'll take it with all the gross stuff that happened. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Four minutes of e gross was bad. <laughs> The Egros was bad. The first three levels were bad. Uh, yeah. We had a scary moment in the fifth level. <laughs> this game is complete. I need everyone in chat to do me a big solid favor in a moment here. We're just we're gonna get to this cutscene real quick. Uh, when you see the priest say it, I want you all to type in Farlem. I'm going to type it in chat right now so you see what it looks like. So this, I want you to type this. So, ready? Ready? Farlem. There it is. Farlem. Farlem. Thank you, everybody, for having Final Fantasy Tactics on GDQ and enjoying and having a good time with us. I hope you enjoyed both Nikki's run earlier in the day, Tactics Advance 2, and my run. And I hope that you all are intrigued in the Tactics speedruns and want to take a look into it, because they are super fun and very accessible, actually. Like, it looks terrifying, but once you get down to it, it's really, really, really fun. Uh, and there's other categories, too, like the Nomath one, which has an extensive history with a bunch of amazing runners including a couple like almagus claude uh sweet cherry boy jp like there there's some really really good runners in the community that have really brought it up and made it what it is today um other than that i don't think i really have too much to say other than if you like this maybe come over and say hi to me sometime <laughs> definitely uh Kasla is an extremely uh fun funny person um you know uh, eight years now we've been friends like you very very entertaining person uh has way too many answers to dumb questions i asked instantly <laughs> <laughs> um yeah thank you so much for being on uh it's been a long time coming uh oh my god it's been a journey getting final fantasy tactics on here <laughs> Oh, and also, you were supposed to be on here four months ago, and then half our country lost power, and it was bad. Yeah, oh man, it was it was interesting, but I'm glad that we finally weathered the storm and made our way here. Absolutely. I've been so excited to watch you run this. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, it's been a blast. Um, and, you know, again, thank you to uh, Nikki and Demeron earlier for uh, showing off uh, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance 2. Uh, we were able to get all three Final Fantasy Tactics games on in the span of a week. So thank you all to everybody involved in that. Uh, thank you, everybody, for running. Uh, thank you for coming to hang out and uh, watch this uh, awesome run. Uh, we don't have anything else left after tonight, though, so uh, we are going to take a quick break while we look for somebody to raid. Uh, and, uh, we do have another show coming up tomorrow, 1pm Eastern. It's going to be the GTA 4 Anniversary Special. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you so much, Casa. Have a great thank night, Thank you everyone. as well. Absolutely. You all have a Always wonderful a pleasure. night. Oh, it's absolutely a pleasure. I had so much fun. <laughs>